I welcome you to God's presence. Please. Welcome the person by your side. For the person here, welcome to God's presence. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our Father. Just bring your hands to Him. Bring your hands to Him. In the reason we are gathered, the revelation without His presence. Add no value to the life of any man. The Bible says it is the spirit that gives life to whatever I will say. The flesh profited nothing. For the letter killed, but the spirit gives life to God. So we must make sure his presence is conducive enough in the atmosphere. Yeah. Thank you, our Father. Please wait to him. Just worship him. The presence of the Holy Ghost is in this place. The presence of the Holy Ghost is here. The relationship series is not a casual meeting. It's also an anointed meeting. So the anointing of the Holy Ghost is so much around. His presence is so mightily felt in a meeting like this. You are sick, you can still get healed. You need answers, you can still bring answers to you. Whatever you do, you get to express and speak tonight. Can still be lifted right in his presence. Thank you, Father. Thank you. You know, sometimes you think something like, Oh, your glory. I will be anything. First to see you. relationship nine years ago. That's why you are privileged to sit here tonight. And I am speaking only by divine instruction. Not okay, now you know I don't like relationship for me. So you don't say relationship I get angry naturally. But God says son, go ahead and teach and give wisdom to the people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Singles are relationship. Now there are five major types of relationship. You will do much of a writing tonight. And I don't encourage you to come to the meetings without a writing material and a Bible. You must have regard for what? Revelation. Every man God encountered in scriptures. The first statement he said to them is what? Write it down. So when I see a man that I don't have regard for revelation, is a man I can assure you don't have much access to his voice. God is not a talkative. If he says something to you, that's because he wants you to do something about it. So if he knows the man he's speaking to will not show regard for even the words he's saying, he won't speak to that man anymore. You must have regard for what? Revelation. Learn to write. And then go back to your notes and study them. The Bible is speaking in the book of Acts. Paul said about the Burian. He said, You were more noble. Because no matter what I see, they go back to search the scriptures for themselves. Such that whatever I will say to you tonight, if your job to go back and search the scriptures, then it becomes your personal conviction, not because I said so. What I do in the, in, in, in the meetings or what we do as preachers is to bring you to an awareness of the truth. Because ignorance doesn't mean the truth is not there. It means you ignore it. So ignorance is more of ignoring the truth than claiming the truth is not there. So what we do as preachers is to bring you to that awareness of the truth. The Bible is speaking. Give me John 4. 
I don't want to change my name, it's just maybe John for a little bit of time there. Maybe 26, very big. Now I am Jesus, told her, the one speaking to you. Next verse. This was Jesus' encounter with a Samaritan woman. Next verse. And upon this came his disciples and mother, that he talked with the woman, yet no man said, What seekest thou? Or why talkest thou with her? Next verse. The woman then left the water pot and went away into the city and said to the men, Next verse. Come see a man which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this the Christ? This is what we call prophetic evangelism. Next verse. But then they went out of the city and came on to him. Next verse. In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. Next verse. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Therefore said the disciples one to another, Have any man brought him out to eat? Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Next verse. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then come a harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes, and look on the fields, for they are white, or ready to harvest. Next verse. And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life and eternal. That both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. Next. And hearing is that saying true, one soweth and another reapeth. Next. I don't want to skip so I will get the, the floor of God. I sent you to reap that whereupon you bestowed no labor. Other man labored and you are entered into their labors. Now wait. The reason why Jesus needs to do all these stories. Was because of the question they asked him. Why are you talking to this woman when you are supposed to work? So it meant there was a conducive atmosphere for them to preach. Like some of us, we have that habit. If you are not with your Bible, you can't preach. Are we together? If you are not with your Bible, you can't preach. If it is not a Christian gathering, you can't share God's word with people. So Jesus was trying to make him understand that every opportunity we have, we must relate the gospel to others. That's all the stories we are reading about. Next verse. And many good. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him. Watch, listen. For the sin of the woman. Are you hearing? They believed him because of what the woman told them. But watch. Which testified. He told me all that ever I did. Next verse. So when the Samaritans were come unto him, they besought him that he would tarry with them and he abode here two days. Next verse. And many more believe because of his own word. Next verse. Hear their statement. And said unto the woman, Now we believe not because of thy sayings, for we have heard him ourselves. That's what we expect of the church. That when we speak for this word, we go back to search those words for ourselves and be convinced such that it becomes our personal revelation. And you have no need of quoting people. And say, He said, he said, he said, not if I tell you something is written now in John 4, 42. Your job is to go and see. Have you not seen it for yourself? Should you still be saying I said? Then that means that word never convinced you. So our attitude as an approach to God's word must change. You must learn to have personal revelation. If every revelation you have ever had about Jesus, where revelations got it from others, you truly don't know him. Why? This is the sign that you are called the sheep. He said, my sheep, hear my voice. That's why I pray with my life in meetings for people's eyes and your soul. The proof that you are a sheep is that you must what? Are we together? So, I'm prepared for revelation. I was wondering what carried me to this place. I just found that it's not my topic. Hallelujah. So we have five major types of relationship. We'll do that briefly as we run through the series. There will be question and answer session at the end of the day. So prepare your questions. Very, very well. We have five major types of relationships. I'll just give a general overview of them and then we concentrate on the one that concerns us tonight. Number one is your spiritual relationship. It all begins from there. There is no point talking about getting into a marital relationship when you are not even born again. There is no point. And that's why I encourage you, don't enter into a, into a relationship.
relationship with a boy or a girl who is not born again. Because if you marry the devil's daughter, that means the devil is your father-in-law. And he can visit your house at will. Is that not so? So don't marry somebody that is not what? It starts from your personal work with God. Your relationship must be in that. So if you are still struggling in your work with God, don't even talk about the relationship a little bit. Because one of the major things you must carry into your marital home is his presence. Spiritual connection must be in that. Your relationship with God must be in that. That begins from there. That's the first relationship with me we must concentrate on. I tell people anyway, take anything out of my life. Put that lives with me, know me very well. There is nothing I can give out out of me. Nothing. Nothing that is material that matters to me anymore. You know my life. The one thing I pray you don't take out of my life is his presence. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Sometimes I talk to those around me. I say, please don't distort my atmosphere. A man that has genuinely worked with God is always careful of his atmosphere. You will be jealousy, anger. No. That's why when you come to my office to 24 hours music, they said I'm not there. My atmosphere must set right. I must create the atmosphere conducive for a spirit to work. Else, if the atmosphere is not there, and eventually a voice might speak to me, I will still be thinking for the voice of God. The spiritual relationship. It starts with that. So if you are not born again, you shouldn't even talk about the relationship at all. What are you waiting for? Hallelujah. And another spiritual relationship, you also talk about your spiritual parents. Your spiritual parents. If you don't have someone you are submitted to. I like what Dr. Polenta said. He said the easiest way for any man to spoil in this life is when he doesn't have any, anybody that can tell him sit down. He will spoil. Some of us have. I was in, I was in my spiritual father's house. Yes, sir. And I, there was a meeting in town, or in Abuja. I was supposed to go for the meeting. I have cracked with my friends. I said, oh, you will see me in that meeting. I have shouted it out. I just sent him a message like five minutes to my departure. Sir, it was five minutes, almost like two hours. Eh? Sir, I would love to meet for Abuja. Also, so I'm so with you. No Abuja or you. What? You know why it gives, except you are in authority. You know what it is to command one. Don't settle with that. Don't go into a relationship with anyone that does not have somebody over him. I want to go into a relationship with a young man. And he doesn't have somebody he answers to. I won't try it. Why? He he becomes something else. There will be nobody to be able to tell him what So he will be hell out of you. And only you and yourself will be happy yourself. Are we together? It all begins from your spiritual relationship. I'm not able to say much on this. I'm just giving a general overview so we can go to our main meeting tonight. Number two, second type of relationship. After our spiritual relationship is in that, it's your parental relationship. Ephesians 6 and verse 1. For your spiritual relationship, right? Matthew 22, 36 to 39. The Lord ruler asked Jesus, What is the greatest commandment? And he said, You must love the Lord thy God. That's the greatest. Are we together? You must love the Lord thy God. So, number two is your parental relationship. Ephesians 6 and verse 1 to 3. He said, Honor your parents in the Lord. And be your father and mother, so that you may what? Live long on earth. For this is the only commandment with a promise. He has not changed it. I teach you. Make sure the relationship you have with your parents are intact. 
I can assure the prosperity of any man that is having issues with his parents. I can assure the prosperity or the success of any woman that can confidently stand and insult a mother. I can assure your success in life. It doesn't matter the kind of meetings you attend or the kind of men of God that came. God's word cannot be broken. That's what it means when God says he is no respecter of what persons. Does it mean he doesn't have people right? He does. He called John the beloved. He said, the one I love. He called David the man after he gone out. He spoke about Jesus. He said, this is my only beloved son. Now what does that mean? It means he won't break his rules for anybody, including the one he loves. Are we together? So with God, there is no respect of what presence. Make sure your relationship with your parents are intact. These are the first things you must put in place. This is my message on the blessings of the Father or the prayer of Isaac. Part one, the part two is ready. I didn't preach it in the meeting here, so please get it. And the part two, I talked about understanding spiritual fatherhood and mentorship. That's a good teaching. I promise you go and check it out. It might be difficult to get a teaching like that. Alright? So please get that so we'll not go much on that. Number three, your personal relationship. This has to do with the relationship with yourself. Some people naturally know hate themselves. That's why we are saying transgender. I'm praying I'm not a lady yet, a young man is sending to a lady. They don't love themselves. So when you don't even love your own self, how can you show love to somebody else? Are we together? It takes love to wake up very early in the morning and beat. It takes love for yourself to wake up and brush your teeth. When you don't do these things, as simple as they are, you don't love yourself. Because you are suffering those bad. They will smell bad. They will decay. Are we together? So it starts with that. Now, a young man that is not taking his bath conveniently for three days and will spray perfume, he wants to take care of a lady. God now help you. The lady looks like you too. You are finished. You are finished. Are we together? So, personal relationship entails what? The value you place on yourself. Hear me and hear me clearly. If you wake up a day without taking your bath, it's a sign of spiritual responsibility. The Bible says, your breath is the temple of God, not your spirit, not your soul. In the me to the ministry, I started the ministry of about 150 churches before I started aggression. I don't think the easiest way I tell people to learn is from the successes of others and from the failures of others. And so I begin to study men that were humbly for God that I do. And I read the story of Evans Robert, the Welsh revival. He was so overwhelmed in that revival, desiring God, longing for God, fasted out his, out his life and died at what? I said, no. This one, I like the revival, but I don't like it in the <laughs> As I was watching the broadcast one time, and um, a person in my group was doing his um, anniversary. Is it 50th or 60th anniversary? So, Daddy Adibu came around. And Daddy Adibu said something very funny in his presence. He said, A person, I am 74. You are looking older than me. You better take care of the body. Yes, the spirit will leave you. I'll die on another body. So some people die not because they fulfilled purpose, but their body was weak to carry the body to this place. So God had to take them and pick that man to, to place on their man. So right now, I call it common sense in fasting. It is stupidity to fast to the point of death. Yes, sir. You know the way you want that. Everybody is carry, you can't rush and go and carry. I get very angry when I hear people fast to death. Why? Then you now put a cross on your picture and put cloud that so people will know exactly you are going to. And then you will not use a picture and write, call to glory. So you will continue in the other room. Hallelujah. So the spiritual responsibility not to take care of what? Your body. Because your body is what houses your what? Your spirit. I 
And when the body is weak, they will begin to sometimes become achieve. Are we together? So you must test, understand personal relationship, how you relate with your spouse. Alright? It is an advice to yourself when you become so disturbed because your mind did not greet you. You didn't sleep. I've seen people with high BP unnecessarily. And the funniest thing, if you trace my kid, I mean, baby is in the chicken. So I just want to run your own And the guy, he did not even know your baby. No man is what to take joy of your face. Always tell yourself, I'll forever laugh and smile. You are not qualified enough. If I allow you to take joy, then I qualify you to do that. I won't give you that kind of honor. And you take joy of my face. And you are calm that you can smile and laugh. Impossible. So, that's another relationship. I'm following. Because it starts from here. When you are having issues with that, you will scatter your own. You will scatter your relationship. So all these things are not in place. They are not intact. That's why we can't even talk about it. Marital relationship and emotional relationship. Yes. See, all these things are put into place. Now, they are very wide. I'm just giving an overview on each of them. Learn to relate. <laughs> Appropriately with yourself. Care of yourself. Look at God. Smell nice. Use perfume. Is that okay? Please, I encourage you. Try and buy the young ladies and the young man. Buy perfume. Jesus used perfume on it. <laughs> One time they were spraying it. They said the room was smelling nice. And John the Baptist on the way. Then Judas is kind of complaining. He said, let's go and sell it. He said, no, 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 no. This time they don't sell it. He sprayed <laughs> Not a sellable perfume, the sprayable one. Now, if Jesus was so dead, the Bible recorded that when he died, they were sharing his clothes. Some of you should die now. <laughs> Why you're ruining yourself? Nobody is having it. Please look nice. Take care of yourself. Show one of yourself. Is that okay? Look nice. Eat good food. I fast a lot. I was in the fast from 2012. Four years. I just finished and started another 100 days. But I look healthy and most of you. Why? Common sense in fasting. I know when I want to die. <laughs> and sometimes I just say, I say, I want to eat now. And my friends will say, Ah, are you not fasting? I say, You see, I'm fasting for. You see, you're so happy. <laughs> what kind of question is that? Is it not me that I chose I want to fast? No, I said I want to eat. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please don't kill yourself too much. If you wear out your body, you will not last long. Now I'm speaking from an experience. I'm speaking from a point of stretch. I don't follow the lives of generals and see sometimes where they do it. I think one of the generals, I forgot his name, was so engulfed with activities to a point he was on his horse. Stay going for that thing, he's just going and that. So we are learning where the mistakes came from. Are we together? There must be wisdom. Take care of your body. Be nice. Be nice. Hallelujah. Number what are we? Number what are we? Number four is our social and moral relationship. This talks about our relationship with others. We see that in Romans 12 and verse 18, Bible says, Let us live at peace with what? All men, if possible. Even if God knows time. Time. We say, Let us try. So you must make sure, as much as you can, make sure you relate with people well. Without me, even if I must quarrel with you, may I do it this way? And I make sure I'm so tired of your life and I need to leave you. Because there are people you just can't stay there. May I do to what is for me? Let it not be out of pain you left. It's peaceful and I have nothing to do much with you. Valor relationship. We need to hold as well. Now, when I'm teaching them, for the FYDs, when I'm teaching about them, the 30 by the principles God taught me, like, I'll be teaching us about the power of influence. That's one thing the great will never tell you. I was watching a broadcast, uh, a financial broadcast by Aleko Dalkote, part of my son. And we are listening to it. We are watching it.
a relationship. So I will not enter into marriage. Singles a relationship. Before you talk about relationship or marriage, you must first have a vision for your life. You must first have a vision for your life. Else you will become a body to another person. So before you put in yourself, discover the reason for your existence. What are you living for? All of my friends said something to me. I, I, I cherish so much. He said the most vital step to immortality is vision. Why? The Bible says where there is no where there is no vision, the people will perish. So when a man has nothing to live for, he abuses the essence of life. The first thing you must do is that you have a vision for your life and a sense of destiny and direction. Ask yourself, why am I existing? Why am I living? What mark am I planning to make on the surface of the earth? Are we together? It starts from there. You must have a vision. You will not know the value of life until you see yourself at the verge of eternity and you see your life leading you to the other world. Then you know that this life given to us was a gift. Go and ask those that have near death experience. When you see your life leading you, you will thank God for this life you gave you. So you must have a vision. First, sit down. Ask yourself, what am I living for? Else, when a man comes, you will think that is your purpose. When a woman comes, you think that's your assignment. Are we together? You must have a vision for your life. If the do is from there, we will be much with that in the FYP series. So have a vision. Tell your neighbor, have a vision. Have a vision for your life. So when you don't have a vision, you will abuse any relationship you get into. Are we together? When you don't have a vision, you will abuse any relationship you get into. Secondly, before you talk about relationship, before you talk about getting connected to someone with the aim of leading into marriage, you must first maximize your singleness. Bible speaking in Lamentation 3.27 He said it is good for the youth to be a youth in his days. Relationship is full time job. Not part time. If you are not ready, don't employ yourself. So when people ask, why are you fasting like this? I said, I might never have this opportunity again. One time I came back from church. I was trying to break into a mission. That was when I was studying on, that was about two years ago, I was studying on the four living creatures. I was searching for studying me. And I never wanted to be comfortable with the fact that there's no answer to this. I was browsing, checking teachers. Who has stuff on this? I wanted one of my parents to say, Sam, are you with your class? I said, yes, let me give you some materials. I'll pick you. I said, he gave me. So I just went, we came back from church. I think I, my sister, part of my brother, we are together. So I just entered my room. And I'm not eating that thing. I just took my laptop, sat down, tried to copy it out from the laptop to the system. So I, I, I was copying and I just saw four living creatures. Jesus, that's like the laptop. She brought it. I just had the laptop and took away. My own daughter didn't know where she got the laptop from man. Since that you must eat. It's my child. Let me know your wife. So you must first maximize your word, singleness. You want to suffer somebody's daughter? I said, I'm fasting. Share the man and I'm suffering. Don't suffer of my daughter. Try it. The things you thought to do, you want to now suffer somebody else and do it here. Are we together? So it first begins by maximizing your own singleness. 
Because it is what you are, the single that you take into, into the marital room. The marriage altar is not a deliverance service, it's a wedding town. Here we just agree that we want to be together. It doesn't change you. That they say, I now pronounce your husband and wife. If you don't know how to cook before then, when you enter, you'll be the same. Not a transformation service. Are we together? So it's because of what? Your singleness. Hallelujah. Are we getting blessed? It begins by maximizing your singleness. So very quickly, we'll be learning some things. How to maximize your singleness first. I'll start with the ladies. I want to join it together. But there are things that are peculiar to each. Then I'll go to the guys. Are we okay? For the ladies, number one. The guys can still write, but for the ladies now. But it entails to maximize your singleness. Number one. Discover yourself and your purpose. Discover yourself and your purpose. Know your assignment in life. Know why you are existing. Else, your prayer point to be Lord, I want to marry a rich man. I think a rich man wants to marry a poor lady. I don't know how we foolish people sometimes. So oh God, whatever it is, send him. He must have money. He must have that. You can be so classy yourself. Having discovered your assignment that you are in your assignment, so that when a man comes to you, you best take him to Mr. Biggs. When you are done, when you take him to a boutique, buying some shirts, they say, now you can tell me what you want to say. <laughs> I promise you, he is joking. He will buy himself. Hallelujah. Number two, develop a good attitude. Every man deserves respect. I'm speaking to the ladies. Develop a good attitude. Every man deserves what? Respect. That's one of the greatest desires of any man in a, in a lady. Respect. Align your attitude. That's how you maximize. You begin to work on your personality. You begin to work on yourself. Are we together? So instead of concentrating on doing that, you are writing list of the criteria of how the man should look like. That's our major problem. You will be tall. You'll be pumping. <laughs> As long as I will be come for miracles and we'll bring the people back. We have other miracles to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you must develop a good attitude as a lady. You must learn to be respectful. You must know what it is to speak nice to people. You must learn what it is to take care of another person. Because the Bible says it is not good for the man to be alone. That means the man is sick. You are the drug. You must learn to take care of somebody. I shouted for somebody. I'm not telling you who the person is. One time I said, I said, I'm feeling a bit of pain in my leg. You go and jog, now be honest. I said, no, today I'll buy you a book. How to be romantic. <laughs> I'm telling you how we behave. What is Kata's relationship? The Bible says, little, little foxes. That's always the Bible. Little, little foxes. So most of the times, it's not a really misunderstanding. It's an accumulation of these attitudes. People misunderstanding is just to understand what you missing each other. In your own world, you are correct. In my own, I am correct. But those little attitudes will not make one to calm down. And say, let's reason it out together. So, they were looking good at attitude. One time in my local church, they said, hey, the ladies here don't used to marry the, bro the brothers used to go out. I, I, I just stood up confidently. I said, Sir, if you are so loyal, go down to this church. We don't encourage you to marry any of these ladies. 
you are passing, you want to put something to her, when she's in Russia in the church, say, look, you know, she's busy. You know, you know, she's, did we know before? <laughs> Are we calling it? And sometimes, maybe it's because she has not trained herself to be able to manage her own emotions. So she carries her own anger and trouble on this. These are the things you should be doing when you are what? Single. How to be under any pressure and still be smiling. Else you will scatter your room with your hand. Are we together? You can, that's why you see very stupidly. You see that in ladies. You see a lady smiling now. now. Look at them. So what's your problem? It's good swing. Swing it back now. Are you going to want to swing it before? Most probably in an attitude. Maybe are, are we getting blessed? Maybe are not feeling bad. Number three. Let all your characteristics show that you are feminine. Don't walk like a man. Don't talk like a man. Take some later on. No man wants to marry another man. Who not do homosexualism. Let your characteristics show that you are what? Feminine. And let me show you. You say, what's up? What's the nice thing? It is not what you like. This is why so many people remain single. As simple as this. Because the man is afraid of my thing. <laughs> are we together? So let all your characteristics show that you are what? Feminine. Work, check your work step. Please learn to walk at walking. Is that okay? See, there is nothing that is fully come. You can adjust it. <laughs> so we say that the work step is fully come. You can you can try. <laughs> Practice. You know, take step. Not that your brother is working with the lady. He's begging her. You are working too fast now. <laughs> and you are the lady. <laughs> that brother can never marry you. I promise you. <laughs> Let all your characteristics show that you are what? Feminine. The way you talk. Let your word be mixed with grace. Let it sound gracious. One thing a woman is known for. Is how to bring life and encouragement. Suko. And so, because you are prepared to be what? In your midst. Everything was short. Somebody is down, you know what to say. I can be for that body. Even the most of the time, they are the ones seeking for the body to be there. Hallelujah. 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 So I said, number three, let all your characteristics show that you are what? Number four. Look good, dress smart, and smell nice. Indirectly, I'm saying, take care of your son. It is stupidity for a lady to have body odor. I say, the only age. Don't come for miracle service. Smell nice. Look good, dress well. It starts from there. When, when you are seen, you put a point as it does the pattern of Zion. You look carry the aroma of the beauty of you. It's only a man I look and dress rubbish. But I'll still address it. But for a lady, you shouldn't even be touched with that. This thing you wear is like this. That's why no man is coming. Who wants to marry a masculine? You don't see the best in the house, so I want you to work in the same. Dress what? Smart. Smell nice. I bet you. Every sister, go and get the gym. Spray. You know why you guys sweat a lot? And when it gets to steam level, <laughs> you know what I mean? The Lord give you know, understanding in Jesus' name. Yeah. Mama! Number what? Train yourself to be able to put simple domestic chores and keep it home. 
That's how you maximize your singleness as a lady. Showing yourself to be able to do what? Simple domestic what? Shorts and keep the word. The Bible says in Proverbs, let me see if I can get the scriptures. Proverbs 18 and verse 22. The Bible says, He that findeth a wife, findeth a word, that means I should not find a girl, but a wife. He said, No, 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 no. We don't rush it. Now we'll get to the Maitan. No. The Bible says I should find a wife. Not a girl. Are we together? Be able to be simple domestic chores. Some of you, if I enter your hostel now, you have kept your own strings. Yeah, lady. Then you want to enter into a relationship that will enter to marriage. So when we enter into your house, we think it's a lovely shop. Oh my eyes have seen the tree, the lands of hope, the throne. Listen, please. For my eyes, for my eyes have seen the tree, the lands of hope. Now listen, you know why some ladies cry their wedding night? I discovered them by revelation. I didn't ask. It's not because they are missing their parents, but they are now wondering. I used to travel and cook between me and my sister. Now it's for me. <laughs> they didn't know. See, you are looking for what you are not even prepared for. I'm just trying to make tell you, you need to prepare yourself first. Be able to keep it home. Simple domestic chores, cooking should not be a problem for you. It starts from there. So you see, ladies like saying, I, I can't cook for anyone like this, the time I don't know how to cook. But I can't cook for anyone, I can't cook for anyone. Are we together? You must be able to do what? Simple domestic chores and be able to keep what? It, it starts from your worst there. Don't gather clothes. Say, I will wash in two weeks. So the day you came out to wash, people will think whether you broke people's clothes. You will be hospital service to wash orders. Just gather like this. You will pile in them. And there are dangers because your roommate will not complain. But people's clothes are smelling. Please wash. And then out of the embarrassment, you took the pain to decide to wash them. Are we together? Are we together? Number one, are we? Thank you, Father. Open your eyes. Open our eyes to see you. Open our hearts to see you. We want to know. We want to share. Love open our eyes. Open our eyes to see you. Open our hearts to see you. So if as a lady you are still struggling to cook or still struggling to wash your clothes, don't even start thinking of a relationship. Talk about being a problem to another man. Are we together? The most low basic things as this. Before you talk of saying I want to join myself to work to another person and plan a life. I don't have one yet. Are we together? Number Number six. Build yourself to match the kind of man your heart desires. If wrong people keep coming to your life, two things are involved. We can say maybe it's demonic. If it's not, you're a wrong person yourself. As a Christian sister, you are very graceful. And a smoker can confidently come and ask you out. I disturb you. This, this, this connects you totally. Than insults. There are certain people that should never approach you. I want to get So you take time to build yourself, to match the kind of man your heart desire. You want a tall man. 
He's looking. In what other English language are you going to use now? He's tall, he's not too fat, slim, no? And he walks well, he speaks well, he's tush. Is that okay? Now, go and go cool. The need of men that are tall and tush. That should be your concentration. So, when you are that thing, you naturally attract that person you desire. It's a way for you. It's relationship series, that's how I teach him about this. So before putting criteria, setting prerequisites for yourself, ask yourself, that same person I want, but the person likes somebody like this. So develop yourself. Build yourself. Are we together? Build yourself and develop yourself. Number six or number seven. yourself in God's presence so that any man that we find you we first meet God before encountering you don't be a lady that a man will not need to consult God before talking to you about let it be that you are somebody so engulfed with God that the man will have to go through God before he can get to you if it were answering to pray of us let him do so Hide yourself in God. Hunger for God. That's why it is of um it is normal to say in church is where there are ladies, you know, always a problem. Why? But we don't need the pastor because their prayer point is the word like that. So you see the hunger level begins to die naturally. When you say let's pray, more of God, you say must come. Are we together? See, don't begin to pursue marriage as if it's an ambition. Don't begin to pursue marriage like that. Are we together? Hide yourself in God. Hunger for God. Get more and more of Him. His presence, when the wrong person comes, His presence will dispel the rest. Number eight. Help me to mind, please. Let's try to bless you. Like, please. Please help me with the ball. Thank you. I use my phone. Our great redeemer, glorious Savior, one name is higher than the rising. Lying and burning, we shall forever Your name is higher than the rising I pray with you, I pray with you Your name is about marriage. I won't test it 
so many men, you are not even single man. You are not taking shit. Are we together? Check your ideologies about marriage. Begin to work on them. I can't cook for any man. Marry yourself. I can't wash any man's clothes. Marry yourself. Begin to check. Of every almost ninety percent of every average day, this is their testimony. Go and see what they are talking together. How they are bragging. No, 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 no. If you can't do that, no, 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 no. You are not saying that. Check your ideologies about what marriage. What are the things you have gathered about marriage in your environment? What are the things you have left in your home? Check them about marriage. Number nine. Number nine. Go provoke yourself mentally, spiritually. Develop yourself what mentally, spiritually, and physically. Make sure you have read a lot and a lot of book. Let your mind be excellent. One thing I tell my friends every day, I say, Come, I, I didn't marry a woman for sex. No matter how strong I am, a man, even a horse, in 24 hours, I am so powerful. And I'll join the American on top, two hours. The rest 24 hours will be your profit for my life. So develop yourself what mentally. So you will be a profit to anybody you put into a relationship with. Develop yourself spiritually. What direction will you be able to give to your, to your children? As a mother. Now you are still struggling with your personal devotion. I know how your woman look like. At past six, I see that's why many ladies cry. Their mother used to wake them. They say, No, no, it's only me that's not working. This has been after that. They have one child now. The child must go to school. So, 5 a.m., she must be awake, and the husband must eat. They will come together from work. The man will say, Please, for you, we need to go to church by five. She must cook evening food. And two of them came by four. That's why I talk hard when it comes to relationship with the ladies. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. If not, it will tire you. That's when you get into a relationship, now becomes a body to you. You get into marriage, there is nothing pleasurable about it again. It becomes a body. So develop yourself what? Spiritually. So you can give your student direction, coordination. Develop yourself mentally. Let your mind be sound. When you talk for five minutes, let people let people be wisdom from what you are saying. Are we together? Read a lot and a lot of books. If I have some people here to know three authors, they can be sure some people don't know. Let's do it. You know what I want to say? <laughs> Hallelujah. Very quickly for the guys, how to maximize your singleness. Number one, build yourself in God's presence to be able to give your family direction. A man that can lead you in prayers cannot lead you in life. A man that cannot hear God for the family. The Bible says if a man knows when the thief is coming, he will stand and guide his house. A man that cannot know the devil is about to attack his home is not qualified to stay with any woman. Build yourself so much in God that you can hear his voice. You can discern his ways as a man. Your children can be in school later in year, in life, and you can call them and say, Junior, I see in two weeks' time a wrong friend will come your way. Be careful. You can give them a different foundation. So when we say prophetic man to the body, it's not that you go and stand yourself and become a prophet. Even in your home, which is required. Are we together? Build yourself so much in God. Build yourself in God. All the visions in the house, only your wife sees it, your job is to sleep. So, when yeah, I saw attack on me, you say there's no problem. You have never seen anything on You sleep all your night away. 
Are we following? It starts from the word singleness. These are the things you should be dealing with before you talk about what getting into what a relationship. Number two, guys. Plan your life early. You don't want to run out of life. Plan your life early. Else, by the time you settle down with the lady and can't take good care of her, you will call her a witch tomorrow. That's what is happening in many homes. You say to her, since she came into her life that you became a problem, yet in relation you are saying, sweetheart, honey. I like my switch up, I will say, who doesn't like people calling their wife honey? Because when they want to go look you know, <laughs> but the sweetheart that is the sweet is the heart. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are we getting this? Plan your life early. Now at this junction of my life, I don't want a lady to suffer in my hands as a man. I don't want a point where my child can come to me for a need. And I say, hey Junior, what's that your mother said did yesterday? Because I truly know I don't have the money to do it. That's what is happening in some homes now. Be confident to take full sole responsibility of the affairs of the home. Plan your life then. I keep telling myself every day, no matter what my wife earns, I will pay a monthly salary. So it makes me to naturally work hard. That's what vision does. It disciplines you from the direction of what you are saying. So when you want to misbehave, it tells you, you say one person got the salary. <laughs> With this kind of habit, you are just the way. I decided that as the way I want my life to be like, I don't want my wife to cook seven days a week. She's not with her. I married the wife. So at least weekends, you can go out, right? Now I'm in the on Sundays. We don't, we don't cook, just go to eat three. It's the money that matters, not that you have the money. It's not that you have the money. So then the way you cook more, I like like one of my friends always tell me, the way you cook your own food to eat, satisfies you more, is a lie. Can't you eat three plates? Yes, you know, sorry. It's a lie. Seven days a week. No. Not my home. So when you begin to plan your life like this, it disciplines your work in the direction of your goals. If you are here as a young man, and your ambition is that you want to marry a working class lady so that she also contributes to the family. I disconnect you from that mindset. The Bible says she's not a help me. If she does it, it's her choice. It's not her work. You ever let a woman begin to feed you like Adam? They will soon collect the garden from you. And we send that to you. Are we together? You must challenge yourself. Plan your life early. How do you want your life to look like? If you don't have this mindset, don't start thinking of relationship. So you don't be a problem to somebody's else's daughter. Because come to think of it, young men, you know, when you're talking to ladies, you're talking to laughing. If you took that your money you spend in wedding, it cannot equivalent to a school fees that you will straight around. It cannot equivalent to the people you fed that throughout the matter. You now marry that thing, you are married with property. Are we together? Plan your life for what? You know what you want out of life. Number what are we? To work hard. Work hard. Work hard. As a man. But my self for me every time. I can afford a lady to do something is not a man. Why? You will carry the burden of a home. The Bible says if a man cannot take care of his own house, it's an infidel. That means we worse than an unbeliever. After I read that kind of thing, I should still be thinking otherwise now. Plan your life. You find it that you are going to take care of your family, your wife, your children, your wife. And if you are already in a relationship, I can do the example. Your boyfriend is going back in the center, on her own, just like this. He said, we'll be told to get married. 
it is not an habit now, it will be an habit then. I said, what you get into the marriage life with is your singleness. The what I got a given service. It's not. Are we together? Hallelujah. Number what are we? Number four. Be willing and be able and willing to take care of your family as your sole responsibility. I beg if you are a young man here, never set your attention on a man's money. Never do it. Set your attention on a man's money. You're already planning, you see your life. I'll collect all the salary. I'll be Baba Lao. Okay? So when she comes, she now asks me, Oni, I need to buy my own this. Some of the 500, okay, okay. Now listen. One day, when do you need to get bought it? All together. It's not a joyful thing that sometimes your wife is even going out. She just sees something nice and buy you a suit. But the money is in your hand. <laughs> Take care of your home as your soul what responsibility. When you see young men bragging, I can't marry anybody that is not a working class lady. I say, why? Right. So that two of us will Some of them are already planning. We will save money together to do marriage. Ask my guest, your one time, one time in my house, your one time in marriage, it won't enter. Why? Now go and buy a shoe. I don't want to. I don't even buy suits. I'm not planning to buy one. I have black suits. <laughs> yeah, it's the only thing that you must buy a new suit for wedding. This shoe now that I don't complete is not nice. Why must I change for my wedding day? <laughs> hey, man, take the wrong bed. I don't make the suit to go and buy a new suit. Don't tell them you have black suits. <laughs> yeah, and follow me. <laughs> I will put in myself unnecessary. <laughs> Thank God I have a chance here. What do you need to show your black and white and put something one flower there? Follow my, my wife. It's not bright, that's train. That's what matters at me. Good, there's a train already. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 so please be willing and able to take care of the family as your sole responsibility. Number five. This has also affected me in a relationship, and that's not what we're teaching tonight. Build yourself to manage pressure, and so wife will suffer. It took me grace to be able to understand that it was my fault. Every time I ever quarreled with my friends, so I had a misunderstanding. Go and check this moment of my life, I was under heavy pressure. So, something she will do naturally, I will not see it to anything. I can charge. So, what oh, push is this now? I'm speaking from the pressure. So if you are not able to learn how to manage pressure yet, don't think about what a relationship. Put yourself. That no matter the body, you are thinking about to pay one fee, pay this one, pay this one. You are still composed enough to call your the things on the street and how you doing. She's the one that will call you. How you doing? Don't just talk to me today. Don't just talk. You don't have to talk. And you are a man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number what? Number six. Be willing to die for if you are not ready to protect your family. Uh -uh. Now listen, listen, listen. I'm bro you say you're the head of the family. You are the man. I'm bro that stayed to your house. You are running the back of the wife. I'm telling you truth now. Be you willing to what? Defend her. Be willing to defend her. Stand for her. And I said confidently on that comment. If you touch my face, I will finish you physically and spiritually. I won't just pray. I will pray for you take this land. When I'm done and I'll, and I'll start spiritually. I'll start with your family, please, your father, your mother, your brothers and sisters. Enter the people that are married from your family. <laughs> they will need to defend her. Don't let somebody start to suffer in your heart. If you have not made up your mind, you are not ready for the relationship. Please, I want to know that. Say, Bobby, can you just imagine? 
My boss boy is supposed to be today in working place and 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 talk that to me. He says, Well, God will make your way for their things to be done. They are not a man. One time a man the boss of round, Pastor Becky Nature, and the last time the working place. If you have heard that story very well, and the last time the working place, he came on crying. Pastor Ponetia went to the working place, chat the man. I am a husband. If you ever touch my wife, the only that cry, you are finished. In that issue, don't come in spiritually first. This is the Because when you don't train yourself like this, you'll be shocked that the man will come in front of you and warn your wife. But you'll be sitting there like this, like in your room. You'll say, I want a young man. Another man will be warning your wife in your front. Are you going from building to what? But by what are we? Information so that we can add space. Number seven. What are your ideologies about marriage or relationship? Check them and work on them. A woman is not a cook. Is that okay? I know we married one time in Zaria Daskata. I was very close to their family. And I was asking, as now what happened that your father left? The woman was happy that the man left. The man will just come from work, he does his sleeping, maybe he come and eats his sleep. He can just wake up by one in the night. I want to eat this. <laughs> I'll tell you a true life story. You better take a man's eating attitude, bro. He said he wants to eat this 1 a.m. The man was happy <laughs> that he went. It's not life story. Are we together? So check your ideologies about what marriage. Say that's what I married that one. A woman is not what a cook. A woman is not a dry cleaner. For a lady, spell it out for any man. You must have dry cleaning machine in my house. It's just fifty thousand minimum price. You got one. It's not expensive. To see how atlas you are, you will give a woman a data. And then your minister like you give her five suits. See your right hand. Just as a little bit of hand. You are wicked to open. You are heartless. There are certain clothes that I feel offended to give a lady to wash. Why? Get a dry, a washing or what? No, no, the color will not wash well. It's not, it's not true. It will wash. She will be lazy. Who says so? Are we together? Please, are we together? So you must change your ideologies about what? The wrong ideologies you have, but you need to adjust them there. Is that okay? When you see a man brag of certain things, you will not take from a woman. It's the wrong ideology most of the times. It's the wrong ideology. Number what are we? Number eight. I think we finish today. Because high regard and honor for the feminine gender. Any man you are inside press park with and he cannot stand before you, he sees you standing and he's sitting down. He never acts you out. I permit you under God. Don't agree. No way. No way. Jesus is still around. Yeah. Have regard. So men just insult the feminine gender anyhow. Have regard for the feminine gender. When the boss you see a lady standing, keep up a seat for her. Stand. This is what my friend now say. Whose business? Stand. Have regard for the feminine gender. If you have not trained up this level, don't think about the relationship. Else, even when the lady is going through stress and pain for you, you don't come to give anything. You stand and say, that's what she's supposed to be going to. Are you not seeing some men say that? It's not a job. A little cook for you and you carry the food. Papa Lao, just like it. You can't even tell her thank you for the meal. And when somebody tells you to tell her thank you, say it's not a job to cook. How great that for the feminine gender. Is that okay? Number eight, finally develop yourself too spiritually, physically, mentally, and morally. Good capacity such that God can trust you with his job. Good capacity such that God can trust you 
with his daughter. Wrong reasons for entering into a relationship. Wrong reasons for entering into a relationship. Number one, because you see others in one. Not being put, especially ladies, under pressure. Like when all your friends are in a relationship, they become, they become under heavy pressure. And most of the time, they enter into a wrong relationship. So that others are in a relationship is not a qualification for me to be in one. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 10 and verse 12, people that compare themselves with themselves, they are unwise. Hallelujah. Number two, don't enter into a relationship to cure your loneliness. You have one intimidating roommate every time she's on call. You two, you are looking for a girl who will call you. Now, why you not make those for me? You are not calling me every time. Are we following? So, don't enter into a relationship to cure what? Loneliness. That's not the purpose for it. Else, I tell you to fire you. Because you will desire the person's attention all the time and you might not always get it. Hallelujah. Finally, don't enter into a relationship as a form of experiment to find the true partner. So I'll keep testing different girls by the time I see the right person. You know when you carry out the experiment, sometimes you might not come out with the experiments. Okay. The Lord grants you understanding. So many ladies whose lives have been battered right now because the experiments they will carry. They say, I'm not too sure if you want, but this, even if it's not the one we're doing, we'll start another one. Most of the times, don't come out to when you went into an experiment. I think it might bore you. So don't enter into a relationship as a form of experiments to find your true life partner. Are we getting blessed? Now, before we talk about in a relationship, I must understand what is the purpose of a good marriage. Because the relationship we are talking about is a relationship that should be towards marriage. Is that okay? What is the purpose of marriage? That's the first thing. Because if you don't even know the purpose why two of you are competing together, our views will be inevitable. So, what is the purpose of your coming together? Number one is to fulfill a divine agenda. There is an agenda God has on the surface of the earth that He needs two of you to come together to fulfill as one. It takes two in the realm of the spirit to create a door. That's why I see the Bible talking about two or three are agreeing. In every two witness, the truth is established. The temple was torn open, so a door was created between the physical and the spiritual. In the spiritual realm, it takes two to what? Open the door. Are we together? So God has an agenda. He has a purpose on that. There's something He wants to do. And He wants two of you to come together. That's the first thing. Are we together? I will not go deep into this. I will talk about marriage proper with him. How to know it's time for a relationship? Let me try to and show you this very quickly. How to know it's time for a relationship. Number one, when it's time, it comes upon you as a season. It comes upon you as what? A season. Why God works by season sometimes. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1. To everything there is a time, and everything there is a season under heaven. Daniel 2 21. The Bible says, Times and seasons and in my hands. God will work at my message of transition between seasons and times. God works by times and seasons. So, how you know this time for a relationship is that it comes upon you as what? A season. You just know. It picks you, for you at that moment. In this time. Else, before they'll be sleeping. Forget it. I didn't disturb myself once. I have never asked any girl out other than the one I knew from childhood to today. And sometimes you say some something, you look at normal. 
Das ist nicht so. 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 Das Are we together? That's how you know it's time for a relationship. Not because everybody is having one. But you see, at a certain point in time of your life, you must come in your world in a relationship. Most of the time, you come out of it and regret. God works by time and season. Such as when you want to do something to your life, you begin to get drawn to the place of prayer. That's how it goes in marriage. You can be shocked, it will come here from you. Everything around that time will be married. Even we are doing work convention, we marriage convention for you. You'll be seeing money as marriage. <laughs> it is season. It has come. Are we together? No, not so. Once you sense this, take out time to pray and get personal conviction for yourself. Take out time once you sense this season on you. Whether it's the person or not, technology has made it easier. There's no calculator, no meter, just put your two names. It gives you percentage. Is that not so? Don't put it, it will give you percentage. So that way those things lie. You might miss all the ladies of your life. Hallelujah. Number three. Inform your parents and your spiritual guides to seek their counsel. Inform your parents and your spiritual guides to seek their counsel. I said first get the personal conviction for yourself, right? After you are done, then you inform your parents. Okay. Not that you are waiting for your mother. Is that yes or no that you used to know that she's the one? It's the big thing. So that when the hot is come in that relationship, you can't say, but I know. And like I tell my children, when you come before me, don't lie. So as I was going in the sleep, I saw a river. I wanted to follow you there. Something said, no, I should talk. And I'm talking. Then I saw a people that looks like a human people. Mm -hmm. As simple as, sir, I just know she's a wife. As simple as, I just have this with you. Don't lie. Are we together? Don't lie. As simple as that. Is that okay? So when you are done, I say you should seek the counsel of what? Your parents and your spiritual guide. So for your spiritual guide, their job is this. They can hear God and they assure you business us. Not for them to tell you yes or no. So when my child comes to me, so I want to go into a relationship. Who is the lady? This is the person. Are you convinced? Yeah, so right. She said I don't pray. What should I? Am I right? You say you are not confined. What is my business? I don't abuse my position as a spiritual father. When you do that, it is in my brain or giving you counsel. God can tell me, no. And I now say, can't, can't, can't. I don't feel peace about this thing. But God can tell me to find out. It's not my job. It's not okay. So as you are seeking my counsel, and my team might begin to speak to me and say, no, this will be a wrong person. Are we together? Yes, many people have lived their life right now in a place to find it to be her or not. I know one thing about the prophet, it is very delicate. I tell people, for instance, maybe it is God's way for me to be in a relationship with this lady. Maybe you are saying, is that okay? It's an example. And then I go to a prophet now. Maybe a parent will pose a challenge. His eyes might just be able to see that challenge. He will tell me she's not going to speak. That's the telling case of prophetic. But somebody that is more mature in prophetic can pick it and say, No, though she's just me, but you face this challenge at this point. Let's pray about it. Or another prophet can just tell you, By that thing, so. 
say no, 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 they, they, they are not made for each other. That's why you must rely more on what your personal knowledge and then put confirmations. What is confirmation? I'm trying to say what you saw, whether it's just strong or not. Don't say I should see it for you. So I won't give you two names. So I should check. So are you okay? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So seek the counsel of what? Your parents and your spiritual guide. Why do you need to tell your parents about it? I don't like hearing that the relationship after mine will be parents now say they will never agree. They will not say this. What will you miss each other's time? Please, are we following? Who can miss each other's time? Seek the counsel of your parents. And when your parents are posing challenge, you can seek the counsel of a spiritual guide. He or she can either tell you, okay, let's pray about this matter, or let me speak to your parent for you, or tell you, don't worry. Break the relationship. There's no point. I've seen relationship 10 years scattered because the father take off for which you normally. Yeah. And then they'll start to Why waste each other's time? So, and the first of it, tell your mother, and everybody can tell more of their mother than their father. Hallelujah. Especially when you're a slave, you can't tell your father, and you ask you out. You'll be your next to this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Number four. Speak to the person for a guy. Speak to the person and don't pressurize or threaten them with your words for their response. Speak to them and leave them to make that decision not under any form of word pressure. See, I have told Pastor Chris, he said it's close to me. I told Oye Debo, he said it's close to me. Why are you threatening me, baby? Sincerely speaking, if you are my daughter, yeah, if a man comes to speak to you and call the name of any man of God, don't tell me. On that point, I break that relationship. Why? Hey, when I talk to you, how did I say it? <laughs> no, Pastor, I've prayed about it and I'm convinced of myself. And I, that's why I'm taking the step I'm taking right now to speak to you. And I will give you a sign to then check it out yourself. And I'm going to it. <laughs> it might not work for you. It's not let you And in the middle of the she just started crying. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Don't <laughs> say don't say. In fact, it is in that moment you should not buy anything for the baby. Don't play with the person's emotion. That's why you are not buying artists. You want to take out, you want to do everything. Why? She should say first, first. Because a lady is easily easily known by things like that. Don't work on her emotion. I beg you. Is that okay? As a young man. But it all begins on what it comes upon you as what it sees. I'm not telling you what you do when your sense suggests it. You just now want to get into a relationship now. Is that okay? What to check for out for before entering into a relationship? I'll speak both of the guys and ladies. What to check out for before entering into a relationship? Number one, you will love and accept the person and be proud to tell others that you are in a relationship with that person. Genesis 2 23. Adam said, this is bone, bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. Anybody you'll be ashamed of, why were you setting out the person? Please don't. Are you following? You are now working on the person. Somebody now asks you, who is that young man there? It is one of our fellowship brother. Are we together? You must love the person. And be willing and proud enough to tell anybody that was 
the one if it is not here, and for this. Yes. 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 To stand and tell somebody that's my things. Confident. Is that okay? Unless you get this right. Don't say yes. Alright? Number two. You will have this inner connection, inner peace connection. There will be something that draws you to the person that you can't explain. There will be this inner peace and connection. I was still the same beautiful ladies, I'm sorry guys, but something connects you to that person. Please check for it. You have to check out before entering into a relationship. Number three, check for backgrounds. Don't just know who the person. Especially for a lady, advise my daughter as a lord. When they come to me, that's the person I ask you. What do you know about the person's family? Because for a lady, you are married to all of his family. If it's a man, and I don't be too serious with you, because you are the one going to bring from that place to your place. So you need to be around anything with different family and family. So check for backgrounds. Is that okay? Please do adequate background check. Alright? So if you find that the father of the man used to put the mother very well, you should know your political balance is to be lost. Alright? And then you begin to check out that it is also in the life of that young man. Are we together? the necessity of checking for what? Number four. Find out the person's role model and mentor. If you tell you the person's ideologies about life. Find out the person's what? Role model and mentor. If the lady you are going out with say a mentor is genetic. And the guy says Ransinoa. Or if you type in, don't want to do a push. Carry somebody's daughter to run. Alright? So check the person's mentor or whoever they are to inform you the ideologies of that person. Because we naturally pick the ideologies of the people we Are we together? Number five. Watch out for patients. Watch out for what? Patients. Watch out for teachability. Teachability. This is one of my greatest gifts desire for an lady. She might not even know what I want her to do. She might not be up to my criteria. But I think I am qualified enough to make her become that. If only she's what? Teacher. But what I'll tell you, don't make me look like I don't know what I'm doing now. Don't make me look like I don't know what I'm doing. You are finished already. Check out for what? Teacher. Check out for humanity. From relationship, you will know a lady that has patience. From relationship. Check out for good self-esteem. Please, if you are a lady, make sure you marry a man that has what? Good self-esteem. He used to feel ashamed like in the different dress way. Now, me, I should wear slippers for my office to stay. I saw I can't. No man can come to the slippers for this. It's alright. Go ahead. You know the benefit of marrying a man that has good self-esteem? You will be ashamed to see his children drinking for sofas. He has this inner self-esteem. He wants himself to come down that way. He really learns to make sure there is. But now that's it. If you're down, I'm going to come to the house. I'm teaching you little little things, right? Now I'm very sure you have not heard. Because I'm not shouting so you can hear me well. If I go, I'll still go to a certain place to preach a message like you. So they will record that one. I'll shout when. But for you, I'm teaching you. Is that okay? So make sure the man has good words. When you are in one closet, start being a night, what do you do like that? Very soon you'll be ashamed of you. Please check out. As the two of these things go. Check out for your love and reverence for God. Because there's evidence, or at least a, a much percentage assurance that the man that bless God will not be. 
and a man that does all these things. Are we together? Because there are many ladies like Marie Pastor. She can insult you just say the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. If you are pastor, say praise the Lord. Now listen. Note. Love is the basis of any relationship. However, you don't marry for love. Did you understand? Love is the basis of what? any relationship. However, you don't marry for what? For love. You marry for purpose and passion. Now, why would I marry a lady that doesn't like ministry? I'm finished. When I'm doing petition, it's not with amen. Are we together? Now, you marry for what? For purpose and for passion. But love is just what? The basis. If we claim that we marry for love, for this and why is this sister? So it's a basis. So we marry for what? For purpose and passion. Finally, when you are already in a relationship, if you are already in one, shall praise the Lord. How to make sure every part is covered. When you are already in a relationship, things to do. I'm still reminding us, I still don't think it's very important. Please seek your parent counsel. Is that okay? Seek your parent counsel. And when you are doing that, don't put any names. See, let me even tell you. If you try it, you are risking your life. I have one kind of mindset. If I give my mom now to you, what I was sending the moment of my guests to my mom, I gave her all the money. Why? She cannot do it now. Now, you go to Koma, the apples. This is the one. What of the three names I gave, there is no one inside. The one that is all the most to one among them. Is that okay? That's why it starts from your personal confession. So we are already in a relationship. What should you be doing? Number one, unite your passion, your purpose and ideologies. Amos 3 says, can two work together except they agree. Unite your passion, unite your purpose, unite your ideologies. Are we together? That's what you should be doing in a relationship. What's your dream in life? What's that dream in life? Begin to unite it as one. Number two. Build each other up. I used to always tell my fiancé, you are responsible for the kind of man I become in life. If anything happens to me right now, I'll tell my parents, are you responsible? each other what? Oh. So it's my job to make her look like the lady I want. It's her job to make me what? Make her, make her, make me look, make her look like the lady and then make me look like the man she wants. It's her job. So you build each other what? Oh. My dancing knows the way I talk. If I see something I'm not comfortable with, I'll say come. She now two of us all live together. This is still now. I don't like her. <laughs> Would you like me to be sad? No, then don't do it again. Is that not simple? We build each other up. Are we together? Number two. Have love and respect for each other. Once any aspect becomes one sided, that relationship will come. If the respect or the love is coming from just one side, that relationship will come. So you have mutual respect and love for each other. Are we together? Sometimes I pick my basic call. I say, well, my man, how you doing? Have much more respect and love. So I just pick a call. And go, how are you? Have much more love and respect. Are we together? Comes from one side, that relationship will work. Number four, thank you, Holy Spirit. Seek each other's goods, seek each other's good, and work in unity. Seek each other's good, and work in unity. For instance, while I was still, while I, I graduated, 
Keep your job on my fancy. She also be checking for job opportunities for me. Are you together? It's my job to ask. But I just saw this thing. Please try and apply. Seek each other's job. But I just see the young man says, so let me see how far you go. If I find that after two years, nothing comes out in his life. He simply to say, I know who you Then you are not qualified to even make a relationship in the first place. Please, are we together? So, seek each other's goods. I'll work in unity. Number six. Define and set boundaries for your relationship. I'm telling you what to do when you are already in a relationship. Define and set boundaries for your relationship. Know the limits in anything you can do. Define and set what boundaries. One of the boundaries in my relationship is that my friends knows the difference between Stanley and the minister of the gospel. I have taught her that very well. So she knows even when I switched. Else, if a heavy download is coming upon her and how to use upon her, she can feel it play. And then you enjoy. She does understand my switch. That's our boundaries. Are we together? Yes, are we together? Number what are we? Six. Number six. Manage your emotions very, very well. This one I break. Psalms of Solomon 2 verse 7, 3 verse 7, verse 5 and 8 verse 4 says, Do not awaken me before it's time. Manage your emotions very, very well. What is emotions? Energy, emotion. I beg you, if you are ready in a relationship, manage your emotions very, very well. Number seven, watch out for toxic relationship. From a relationship, you may find that will be too. It's just that some of us are sad that we will continue like that. From a relationship, you will be a man that will beat you. So watch out for what? Positive relationship. You need something for if your, your friends in Calic 9. And the two of us must see ourselves to you. And you are still doing. No, I, I won't, I, I'm telling you a real story. Where I stay, my place. A young man tied dog check in his hands and was talking up. And foolish stick there came by the next day. Now, cause. Now, this can't be. Dog check tied up. So, from a relationship, you know when a relationship is what? A marriage will be what? Toxic. Everybody that calls you to die is threatening you. Let me speak up. So I have come and tell me, your monthly money they sent to me this month. Tell me all the things you use to do, right from paper. You will fight in the house. Please are we together? We can make toxic relationships. And when you see it, two options. Number one, try to change it. Try to talk it to the person. I don't like this. When the person says this is our family member is on that road, I permit you to break it. Even if I was one that joined before. Because if he can't change with you, he will not change. If he can't change for you, he will not change with you. So if he can't do it now, he won't do it in marriage. Are we together? Number eight. Learn to compliment each other. Learn to compliment each other. Say thank you. I'm willing to always say I'm sorry. Some men are so proud. They can never tell a lady I'm sorry. But my fancy knows how I keep my relationship intact. Sometimes I can just give her a call and say, Oh, guess what? You just made me fall in love with your flesh. I know a lady. I know that you brought this out to come. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let to compliment each other. We are in a relationship where I never told you that you are just saying, she's only speaking out. My number. And the face is my way. 
It's not what she sees in the mirror, it's what I tell her. But she is doing it for me. I wrote to Goya. And to say what? Thank you. She brings anything for me, I take it with Thank you. Because the Bible says what she is doing is what they help. Please be willing to say what? Even if it was your money she used, to get it. Be willing to say what? Thank you. And be willing to always say what? I'm sorry. Sometimes, even if you are not at fault for the sake of peace, be willing to say I'm sorry. One time a young man asked his sister, he said, Daddy, I would like to settle down and get married. The brother said, First, tell me I'm sorry. He said, Why would I say I'm sorry? He said, Just tell me I'm sorry. He said, no, I can't. What did I do now? He said, I just tell me I'm sorry. He said, okay, I'm sorry. He said, when you learn to say I'm sorry for no reason, then you are ready to settle down. When I saw that, I saw the weakness. The time is coming for the sake of peace. You know you are not the one at fault. He said, okay, I will end this matter now. Sorry. Are we together? Then to complement each other. If somebody tells your fiancé she's looking more pretty, more fun than you, very soon, very soon, very soon, we'll stop at Hallelujah. Please learn to say, I'm what? I'm sorry. Always learn to settle misunderstanding. I told us misunderstanding means to understand we missing each other. In that person's world, he or she is correct. In your own world, one person must be willing to set you down. Because it's foolishness when you are the man to be praying for it. What you should be bringing at that point in time is what? Water. And my person knows me very well. There's a very easy way I settle any kind of misunderstanding. That is my work for me and my work for you. But I'm just giving you as an example. When she gets me pissed off, she knows very well. Those I don't see around the office knows very well. There's rights to correct that. I say, you see this thing, you mean the only thing that people can do. I'll pass my message like that. This is close. Are we together? Let me just say, I'm sorry. Number nine, settle your sex and financial life before talking of marriage. There are many men that will tell you their wife must join their money with them. Do I encourage all my sons? Never you put your eyes on the woman's money. You are a man now, man is <laughs> set to your sexual and financial life. This is one of the major things that brings homes today. Go and check most homes. The wife is working, the other is working, the other will just stand up one day. Tell me what you can do this house with your money. Go and check most homes. I counsel people a lot, so I speak from my experience. Set to your financial life. Well, when I train my sons at this, allow a woman to take her money, have your money. At best, have a joint account and say, okay, from your own money, let's also send me leave. From my own money, so such and such, leave monthly. But when it gets to any height, we will not decide, okay, this one is almost 200 dollars now. What project can we do in the family? That's how we get it. You can even get a washing machine from there. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then why is it good? Sometimes when her siblings come and even your siblings, she shouldn't come and ask for money to give them. She can take care of me. What bodies a man is when they ask him for things too much. Now you are carrying my money. She won't tell you, sit I need under there. Sit I need to under there. Sit I need to under there. One day you get that and say, it's every day you are looking for money. Come on. Come going on the road. She see a nice stuff for you. She buys it for you. How do you do that? These are the things that are things for you. Hallelujah. Hey, lift up your mind. It will work. And be willing to get let go of each other's whole mindset. Lift up your mind, it will work. Tell yourself that this other person applied it in this relationship and is working for them. It might not work in mine. For instance, if you're lady now, you learn from your friend that she has an issue that she should not be a call. Okay? Tell that kind of thing with me. So, she will do it work. On your mind, because your mother used to throw your father and your mom is and your mom is quarreling. Your mom will just die and face and all. All your father will be denounced. Then she will not start soon. 
you are going to fancy and you put that in it can scatter your own so it worked for somebody that spoke my dog worked for you it's okay like I told you the best that works for me is that I turn every quarter to a joke and I pass my marriage my message across and it's working heavily for me alright rise up to your feet let's ventilate the fight okay good and now we should be out of here are you blessed I didn't rush the message, so I don't just touch, touch, everybody's jumping. I pull up the teaching line by line, so you can write and even go back and check it. We talked about first having a vision before talking about a relationship. We talked about maximizing your words, singleness. Then we talked about how do you know it is time for a relationship. Then when you know, what to check out for, right? And then we talked about when you are already in the relationship, what should we really be able to do? Now listen, finally, this is the major purpose for courtship. Like I said, the first point, to unite your purpose and what passions. When I keep telling somebody that this thing you are doing, I'm not happy with you, and the best thing you can do is I can never change, I beg you, break that relationship. Most of the time, I've counseled people a lot. They say, you say, we even when we're not, we're just waiting. She was thinking to say, in my mind, as I'm just looking at them, and you know, is that okay? So, from coaching, coaching is a good time for you to know. You check something, you just notice in the person's life, and you don't like align it. And maybe this thing you think I'm not happy with. You say, I can never change it, but this is our only thing. If you can't cope, will you continue? No. So, it's not just sweet and funny. Alright? And like I said, give each other. I think my case's library should be bigger than the library of these solutions. Even at the point now, I think I've not got out of the this year. It's a chance to buying yourself. Right. I know what I want. I know the kind of home I want. And I know the ideologies young people have collected over time. So I buy things. If I want this, I need to work on my mind. One book I love that I bought for her is the power of a praying wife. If your wife pays for you to get a job, then tell me to Ask her if I am stranded or broke, I made her as a proof of me. Once she put money was into my hand, she did miss her understand. Are we together? So that's all we should do. Not just the sweetheart, the one who I love you. It's a simple that you should be doing. Let's just watch again. Around the phone, where we sit down, two or three questions will respond to them. Open my eyes to see you. Open my heart to see you. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know?
the man I know, and my companion. This is invented by Cockroach. This is a condition. I'm calling her wife. That she should go and give me. Me, I have my own room. And then they know. For most of us, for example, we are all friends. There's one thing that is my own. That's me. But for my sake, when my own happens, I have to hang in the air. I've got people from work too. See, they came. And I think they couldn't go back that night. They threat. I was hanging. But I won't tell you what's my own issue. That's my own area of limitation. Hallelujah. Any questions? Please, very quickly, so I can close and go. Mr. Mike? I will answer beyond my limit of knowledge and experience. If I do, what the question is beyond it. Right now, I'm not married and I'm just in a relationship. So once it's beyond that aspect, if I do, I will do a Now, if you have a friend that is, they go to church, but in giving, in telling them about the relationship, you know you will make mention of it, you have put it and send them to for counsel. I don't know that car. The cancer is dying like the more you say it won't work because they like spiritually. Not that if you can't see your mother being able to put to submit the car, things are not yours. Then spiritually the car the accounts are not work. No, I'm not saying you should you should be putting by me. What I mean is for the brain, sorry, you not seek counsel, seek their consent. Let them be aware and let them give you a permission. To indulge in the road relationship. Such that after my, uh, when I'm talking, I'm talking from experience. I have about two notable kids that are still coming as a picture to me now and I'm preaching. So, uh, anyways, the parents say, okay. And I was wondering, if we had known from the beginning, we would have lost each other's time like this. Maybe yes. It's a waste of time. So, tell it from the onset. Let your parents define it well. Is that, are we giving you this, this relationship as support? Yes or no? And most important, to go with your mother now. Once mama is in the uh -huh. is that also? I think everyone should be free enough to talk to their mother, right? Is that also? Next question, please. Mr. Mike, just somebody should stand here for me. Um, Hello, I want to say I've been blessed. I'm recently. I thought I've learned certain things, but then I I was faced with I don't want to call it a challenge. The person I'm in a relationship with, he came back one day and had uh, should I say a problem or something. He encountered some challenges where he went to. And at that point, you you know when a man comes back and he tells you today was bad, I faced this, I faced that. And for the first time in my life, I didn't know what to say. At that point, I knew I've not started. I've actually not started. So what occurred to me at that point is that I, I need to make this part of my life a prayer point. So how do you advise a young girl who is in a relationship needing to, to marriage? How do you advise her to... What should she do at that point when her man comes or a husband to be comes home with such complaints and there is need for her to either counsel him or pray with him. Hallelujah. Now let me explain something to you. There's something I told one of my friends that got pissed off with me. You are supposed to be using that in front. Yes. Alright, so you'll be doing the best I'm talking about. She got pissed off with me. Alright? Because of the pressure that was on me. And I made a statement that her mother. I think if your job is not to pick up my pressure, then you have no need in my life. Look, she might insult you. As if I insult her, she can't be telling me, but I can't insult you. So if she's not telling me, oh my God, it's okay. You shall carry it on my behalf, just a video. I can't think of another thing. Is that okay? Now, in the teaching, I said, this is something you were supposed to have trained yourself in before what she even came to into a relationship. I think your job as a lady, as I said, you don't know the purpose of marriage, right? 
you don't even understand why you are into the relationship because the relationship will lead towards marriage. Are we following? And I said in, in marriage, the man and God said it is not good for the man to be alone. That means the man has a problem. You have a drug. Are we following? You have a drug. So you just train yourself in that light. And I can think what's super. That's why I talked about speaking on my mind. Alright? So that I have left and say I should have a job. If you don't worry, I can't report you. So what? Uh, so that makes sense. That's why I said, I'm telling you about your characteristics. It's what I'm going to do is to bring it out of you. Is that okay? So you need to train yourself from now. Alright? So that point is that it's been selling the matches for anybody that has an easy expression. At that point is, let me teach you the simple things to tell a man. Don't worry, it's going to be well. Hi, you are coming in the world. Alright? One thing you made him to understand, you are made him to understand is that I am seeing a brighter side of your future. You said and scatter. You see this is how my fucking said. <laughs> Alright? That's what men want. The way you talk, let me show you that you are seeing a brighter side. Of me tomorrow. Alright? So that point will find us. See that? It's going to be fine. Go on. Not the first way you may not have much words to say. Don't no, worry. It's going to be fine. It will get better. It will get so much time. Alright? I'm going to strengthen you. Did that answer your question? Question. Huh? Okay. Yes. You want to explain? Please take the mic. Go. If I respond to the people out here, where is your other group here? Uh uh, I always happen at this place, but they are not asked. Okay, because of the money, you know. Okay, go ahead. Sir, um, you made a point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's some there's some little sort of that thinks it's a right for you to treat them for. For example, he's watching the movie. Like it's like they explore you because you try to give them the opportunity. They explore you. For example, something happened. I think last semester we were in the bus. So there was no space for this lady to sit down. I was sitting down. So she was like, she don't want to enter, but uh, you come in on me, I was down. And then, oh, we're going to do it. It's just one, it was just one. Yeah, it goes towards the person. She kind of goes in danger. So she thinks it's, 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 it's right. So I don't know, sir. And here, let's go to move. Now, the truth here is this. One of the major things we must understand in a relationship is this. That's like the final way I ended up this seminar. You can make up your mind into what? Now listen, everybody grew up from different environments, different backgrounds. For instance, if you are somebody from Benin and you tell somebody good money, what's their response? I don't hear. I'm not you. Something looking like that, you read the food, what's the response? If you exactly the news. What the person will say, okay. So, they say, I hear. There's nothing like thank you. So if you don't know, take offense. So family upbringing differs. Environment also what differs. Is that okay? So sometimes we must we must understand with what the ideologies we have sucked up over time also what differs. And in such kind of case, sometimes it might be an innocent forgetfulness. So the person was so kind of the happiness of sitting down and he or she forgets that he or she was supposed to say what thank you. But I promise you, by the time she listens to my message, I think you should never say thank you. So we start with thank you. But it's not now listen, there's one of my codes, they are still working on them. Nobody's good partners is supposed to change your goodness. On nobody's account, you become a bad person. Don't give anybody that kind of right. So don't say because one person did like this now, I'll run the like this. No. The man is speaking to everyone. There is a girl that said to him, so you love every man according to their words. Whether I hear. Alright? Just think it is your life. 
what I thought, I thought it is. That's why I say from him and export what from the thing. Learn patience and tolerance. So you send it by doing anything for me, and then you send it to the other So you people I'm taking care of, I can pay you as soon as you're going to know. The point is that you need to change the English. Why is time I just send one to the other? Do I expect anything? I did it because I trust you. You don't trust me. You don't even trust you. You did it out of choice. Why are you looking for thank you? Is that also? Alright? But we trust God. The first day churches I'm teaching now they are learning how to say what? Thank you. I say, look at my friends. Then she buys me orange. I'll say what? She's so used to it now that she buys it and needs that thank you. She doesn't say that. Forget it. So you can, you know we say thank you, I just like to talk. <laughs> Hallelujah. So that's just the love thing. And then this shifts me to a very vital point. Peace. For ladies, I talked about check your ideologies, right? It is not the right of any man to enter into the kitchen with you. Because if you do that to somebody like me, like the minister, now next week I'm going to Sunuja, I, I come back in two weeks and I'll be going to Abuja. I'll come back, I'll come and do timeless food. Uh, everybody. He said, I should mind that you change it. The only time I can put better than you would, you see? My escape <laughs> My escape will not help you matter. It's out of So when a man comes, let it be out of all his choice and appreciate him for that coming. But don't make it a right. Because I believe that we say it. My husband was in package with me. In fact, he was going to go with me. Is it by his scripture? Alright? Now, any husband will want to put that out of love. But if you begin to put this at the price, Please no, stop it. Is that okay? Don't you make it to work in necessity. If you enter into the world, what will you do? So I should see your point. You can see it after that. I'm not watching this thing now. Is that okay? Hallelujah. Did I answer your question? So anything you do, you bring out of work a sincere heart. Please do that because you love one, because that's the right thing to do. Not because you're expecting the person to appreciate what you have done. Huh? Yeah, good thing to say, it's not right. And you have done me Next question, please. Okay, let me answer one of the questions here. So if you don't have a spiritual guy, does it mean one can't be in a relationship? You know about the system, man. Is that also? Because maybe God does not marry you. <laughs> I will take the advantage of having it. But not, I'm not saying you cannot be. You can choose to be now. There's no law of stopping you, but there's an advantage of having a spiritual mind. Is that okay? Especially when that person understands what spiritual fatherhood is all about. That's why I think that's my message. It is not usurping the rights of your mentee, alright? Or exactly what control. You don't control people's life. What we do is we do father is suggesting. I can come and take out. I'm not comforting with that guy. Ask my children, that's what I think today. I want to be sick of my room. Now my wife, you can be telling me. But at first I can only tell you, I'm not comfortable with this person. I'm not, I don't just think this. My heart, my heart is not agreeing with this. That's all. I can't threaten and say, you don't think I'll go soon. It's a choice. Is that okay? So you can be in one, alright? But I will show you the advantage of it. In the one you have covered, you have a guide. Alright? So, if there is anything wrong, you have somebody that can tell that person, and the person won't hear it. Alright? This I did. And then a spiritual guide that is truly good God, that works with God and is giving it to him, can fix certain things you must. Part of my daughter came to ask the school to apply or get the master's requirement or something. Oh, that's now one of our friends I know. I do a she. You see, she really has one baby now. They need marriage. Every day they don't have a work. Now he has one and left her. I don't just understand some men do. When they reach out and say, she got married. No, not to just lie for that video that married today. Now he did one baby. I wish to hear them. So there is a necessity. That we check those things out. Alright? Let me answer another question. I know the family husband and wife that have divided. 
virtually all the principles we brought us to be. They've been married for about 20 years. They still buy all these things. What should be done? He said, I don't know. I'm just to keep praying. I'm going to open the eyes to see what they are supposed to do. <laughs> Is that okay? So that's the best thing to do. Alright? If you break us over now, we will fight you. So our uh, best prayer we can be praying is that God open the world their eyes to this understanding. Let them sit and realize. The Bible says the God of this world has what like for their eyes. That's what we call strong homes. Alright? Let me explain what strong homes mean. Strong homes is not necessarily a demonic system, personality itself. It's a mindset that keeps you in captivity. And that's what we must do. We must do this. Because most of the times, how you know someone that is a strong body? The person thinks they are going to want to change or bound. You are telling the person, this is why I come is not right. The person doesn't like, like it. No, no. You don't know what you are That is strong body. Because what is eyes are going to be like for it. Now, okay? Hallelujah. Let me attend to the last thing. Okay? If you are not proud of someone, you are in love with. You can't be in love with somebody and not be proud of the person now. Is it possible? So, Christian, I'm sorry. If you are in love with somebody, if you are not proud of someone, you are in love with that, and you are in love with that person. If you are not going to speak go ahead with the relationship, so what are you going to do with the person? Alright? Your love is just a little bit. Is that okay? Anybody in genuine love will be proud of it. Is that not so? It's a proud of That's why I tell you, please take your time. Alright? Don't get too demonic or spiritualize too many things around this. Like me, I like time. I already told myself the baby must be what? Those not as if she's too much now, but I still try. <laughs> what I plan to do is we have how to apply spirituality. I told her she would be proud with me. Are we together? No, she's not looking for me. If you are prettier than her standard. I don't know where. Now, why am I saying all these, saying all these things? As simple as these things would be, they destroy your heart. Don't mind somebody who will not be happy with it. So you will not be proud of it. Alright? Not the best. And most not the best. Adam saw it and said this is good, one of my own. Why should you think you deserve? Alright? Please. That's why you don't marry the better for protest. Do me. That's why. Who now do me? She's not the one. For what? How do you come and impose over the power? What is that one? You can't try. I know. Is that okay? So please. I beg you. On that, on that condition, don't go ahead. Is that okay? Marry somebody like me. I love beauty. Instead, I do. That was my first character of the lady of the Dubai. She must be what? Now, I'm a minister because when I go out, you know what she's done? I should not be able to prevent my life. I can see that. I can see that. I want to go home. I can see that. You start the marriage. Now, let's just say so. Is that not so? You will scrap your marriage. So when you went back out, you pray everything, you pray everything up. You must be proud of that person. You walk in with the person and say, This is my husband. Ask my child, that's the first person I ask them. Can you come with this person you are claiming now? Can you come with this person you are this world? That this person is your husband. If you are can not, thank you. That would be called hypocrisy. Is that okay? For the somebody that always be proud of you, wait for the better. Is that okay? Next question. Okay. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay? We will die as thanks to you. My confusion. <laughs> Is that 
I didn't know I'll be coming back to this school, right? I didn't know I'll be coming back here. So for the country, I was not coming back here. They're thinking that the relationship will have been very long. Now, I have this scholarship, so I'm going to do my master's in UK. It will have over long. Is that my soon? Now, this is what I tell my friends everything. He said that he was very confident. No man can take anything from me. That's right. I don't mind working now. Why should I be scared when something will happen if I'm not here? You are not money, but you are not in your job. That means you will be going to be managing your job. Are we together? Please don't come. Relax. We are going to give communication. Alright? Just make sure communication is all right. Alright? So, that's why I go work with criteria and everything you want to do. It's what you love God. That's what you should be sweet. Alright? So that's my little advice on the first time. If like you post a few sponsors, another one. Okay, I'll take it from this time. Please be there after your poster. Alright? So don't be scared. You know your heart. Why would you look, look, look at somebody like me? Why would you want to give me for another man? Okay, okay. I'll give you one. The first one, yeah. I, okay, the first one started out from someone's sister, mm-hmm. and it's okay, you've got that story, this is the best one. So why, why is the place of, uh, hallelujah, why is the place of you now balancing with that your personal, okay, the aspect of, so uh, like, you do not, I don't know how to, but how to, Ask if God, God, and um, direction is not just the final, like you just think they never let me just fit into it. I will put one scriptures and God shall grant the desires of your heart. I mean, son, he won't be more than that. In fact, it makes me to do some of his better hand. God will not give me something I'm not going to be able to. The Bible says, the desires that our joy will be what? Are we together? I just that's my my judgment. God will not give you something to be He creates you. He knows what will make you happy. Except you are being what? Selfish. You know what I mean? Except you are selfish and material motives. Alright? But why would God even give me an object and not have I want to say, you know what I mean? Adam said he liked her. Isaac saw the data that somebody went and prayed for him. He liked her. Me. Mm. When I brought him myself. God directs the right person to you. Yes. Yes. Because some of them might end up going the other way and trying to. Oh. My main sister right now. And are we clear with that question? Who will grant the desires of your heart? Who will not give you something that will make you sad? It's not a wicked father. He said, If you ask for bread, will I give you stone? If you ask for meat, can I give you sleep? How much more? Alright? Now, listen, let me jump into a topic very quickly in less than 20 minutes because of this question. One thing that has helped me in my work with God is that I understand the father of God. That's the basis of Christianity. 
I was going to the farm with some of my sons to rest the food. The man was drinking. These are just two. I think she said to me, say, for the office of that Ask him whatever he wants. I said, this must not touch me. The rain was falling everywhere. He has said, thank you, the rain like this. He's the father of God. A man that will tell you if you don't take care of your own family, you can to get how much money? That's my mindset. I'm not a bastard. How much money? If you want to set that kind of criteria for what I mean, how much money? It's just the same thing with forgiveness. Someone that will tell you, you need to forgive somebody 49, 70 times 7, that's 149 times. How much more he? This is how you understand the Father will of God that is virtuous to take this judgment. Are we together? Let's leave that. In Microsoft, aspect of bringing vision together. Okay. All these things like exactly you, your own calling is towards evangelism. And he is not must it be the same. You are not meant for each other. Now listen. The Bible said the man had a problem. You are supposed to come out work and help him. Now you are planning to go and do something else. What you are the scripture now? It's not true. There must be a unity of work, passion and purpose. For instance, right now, maybe you start with what is the home? <laughs> <laughs> For instance, <laughs> <laughs> for instance, now let me start with the gospel. Is that not so? My guess is it to be two stars. It doesn't stop at two stars. Alright? This is short. She can do that and she still support the gospel. The only challenge that we have is if she now don't like my preaching, we can't be together. Even if she tries it now, I will run. Why? I'm looking for a roar in my house, how to start seeing roar. I love God, I love Bible, she don't like it. Or maybe when I want to go to the city, pick me. I can't. We will just suffer. That's why you see what we just said, that one of the books that we read, 20 years. I've seen too many examples. Please go back and look at the teachings I said. Because I told you what to do before you enter, when you are ready to do what to check, please go over there and check. Is that okay? No, no. But there will be a clash of people. Because I say, love is a promise. But you might for what? There is a clash You are supposed to help somebody, not to go and do something else. So even in a catering job, she do what? Of the help. In every way, it was the help. She was not rich. If God is not going now, also, she must not preach. Because look at our side, the two of us are pastors and teachers. Are we not finished? She must, are we going to be happy? I'm going to be preaching for you. They will be checking where it's going inside and bringing them out. Hallelujah. That's what it's like. Is your question answered? So that's what we check for. Please do you understand that question? We don't stop. For instance, I don't buy the idea that a woman has a wonderful vision and because you marry her, she doesn't have to vision. No. You look for that vision, can still hit. You are silent. Why? She has a, a protein stop, but she's in here. But you stop her from following me to what you want to eat. And I say, no, you are not doing anything. Just sit in the house and watch the children. Are you together? It doesn't stop it. Hallelujah. Last question, please. Or two more things on with Don't worry, this relationship next to the one and two. Is that okay? Yes, okay. No, that is to come back to normal. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to 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 you are calling the person to go to the house and you are calling the person to go to the house. You are out of the house. No, it's not happening. So when I look at all that, what is she calling for himself like this? You can use this over your father. That's why he goes when he comes up. And where is your mother? She can look at it. Don't go. Don't go. I can't help you that. Is that okay? 
Thank you. I'm going to make sure we are complete. For the brothers who pass up with Christian, we get the line from any of the limited send me until you reply your drugs. I ask that always check backgrounds. The tendency of the character of our parents and our in our life is always there without me knowing it. I have seen it in my own life too. You two, you know what I'm saying. You see one trait about either your father or more than your life. That's the truth. So, right, the person needs to know that thing when he or she sees it. You know, okay, fine. There's a diversion of alcoholic features in life about his words. That's why I say, when you go through that, don't break the relationship. Did I say so? I didn't say you should break it. I think when it shows you what you should be dealing with, it's his life. These are roots really together. So, background doesn't make you break it. But it gives you what you should be addressing, what you should be addressing, and what you should be checking. For instance, now, when you speak up to work, where everybody diverts. It shows you that there is a battle to fight. It's a spirit. Alright? Those things are sponsored by what you want. And if you are not careful to you will be seven years. So now that you know it, it has given you an edge that you will deal with it. Are we together? Now, for instance, let me give you an example. Now, my tribal people, from the history I heard, that I don't know much, I like their very stage. Very, very stage. Are you suffering my hand? Yeah. Are you seeing what has helped me? So when I found out I am seeing certain truth like that in my life, I work on it. Alright? So when you choose, I've seen instances like I have a friend, extremely spiritual, I don't tell you But it's funny that it's diverse issue. Who might be going to a regular issue? It's not good sign. I said it's about to be spiritual. You know why? Most of the times, when people are anointed, they don't even take care of demonic things. They don't know these things are spoon sold for a demon. That you are anointed does not handle those issues. You must enforce the reality. The Bible says, if the foundation will be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? That means the righteous man can have his foundation destroyed. But you are going to give us what to do. What is your son will do with your spirit? Is that? Is that which? So we know what to do with it. That's the reason of this. If you see a man that the old father beats the mother and said it was a tendency. Now there's something sensitive I would like to say. I saw the work repeating itself in my own life. I just said the same thing. I don't believe it. It's not okay. We we'll check for it. Are we together? Because every pattern is sponsored by what? We keep on. Please are we blessed? We are giving you this kind of sound by now. It's not the first blow of our sound. That maps go. Who says that we should go? Next week, we'll be having a little bit of a series. A very, very powerful series. Alright? We are done with the relationship series. We are going to start anything that will bring us up spiritually. So let's go to the next group. I'll be bringing out a message that will spur our hunger and love for God and more. Without you, I'll speak on my inspiration. And then on the first and second of September, we have a, a meeting that's the third and the Friday, that timeless group is for the final year project where anybody can attend. I want to teach them 30 principles God taught me. About. I'm not even able to teach them. I'll teach them from the world of my spirit. 30 principles God taught me about. that have made me who I am. Alright? Right, so that you can, when you are going into the world, you can survive. And this thing will do it for a component of job, I am turning down you. That has helped me. And I have not applied once. So you now understand that there are times when you need people, like Rebecca, that can help you. Check out. I'll teach you some of all these things. Are we together? So please, I beg you, don't any of the meetings. Now, don't have exams until I beg you.
you go to the so many things in our life, even if it's looking for life, for you to come for this person and undermine to the corner. So, the world of relationship says, He has not in your marriage. Because the sum total of your achievement in life is tied to your marriage. Great servant of God, Apostle Baba Lola, when he wanted to die, I had to call his subordinates and tell them, if your wife tell you you will make her, don't pass and pay for a beggar. The person at the beginning, she tells you you will not tell her the gift. Because she will do. Since 30 seconds I have understood it, especially when we are a man that lost her. Because you know we are constantly attacking to the country. You can remain frustrated all your life. The sum total of your achievement is tied to who you are for the man. Take the photo tonight. Give great worship. To bless your father. You are worthy. You are worthy. Thank you for listening. We trust that you have been blessed. Come and worship with us every Friday at Atmosphere for Grace and every last Friday of the month at Night of Miracles and Supernatural Encounters. Opposite FUT Mina, Gideon Kwano Campus, Mina, Nigeria State. Come and be blessed. I'll just go straight to our question for today. Today is our question and answer section where we we've been gathering questions from the people for the past the past um, one month and normally we have a special service dedicated that we respond to those questions. Now the essence of introducing this to the nature of our service is so that is so that we can make sure to an extent we can address the the personal needs of the people in every way that we can sometimes um, be preaching yet somebody's need can be different so I, i'm supposed to teach on something understanding the time but also spend the message i'm not feeling comfortable with the atmosphere so i'll just go to the question and answer section and respond to the questions we have thus far, we have about um, 13 questions here. What I will do is, I will run through the questions because I find that if I answer what I have here, I will end up repeating some of the things I've already taught. And I was really shocked when they brought the question. The question came to me very late. I got these questions yesterday. And um, I was trying to go through all of them. And I found out that every question was basically on relationship so i was wondering whether they don't even used to hear what i preach are we together all the questions not one was on the anointing protocols and the rest of them every question was on relationship but there's no problem i'm going to respond to them as much as i can hallelujah please say hi to the person by your side relax tell the person you're welcome to church now i'm going to recommend that you get the message on singles and relationship part one and two is that okay please most of the things the questions asked had already been dealt with there so try as much as you can to get that um, message to help you a lot are we together and then at, at the end of the question if i do well with time i'll give room for three to five extra questions is that okay i will correspond to them the first question, I'll just pick a random what I can respond to. The first question said, Sir, please, should we believe astrologists? And, Sir, please, should we believe astrologists and zodiac in terms of relationship? Should we believe astrologists and zodiac in terms of relationship? Now, what is person I want to believe? Now, if I call a question that you asked and you feel I didn't have an understanding of what you were trying to find out, just is that okay? Are we together? Then I will, I will give you the permission to make it clearer and clearer to me, rather. So, what a person wants to find out is, um, you know, certain people believe in this zodiac matchmaking. 
if you are in October, if you marry, January is a disaster. How many of you have seen things like that? And so that's what the person is trying to find out. Are we following, please? The only voice we are permitted to listen to is the voice of God. The only book we are permitted to draw instructions from is the Bible. Are we together? Are we following, please? So all the zodiac and all the astrologers, if our scripture condemns us to have anything to do with it. Are we together, please? So maybe you saw in the codings of the book, you are a month and you unfortunately find out that your fiancé or girlfriend, in any case it may be, is uncompatible with you. I'm telling you from the message of God that it is on what? Scripture. Is that okay? It is on Scripture. If you need to consult Zodiac or an astrologer to settle that in a relationship, be ready to consult them to sustain it. The Bible is speaking in um. See, I'm not really ready for this section. In the Holy Ghost, please. Give me um. Okay, Philippians one six. One six. Okay, being confident of this very thing, that He which had begun a good work in you, we perform it until what the day of Jesus Christ. God, we only finish what He starts. God, we only perfect what He begun. Are we together? God, we only what finish. What he starts, he will only perfect what he begun. So if your wisdom for settling down with a lady or a young man comes from the writings and the dictatings of an astrologer or the zodiac sign, then be ready to continue with them to sustain it. Are we together? It is totally what? On scripture. Are we following? So I want to believe the person that asked that question has a better answer. So please, do I need to be in a relationship? Or is it a want? Whichever one you call it. Whether it is a want or a need. When the season comes on you, go ahead. Alright? As I shall try as much as I can to avoid repeating that series. But one and two, get that message. Are we together? Now, if I want to go by the way or what is prompting the question being asked, I might feel maybe the person is feeling other of his or her friends are in a relationship and he or she is not. So is it that you must enter into one? As long as you don't have the call of service upon your life, are we together? Are we following? As long as you are not born a eunuch, Neither are you planning to make yourself one because you can't by decision. I can't decide. This I want to remain. Even though it's too late for me actually. Are we together? Are we following? So you can't decide to make yourself a eunuch. If you are not bound with any of those two covenants, then you are permitted to settle down. To marry. Are we following? And how do you know that it's time for a relationship. It will come upon you as what? A season. Please get that message. I'm trying to avoid repeating the things I said there. So that your friends are entering into one. Are we together? Does it necessitate you to go and look for one? Relationship is not a criteria for fulfilling destiny right now on the earth. Are we following? Neither is it part of your academic prerequisite. That impartial fulfillment, having made the requirement of being in a relationship, you are now qualified to have a bachelor degree. Are we following? It will come upon you as what? A season. And the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 1, to everything there is a time and a season. Ecclesiastes 3 11, he makes things beautiful in his time. That means if it is not in his time, though be it will, it will scatter. 
Now, there's what we call alignment, which is more popular. Well, one of these is I'm going to teach you something. It's more popular in the body of Christ. Not everybody talks about alignment. But you see, alignment is useless when you leave the second face of it. I've followed up, you know, such kind of light and truth. As powerful as it is, it's like the second part of what is not necessary. Or what is necessary, rather. The first thing that matters is synchrony. Alignment talks about being line. Synchrony talks about what being time. And God works by what? Times and seasons. That's why the Bible says he came to Jerusalem and was weeping for them because they didn't know the time of what? Their visitation. So as much as we shout alignment, 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 we must also consider what? Synchrony to be in time. Are we following? So when it is not this time, it will scatter. That's why the first criteria is what? It will come upon you as a season. Are we following? So that you have not felt it's not upon you as a season. If what is propelling you it's because you see all your mates entering into one. Then you are the only one left. Are we together? You are on the wrong side. Are we following? You are what? On the wrong side. I like the way my friends put it. One of them says, life is per head. Are we together? That you choose to enter into a relationship does not make you a successful than mine. It is not by who enters first. It is by who is following God's program for his or our life. The Bible says it is good to know that all things work it for the good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. Are we following? According. Are we together, please? So that's my response from scriptures to that question. You don't enter into a relationship because everybody is entering. It is not a want. Alright? It comes upon you as what? A season. Is that okay? And get the message you get a um, better explanation and um, understand them there. Number three. This person is asking it is believed that in a relationship the both parties must get physical before there can be an intimacy. So I want to ask is kissing permitted when dating or is it not? Did you understand the question? Or I should repeat it. No, questions like this, you get it faster. Even if the mic is having issues. Are we together? So the person is trying to find out, should you go? Now, I know of some tribes. I understand this question. Somebody had asked me before. I know some tribes like, um, I think the Igbo has that more. The lady must be pregnant. Not all of them. Is that okay? Is that okay? Uh -huh. Before you are an Igbo person, yes. Ah, ah. They must test the fertility. <laughs> are we together? I have seen cases like that. Are we following? The Bible says, Marriage is honorable and the bed undivided. Let's try as much as we can to avoid mixing tradition, personal opinions with scriptures. That's why the Bible is speaking about the Pharisees. He said they have made the gospel into the traditions of men. That I don't feel comfortable about something does not make it wrong in scriptures. That you don't like people wearing trousers does not mean the Bible says you don't wear one. It's your personal what? opinion. Are we following, please? Always know how to separate your personal opinion. That's why for those that did um, the school of discipleship, our national art term is what? With scriptural reference. Why? There is a laid down principle. There is something we are following as a roadmap, as a blueprint. You don't have the right to say, I feel, I think it should know. 
the Bible says. This is one of the biggest problems right now in the body of Christ. People mixing what they feel to them is correct. Right from the pulpit. Are we following? Your opinion doesn't matter. Even Paul, when he have to, he has a need to bring out his opinion, he will make a statement. Not the Lord, but I speak. That's how sensitive it is. Not God. I am just telling you this is the one I feel. Not God. Okay. Are we together? So it is unscriptural. Unscriptural. Why? The Bible says, he that um, gets, how many of you know that a man and a woman becomes one? Not on the wedding bed. Not on the wedding day. Are we together? You know, many of us are confused in that. Can I trace these scriptures? Um, just bring the Holy Ghost. Ancient walls ever true changing me and changing you. Oh, we have come with open arms oh, let Asian was Asian was ever true, changing me and changing you. Oh, we have come, oh, we do put on, oh, let Asian says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, be not deceived. And it was not adulterous, and adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Next verse. Not his covetous. Next verse. Verse 11. And such were some of you, but you are washed, but you are sanctified, but you are justified in the name of the Lord by one spirit. Next verse. 
all things are lawful unto me, but not all things, but all things are not what? Expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of what? Any. Next verse. Meat for the belly and the belly for meat, but God shall destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for what? Fornication. But for the Lord. And the Lord for what? The body. See, the construction, the design, the configuration, the arrangement and the structure of the system of God is like when you give your life to Jesus, you don't have it again. Such that I have no right whatsoever to do what I like with my body because it's no longer mine. Are we together? You know, we are still playing with this Christian experience. We are. I have no rights. It has belonged to someone else. Are we together? Next verse. And God had both raised us, raised up the Lord, and we also raised up by his own power. Next verse. I'll stop at 16 or 17. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of what? Christ, not your spirits. Even the mouth you used to kiss belongs to him. You don't have the right to do what you feel like with any part of your body. You don't have that right. Are we together? Shall I then take the members of Christ? Did you hear that? Whether it's your hand, your eyes, whatever part of your body, you have what? No right whatsoever. Are we together? Follow me. And make them the members of what? And hallowed God forbid next verse. Watch, I want to show you something. What know ye not? That he which is joined to a hallowed is one body. So a man and a woman becomes one, not through wedding covenant, not through the blessings of marriage. It's just a seal. It's just a prophetic covering by sexual relationship. Are we together? That's why you see in the Old Testament, the Bible always, always say, and Abel knew his wife. Intimacy. No. It's not by putting two rings in your hand. Something you can see throw away. That's not what joins people. Are we following? It's a blood covenant. Are we together? It's what? A blood covenant. That's why when a man sleeps with a lady, a blood comes upon it to seal such a covenant. It was kept there intentionally by God. Are we together? Nothing seals covenant like blood. Are we following now? Next verse. Okay, let me stop here. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Okay, give me next verse. Plead the fornication. Every sin a man doeth it is without the body. But he that committed fornication sin against what his own body. Next verse. What? Know ye not that your body is what? The temple. Not your spirit. What is your temple? The temple of the Holy Spirit. Your body. Not what? Your spirit. That's why I say this is unscriptural not to take your bath. <laughs> you know what I said? It is unscriptural not to take your bath. I don't want to go an extreme to even tell you that it is unscriptural not to spray perfume. Because even in your normal old temple, they used to burn incense to make it look, you know, smell nice. Is that not true? Is that not true? Shout hallelujah. You were the one that looked for trouble and gave me questions of this kind of topic. So enjoy it. Is that okay? Enjoy it well. Now we together. The Bible says, your body. That's why I said, it has not registered in our mind that this thing doesn't belong to us again. You have no right whatsoever to do with your body what you like. Okay, let me prove to you better. 
Um, I think we will get to the next verse. Okay. Go. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is what? In you. Which you have of God. And you are not what? Your own. You are not your own. Did you see that? Did you see it? Please respond. Are you seeing it? You are not what? Your own. This is a certain understanding that should register in your spirit. This is a certain understanding. I was preparing a message for FCS Boso, righteousness. I'm missing there tomorrow. And, you know, I was wondering why after people give their life to Christ, it looks like we joked. It looks like nothing happened. That's the truth. Are we together? like these things are play. But that's because an understanding did it sit in you. Um, let me show you something else. Okay, let, let me finish this. Next verse. It will help me to answer many questions. I'll just skip them. For you are bought what? With a price. Therefore glorify God in your what? Body. And in your what? Spirit. Which are God's. They are not your property again. Did you see that? They are not your what? property again. Give me Second Corinthians 5. Give me verse um, give me from verse 15. Let me see something there. Second Corinthians 5 and verse 15. Okay, good. Go back to 14. It will help me. Watch. For the love of Christ constrain us because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we are all what? Dead. Next verse. Please pay attention to this next verse. Very quickly. And that he died for all. That they which live should not henceforth what? Live unto what? Themselves. But unto him which died. That's why Paul was speaking Galatians 2.20. Give me. He said, I am crucified. He had the understanding. It is not I that lives. Are we together? Let it sit into you. See, there are some kind of understanding of scriptures or verses of the Bible that you just need to do a, a placard of it and put in your room. Every day you go out, you read, you come back, you read, you want to sleep, you read. Till it sits on you. Are we together? I have no right whatsoever. That's why no matter how stressful I am, if the Holy Ghost says, stand up to pray now, I have no right. You see your body? All right, whatever. Know very early in life and in your work with God what is not your right. The true definition of sonship in the kingdom speaks of right and responsibility. That's why I will always say that it was never wrong for the younger son to have told the father, Give me what belongs to me. It was what? His right. And if you read that scripture very well, is it Luke? The Bible says, and the father divided it between the two of them. So the younger son had rights, but lose to what? Responsibility. Why the elder son had responsibility? That's why the father told him, you, were you waiting for me to tell you to go and carry a goat? Everything here was your property. But no what? Rights. That's why the Bible is speaking in Galatians 4 verse 1 to 2. He said, as long as an heir remains a child, Though he be Lord of all. Child speaks of what? Right. No responsibility. He's not better than what? A servant. Servant speaks of what? Responsibility. No right. So what gives birth to true sonship is the combination of rights and what? Responsibilities. So know what is your right and what is not. Then know what is your what? Responsibility. That's why when people give their life to Christ, the first thing we begin to tell them are right. And they leave their Christianity with that mentality. Not telling them what is your responsibility. One of our responsibility is that after you give your life to Christ, a kind of anointing will not be moving you. The Bible says you should put off the old man. Who does the putting? You. You should what? Put off. Are we together? But you know, we didn't tell you that. It's like going to the bedroom and there is a soap inside and you want to take your bed. 
what we do the cleaning, the soap. But that you enter the bedroom, do you automatically get clean? You pick that soap. It's not bringing you back to works. Are we following? So you have a balanced gospel of grace. You pick the soap, right? And wash yourself. Who does the cleaning? The soap, not you. Are we together? So you don't have that permission to kiss a lady. Why? Now, even per adventure, you were permitted. Let me warn us young people. Um, there's a scripture I want. Let me see if I can get it. Or trace it for me. Songs of Solomon said, do not awaken love before it's time. Search that scripture for me. Are we together? You see, if you at once had anything to do sexually outside marriage, so almost everybody here is not married, you can suffer for it till you die. What you have done is that you have awakened love before it's time. I've counseled young people now for 15 years stretch. 15 years. I deal with cases daily. Do you know you can stay just completely but that you have had such kind of encounter. Have you seen that scriptures? Okay, good. I told you. You know, if there is anybody that should give us better advice, it should be this young man called Songs of Solomon. <laughs> It was a man that tasted every kinds of women. Black, Shunammites, the mites, and every type of mites. He had them. Are we following? He had how many wives? Huh? 700 wives and how many concubines? Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. I, I wonder how that young man cope. How many days do we have in a year? It's terrible to imagine such kind of scriptures. Have you sat down to comprehend it before? I've never been able to unravel that mystery. The year is 365. <laughs> that means if he truly wants to satisfy them daily, it will take him three years before he will repeat one person. <laughs> is it not by your calculation? 365, you have it at least thrice in 1,000. Right? I give you that. Go and crack that revelation. Pray and ask God for light. Are we together? So he gave an advice. I charge you, O oh you daughters of Jerusalem, by the rose and by the hymns of the feet, that you stand not up or awake in love till it's time. It will put you into trouble. Emotions is called energy emotion. Are we together? But adventure that the scriptures say kissing is even permitted. Do you know what you are doing to your emotion? Don't put yourself into trouble you cannot carry yourself out of. Are we together? Are we following? Don't. Once there is a contact, Except you are a robot. But once there is a contact, physical, between a man and a woman, there must be what? The transfer. Or the response. Or the interactions of hormones. Are we following? There must be what? The interaction of hormones. Including if you are a preacher. The last time I got injured, what came out of my hands, what blood, not olive oil. So I knew the best of a man is still a man. These are the things that put some of us into trouble when we begin to tell ourselves lies. Till date, they know the kind of safety valves I create for myself. Till date, I don't visit a lady alone. No lady visits me alone. You know, I have a new house here, so you won't even see her to see me. I have a permanent residence inside the school. 
these people have decided to be your transformer up. Now we together create safety valves for yourself. Because even if you have the intention not to do anything negative for the sake of your mind. Are we together? For the sake of what? Your mind. Assuming you are strong. But that, just that picture. I told you, our mind, our mind is the most automated video machine ever created. Such that it has the ability to press play by itself. Replay. Fast forward. Back forward. Slow motion. But even when you are telling you, stop, 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 you say, no, this is what I want to play now. So you must be careful what you allow to what? Sit there. Else, by just mere kisses, and that person is not there, and the devil begins to use that as an advantage and play with it in your mind. Over time, it will become a stronghold such that you can get out of it. Now, what is a wrong thought? Come. Look up, everybody. As you mean, this young man is a tree. You should be very foolish to assume he's a tree. Is that okay? Before you go now, start calling him tree, tree, tree. It's just an example. Because everything in the body of Christ now is a formula. So somebody can go and say, I call one young man a tree. He has tree. He's not a tree. Is that okay? Tell your neighbor is an example. Okay. Assuming this is a tree. The branches. Alright? Are thoughts. You know they can be easily what? Plucked. But stronghold are what? Stems. And a branch only graduates to that level over a long period of what? That's why even when we are delivering, see that young man, even when we are delivering people or counseling them, there are people I don't counsel in 10 seconds. I don't even counsel them in one day. I counsel them in months. I'm telling you. I've had a young man that got into phonography from the age of eight. I met him around 28 or so. You don't test such a young man to stop immediately. You don't even cast the devil gone. No, you don't do that. Because the Bible says the demon are so persistent so that they will come back again and play with his mind. Longevity. Are we together? So don't even do anything that will arouse your words. Emotions. Are we following, please? Don't. Don't. Let me attend to the next question. Do we all have understanding? Do we all have understanding? Number four. As a lady, is it good to also build your man up while in the relationship spiritually? Of course. Are we following? There is nothing wrong with that. Encourage him to study the Bible. Encourage him to read. In fact, I will give you a kudos for doing such. Because very averagely, especially in this setup of Africa, rarely will you see ladies that do this. The major complaint is that you are not giving me attention. So if you are thinking like this, you need a handshake from me. Are we together? Build him up. Are we following? Build him up. All right? Number five. What are the difference between a Christian relationship? And a non-Christian one. The difference is that the other one is non-Christian. Is that not so? <laughs> if there are some questions you are wondering how do you are this? Are we together? Okay, let me make an explanation. It is unscriptural. Give me first Corinthians. Let me help you. Because I know once I say it now, a verse will just jump up in your head. So I will give you before I even say it. Give me first Corinthians 7. Is it first? Yes, I think so. That talks about marriage and the rest of them. Yes. It is unscriptural to marry an unbeliever. But that you are married already to an unbeliever and you come to the faith, it is unscriptural to leave him if he chooses to do it with you. 
Did you understand it now? Because many people are interpreting that in the wrong way. The Bible says, don't worry, your righteousness will cover it. <laughs> no. It's not before you do it. Are we together? It's trying to give hope to those that are already in that situation. So they will not be without hope. Imagine a Muslim couple, one of them gives his life to Christ. What the Bible is saying is she's sanctified or he's sanctified. And once the man chooses to stay with him or her and still practice his or her religion, fine. That's what the Bible is saying. Alright? Fine. Do you understand? It's on scripture. To marry an unbeliever. Why? For the sake of that soul is not regenerated. It's not. So, Christian, in the sense of the way you are talking about it, First, when we say something is a Christian relationship, it's not that it is done by two people that go to church. Or one is Mary, one is Joseph. That's what my friends he calls me Joseph. I call her Mary. Bro, Joseph, she's sister Mary. Oh my God. Are we together? That's not the definition of a Christian word. Relationship. A Christian relationship is a relationship between two born again believers following what God's laid down principles and patterns for what? Relationship. That you are born again and you are still doing those kissing you are asking me for. I know it's you. Is that okay? I know. You are not in a Christian relationship. It has changed. It's not a non-Christian one. Are we following? Because you are now going against what? the commandments of God. So a Christian relationship is simply one between what? Two regenerated believers. Born again believers in that sense. Following what? God's laid down pattern and principles for what? A godly relationship. Then you can say this is what? A Christian or a godly relationship. Do we understand? I repeat again. It is unscriptural. To marry an unbeliever. You are here. A Muslim boy is asking you out. No, it's more common to our Christian ladies. I'm going to be here last week when I talked about the mystery of longevity. You don't know what you are doing. Once you have eternal life, anything you sponsor, you give it longevity. That's why they force you to look at pornography. You make it to spread more because of eternal life looking at it. Maybe one of these days I'll take the pain to make you understand what the world understands that we don't. Phonography is sponsored with 16 million dollars annually. Free. You don't pay. You don't pop up. For YouTube ads. 16 million dollars. That's why last week we talked about wealth and we said that the people of the other kingdom have built so much economic power to sponsor any kind of evil. But the church is very broken. Very broken. What you speak against, you cannot attract. You speak against money, you'll be very poor. You speak against the anointing, you will never carry it. What you speak against, you can never what? Attract. What you show honor, genuinely gives itself to you. Naturally. Are we following? Never you get into a relationship with a Christian. And the funny thing is, one way they deceive our ladies. That's why I encourage us. You are making me repeat that message again. But I'll just do some little things for the sake of those not here. Please get the message, single relationship, part one and two. One thing I encourage the ladies and the young men to do is number one. Have a pastor or a spiritual father that you listen to. Are we together? I've seen in my own local church the guy came to church service to do white wedding. After two months, she started counting Charles Baby. She is Charles Baby, they call it. What do they call this? Charles Baby? Charles B. Okay. Very stupid name. 
after three months. I think she changed her name to Aisha also. I have many examples like that. If a man wants to get anything from you, he can go any length. Once he drops one child, that's all. You two can't live because of your children. Is that why you keep shouting? Because of my children. Are we following? So you need to monitor to be sure even that person's change and conversion is sincere and genuine. And only God can reveal it to you. You can't know by flesh. I said the man did white what? Wedding. In my church. I played the piano for that wedding. So I'm trying to say so you know I can't forget. Entered war suit put and glove. After two months, the girl just became pregnant. She's doing IGRT. Many of them. Have you found out, let me say this to you, that I want you to go and evaluate for yourself. I don't know if there are many records like that, but paraventure there are. It will be very minute and few. I have never seen of a record where a Muslim lady was permitted to marry a Christian young man. I said, paraventure there will be, which you can't deny, but it will be very what? They will preach to you everything you can. We serve one God. It's not true. It's not. Are we together? It's not. Time of fame, I will have shown you in Ezekiel 28. The Bible said, they who bow before the sun and the moon, it's not one God. It's not true. Don't let anybody confuse you. You see the program they are doing in your school, right? Jesus Christ is the son and he's not the son. And you say we are one? We are not. Two opposite poles apart. Are we together? But when it comes to a young Christian young man falling in love with a Muslim lady, never. Are we following? Never. Are we together? Then, now, do you know it is even more preferable for a young Christian man to take a Muslim lady to his house. It is safer and can still be to an extent comfortable in the sense of this. You can believe that either they remain like that, practicing different religion or he changed her. Why? He's the one picking her from a different background and family bringing to his own. Not you going there. That's why it's risky for ladies. Are we following? It's risky. Start marrying from church. Are we together? Start marrying. And sometimes, you know, some ladies complain that the brothers don't talk to them out. They don't ask them out. It's not their fault too. Some of you are unacceptable. You just say, you know, your front of face. Innocently, you wanted to ask her, where can you get free? Just say, what is it? The young man is scared. Are we together? Tell your neighbor you are not a robot. Don't behave like one. Even God laughs. Jesus wept. You are not a robot. Don't behave like one. Question number... Number what? Number six. No sex before marriage. God commanded we should not defile the bed. Okay, I'm happy you've answered your question. My question is, as a lady, how can you make the brother to understand and wait? By simply talking to him. Is there a machine for understanding? Let's know. There's a machine that boosts words understanding. By simply talking to him. Let me be sincere with you. Anything a man enjoys doesn't mean much to him again. But anything a man finds difficult to get, he does all he can to make sure he still gets it. It is wisdom to even deny him. 
Are we together? It's wisdom. Are we following, please? Wisdom. What you know you don't. If your father has a bakery right now, you don't have any life, um, use for bread. Is that not so? See people eating bread, you are tired of it. But let your father not have one. But you are hungry, you want to eat bread. Prom. Prom. That's how this, our human nature is configured. Are we together? If it's sincere, you will wait. If it's not sincere, he will go. No man that is genuine. I want to be, I can vouch for all my sons. None of them is stupid enough to tell me they marry because of sex. Or to use their body on washing clothes or cooking. No. To an extent, all my sons are expert in cooking. They cook better than ladies. My sons. Personal, personal gym. Thing flew from the bloodline. Are we together? No matter how powerful you are. Are we following? Even if you are the custodian of strength, to an extent, if I summarize or approximate how many hours you will want to have sex with a lady in a day, two hours. How many hours do you have in a day? So what happens in the rest 22? If you feel that's why you marry. And you see the truth about it is that when you get married, you see this thing you are looking for, you get out of it. Your wife will touch you and say, no, I'm tired. I'm just going for office. That's it. You to your husband will touch you and say, I have malaria. Tell your neighbor it's worth waiting. You'll be tired. Sincerely. You'll be tired. Are we together? As powerful as they called it honey and moon. Nobody has had it for one year. After two weeks, they get bored. Then they know they need to be very useful to their, to their generation. <laughs> and everybody gets serious with life. <laughs> Have you heard of honeymoon one year? No. No matter how honey or money it is. <laughs> Are we following? Are we together? So it's worth waiting for. Is that okay? Explain to the young man. Now hear me. For the, um, the lady that asked this question. Nothing freaks a man like to see a lady that knows what she wants and can stand on it to make sure she gets what she wants. Even me, it tickles me. That's how Mary thinks. That's how when you see two young men sitting down and a young lady pass and just like that, I leave that girl, she's a foolish girl. He has disturbed that she refused. That's it. But if you see the one they wasted, you see the kind of talks you hear. I beg, I love this one. I love this nothing. Are we together? I beg you. Keep yourself. Explain to him. Tell him. That man will respect you for life till you die. Are we following? Till you die. Nothing kills trust in a relationship like giving yourself to the person. Then he begins to feel if it's this easy, how sure am I that you're not giving it to somebody else too? That's how people reason. That's why most of those relationships never end up in marriage. None. You're already distrusted. Are we following? Number seven. Is it right to sleep in your partner's house before marriage? For example, Spending time with your partner and getting to know him or her. The question is funny. Now I've asked, um, I've heard people, I know where this question is coming from, so let me take the pain to correct it. Is that okay? People feel it's good you know the person. You are married, maybe know whether he snores. You understand? For the lady, now I'm just saying the lady. Whether he snores, whether he's very dirty, understand, right? Is that not so? The kind of whether he smokes, whether he drinks, and the rest of them. See, staying in his house doesn't reveal that to you. That he even knows you're around will make him not to even reveal him to self. Are we together? 
no matter even relationship of 50 years. I've never heard of one like that. That they were in a relationship for 50 years before they got married. So I wonder when they gave birth. But eventually there was one like that. Still, the two couples cannot tell you they truly know themselves. There are certain things only marriage can unveil itself to you. Are we following? Only in the mother's womb can it unveil itself truly to you. You can't. So you don't need to go to his house to want to know about him. You can't. Are we following? You can't. That's where the place of a spiritual foundation comes in. Pray. Let God reveal things to you. This is why we pray for people's eyes to open. You know how to a question like this. Because you could see it. You could see it. I had one marriage one time in this campus. A very close person to one of my daughters. Lo- so I love the two of them. She moves is one of my daughters so much. She's a graduate. They, they graduated I think two or three years ago. I love them so much. So one time my daughter came and um, was complaining. You know, I'm a very, I, I'm very sensitive to even the way people ask some things from me. And she was like, hi, sir, this guy, I just want to settle down this, this, this. <laughs> just like that. Which of your friends is getting married? <laughs> That's the best question to ask a lady. So she has seen something, a wedding gown. And she called the name of the lady for me. I said, really? And the wedding was touched. Oh God. You know the person I'm talking about? Good. Touched wedding. And my daughter was under pressure. I said, number one, you are very pretty. Number two, I'm still alive. Just go. When you're ready to marry, come. I will pray the man I was. So relax. Are we together? Everybody has their timings and their seasons for life. Don't let other people push you to make mistakes they will not even make. And that marriage went on. I was not comforted when she told me about the marriage I was having. I said, Kai, I am having this lack of peace about this person. I don't know the person. And the funny thing is, when the devil wants to finish you, I don't know why he does that. He takes you away from help. I mean, this is a lady that is extremely close to me. I didn't know of that marriage except for my daughter. That's almost a week too. So, you know, the devil will say something to their mind. Don't let the person know. I don't know why he talks to them. And since I was not invited, so when they'll be praying for every uninvited guest, I will not be the one cast out. I just kept it to myself and told my daughter, I'm not comfortable with this. I watched the pics on WhatsApp. They were changing wedding pics. I looked at it. I was very happy for her. Since it's not me that is marrying it. So I was happy for her. Life is what? Per head. Be serious with your life. Alright? Be serious with your life. After one year, she put to bed. In fact, she was pregnant. She had not put to bed then. And after one year, I just called my daughter, how are you doing? Where are you now? And she told me, I'm running my master's and this happening. I said, what of this lady? Where yeah, is she now? She said, the boy has gone to <laughs> one child. I don't want to call the name of the child. It was coming out of my mouth. One. The boy has gone. I think he borrowed loan with the guest name self to do the wedding. He was jobless. He never had a job. Pushed wedding. That's why I see some churches now. We go and check the house. The things he has to be sure it's not his friend's house he borrowed to use. Check the work he's doing because people are dubious. Kind humans are dubious. Humans, huh? Are we together? People are. All right? And if you are in my category that trusts people too easily, you are finished. You are finished. I was listening to Dr. Mike Murdoch yesterday and he said, you know why you trust people too easily? Because you know yourself. So you feel somebody else will not do something like this. That's it. That's why it affects me. I trust people too easily. 
Are we together? So you can't buy that. No. Is that okay? Number eight. What about cases whereby it is probably only one aspect? Now, okay, let me say something on that. Please get the message on singles and relationship. You make me repeat so many things. The best way to begin to find out about your partner is by your little conversations. At best, the little can reveal to you. All right? And sometimes you can do certain things naturally. I do it a lot. Like when I first met my fancy, oh, she will call me. Tell me, score. I will not pick. Doesn't mean it was a constant, but I do it at intervals. I wanted to see a reaction. One time she came to Mina for something. And um, I was, okay, I was the one that came to Mina. When I graduated, she was still here. I spent two days in Mina. I saw her for 15 minutes. Two days. The night I came, she couldn't see me. <laughs> the next morning, by the time she came, there were a queue in the front. See me. She sat down in that house, waited to 3 p.m., right? And left. She still couldn't see me. And I did it intentionally. I wanted to see what a reaction. Okay? I want to see a reaction. So you can buy that. Find out some things for yourself. And even at that, only God can give you a sensible wife. And a sensible man. The Bible says a man in Proverbs can inherit houses from his father. Only God can give him a sensible wife. Are we together? Number eight. What about cases where it is probably only one aspect in which you both are not compatible? Can you go ahead? Or what do you do in such situations? Very simple. As long as you are human, there is no virtues you can adapt. God created humans to be flexible and easily adaptable to what? To change. Are we following? That's how we are. It's not, it, for it is a wrong statement to say someone cannot change. Work on that compact, incompatibility part because it will always be the area of problem. Except you have made up your mind, you can cope with it the rest of what? Your life. So if you have made up your mind and you ever speak against it before God, you commit a sin. I can see a young lady and I like her. There's just one part I don't like. And I just feel, I check, check, check. It's no problem. I can cope with it. I'll give you an example. I love song a lot. Very much well. But my fancy cannot sing. I'm not saying she don't have mouth or voice. We know we say people can sing. You understand now? Uh -huh. A sing, a sing. <laughs> she can't do the other straight one. You see, I can cope with that all my life. I have never shouted at her one day. Can't you even go and be doing voice training? If I do that, it's a cause on me. Because I've made up my mind to what? To cope. But if you can't, begin to see a way to adjust that aspect in that person's life. If the person vow not to change, you know some people are like that. I permit you by the message of God to break it. As long as you are, comfort, you are confident, you cannot what? Cope. Is that okay? Simple. Number nine. Sir, must I follow God's voice concerning relationship? We want to follow the devil's own? Explain better. Okay. Please follow God's voice. And God speaks in many ways. Number one. Thus says the Lord. Number two, through the voice of your conscience. Number three, through inner peace. Number four, through people. Proverbs in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. People can begin to talk about you. In that season, this lady, ha, this lady, you can sit down. Alright? Are we together, please? So, when you talk about God's voice, most of the time, so people, what they are wanting to hear is, hello, hello. 
my son. What's your name again? Obey me. Now that this time, I want to give you a name. Including a middle name. Because I don't want you to miss it. It's not so. God will speak to you the easiest way you can what? Understand him. That's why I tell people when you come to my office, don't lie. Tell me, sir, I don't just know, but I just wish he's the one. Then leave the work to me. Stop lying. I had a vision. I had a dream. I woke up. I slept back. We are trying to even join all your vision. They are not correlating. That's it. Must you lie? Have you not read in scripture where the Bible says, and Jesus perceived in his heart. He just perceived. Some other places the Bible says, he just knew their thought. How he knew, he can't explain it, but he knew it. Sometimes I can't just know she, why she's the one, but I just know she is the one. No, nothing to tell you why. It's scripture. Even Jesus was speaking prophetic words like that. Are we following? So all this one you go and pray and fast. Some of you have killed yourself. God did not speak. <laughs> I've had people come to my office and I've been praying. I even went on a seven days retreat, a ten days retreat. If you, I said, you still kill yourself. For whom are you? are going on a retreat like this. <laughs> you have not even started seeing the issues at hand. <laughs> you still kill yourself. Better divert it to hunger for more of God. Are we together? He will speak to you the best way you can understand. As simple, the true test and the most best test for judgment and the most simplest way God speaks to us is throughout the peace of our mind. Are we together? Do you know if, for instance, right now, I want to travel, let me explain something to you. One time, my friend was supposed to come and come to Mina for something. And she had made all her arrangements, everything. And suddenly she just called me the money. And said, that she don't know. Somebody said this. She saw this. That she went to repair. She was just going. Suddenly her phone stopped working. It's unfortunate. The next day again, she wanted to go in the night because she was traveling the money. She went in the night with her ATM to the bank. Money was not dispensing. No, we will not interpret witchcraft very easily. So for that reason, ah, the old man that she see now, she can't come. I say, madam, enter car and start coming. I've trained my mind. Why? Even when I begin to see your positions here and there, as long as my peace is intact, then it's the other interpretation that is the devil trying to stop me. Not God. No when is God speaking and the devil. Because sometimes they can use similar tools. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you following please? No matter the opposition. Are we following? As long as your peace of mind is intact. Go ahead. Are we together? Are we following, please? And there's a level of faith you can get to. If you see a vision, even if it was God that showed to you that you're about to have accident coming from maybe Cardena to Mina, and I'm a spiritual covering over you, and I say, start coming, vision cancelled. No matter how the car choose to somersault, keep shouting, he said I should come. I didn't tell you to stop on the road. The church has not been configured to know how to walk with God. God will of necessity before permitting anything over your life or taking a full blown conclusion upon your life speak to the direct authority over you. That's why he couldn't touch Aaron. Because he had already made what? Moses, Aaron's God. Are we following? God. I had one of my mentors said something. He said one time he went to a place and um, a man of God, he's a very great prophet of God. And a man of God said to him, um, his wife was pregnant. Gave him prophetic word. I see your wife, she's pregnant. And name is this perfectly. 
the child is breached. Pray. If you don't pray, I see her losing the child. He said he went to the secret place to go and pray. Funny enough, he met that, um, that um, prophet in, when he went to see his spiritual father. The prophet is a friend to his spiritual father, so he came. So as he came to see his spiritual father, then he met the prophet in the waiting room before he had access to go. And the prophet gave him that word. He said when he went back, he was disturbed and he knelt down to pray. And suddenly God said to him, you are stupid. If you even pray now, make it happen. Because you have disobeyed an authority. If my spiritual father cannot sit and tell me, it won't happen. It depends on your faith level, okay? Is that okay? And then you must be sure you are under proper what? Covering. Because some of you have carried your head on the outside of the umbrella. Don't follow what I just said. <laughs> you kill yourself. Are we together? That's it. I've had people, I've seen some, of, some people like that, children of mine, at that point, and I told them I didn't permit you to go. I, have you read the story of Sukhugo Swat? That came back from a journey and saw his wife dead? And he said, impossible, she didn't take permission. A man is the head of his home. She, she's not permitted to go like that. Even God will not break the structure he sets. It's because you did not know. That's what I'm telling you tonight. Because you came. Are we following? So you don't let the devil play ignorance on you. No. He woke up. Come back to life. Heaven answered. Because a man is speaking from the vantage point of a correct and intact authority. The woman came back to life. And said, oh, no, please, let me just go. He said, now you have taken permission. Bye-bye. Are we together? That's for that. How did I get this? I don't want to do that. So can really make do with time. Um, so follow God's voice, okay? But he can speak what? In many ways. Now hear me. Let me help young people. The easiest way, most of the times, you just feel drawn to that person. Simple. Start from there to begin to now find out whether your drawnness was there new. Don't wait. You've not even seen anybody you like. See, Sally, I can't accept your vision. Imagine now the devil taking an advantage of that. You know, you don't like anyone. You don't say you just went to the place of prayer when it was time for marriage and say, Show me her. Show me her. Then they brought something you don't look like. What do you want? Then you start rejecting it. It's not her. It's not her. Alright? Let's stop making these things so complex. Are we following? Are we together, please? Please get that message. I don't want to repeat um, relationship. I, I, get the message, please. It will help you. Is that okay? Singles and relationship part one and two. Somebody listening to it, I think last two weeks, and she sent me a message. Say, sir, can you please preach this message again? So I'll come and attend. Because she really wanted it in the service. <laughs> please get the message. How many of you are in that meeting? Singles and relationship. That's serious. No wonder you ask me these kind of questions. Number 10, if you are to be in a relationship and your partner cheats on you with your friend, and he comes back asking forgiveness. Is it right to go back to the relationship? Very simple. Forgive him for what he has done. So you can also obtain what? Forgiveness. On this matter, follow your peace, hear God's voice. I can't tell you to go now. Then I would like to tell you not to go. Hear God's word. Yes. If God tells you to go, fine. If you don't have peace about it, don't kiss it. One thing you must secure as a young man or a young woman is your peace of mind. Nothing starts the direction of a man like an unsettled mind. You won't plan your life. Well. Are we together? Fight to maintain stability of heart. You'll be thinking straight. Nothing. Those around me knows it. I don't like anything to put me under pressure. I don't. You can't think again. Are we following? So maintain your peace of mind. Is that okay? 
Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, so, let God speak to you. Follow your speech. Alright? Number 11. Is there anything wrong with intertribal marriage? Absolutely not. Is that okay? Are we together? We are all God's children. It's interreligious marriage that I have issues with. Not inter what? Tribal. If you marry the daughter of the devil, the devil will be your father-in-law and visit you at will. I said it in that message. Is that not so? That's why I say don't marry a non-believer or don't marry a pagan priest daughter. Is that okay? Else the devil will be your what? Father-in-law. And he has rights to visit you. And as usual, when a father-in-law visits his son, in law, he gives him gifts. Is that not so? So he drops gifts anytime he comes around. So try as much as you can not to have inter-religious marriage. Even Abraham told his servant, make sure you pick a wife from my own people, from my son. Is that okay? But for tribal issues, there's nothing with that. Are we together? However, make sure you do background check. Are we following? Make sure you do background check to know certain what customs accrued to certain religion or and to certain tribes. That's what affects people most of the time in marriage. There are tribes I know of. Is it Benue? Once the lady is late. Why are you smiling? They are all from Benue. That's their problem. Once the lady is late, she has to be taken back to her house. Right? That they don't, they only gave you the head. No, they gave you the body. They didn't give you the plus the head. So you see, know the culture of different what? Religion. Are we following? And then the, the other thing you also need to know about a tribe is that there are certain attitudes accrued to certain tribes. Know it. There's a tribal bloodline. Are we together? Are we following? Know it. And then begin to find out to be sure that person is not so having that similar thing working on his or her life. Are we following? I know of a tribe, the men could be very stingy. It's a tribal challenge. There are certain tribes, the men beat their wife naturally. It's an anointing upon that tribe. What's the name? How many of you know that tribe, please? The men beat their wife. I've forgotten. Are we together? That's it. There are certain tribes. How many of you are from Cardinal State here? Cardinal State, let me see your hand. Even if you, are, you deny in inside church. Are you from? Okay, good. Now, one time I was doing a research. I stayed in Cardinal for 20 something years. That's where I've been all my life. The second place I've been to is Mina. And inside Mina, Gidankwano. Home of plates. Are we following? Don't worry, we'll soon bring us a rock here. Is that okay? We'll bring it here. Now, if you study the, the cardinal states very well, especially the southern cardinal, I observe something. Most of them lose their husbands. How many of you know that? Trace it. Easy. I'm not saying you have lost your husband or something like that. I said most, not all, right? Most of them I know are widows. Trace it. I don't know why. So, so I've been trying to. Is it that somebody is not thinking this thing in this tribe line? Are we following? So these are some little, little things you find out, okay? When it has to do with inter tribe. Same in Cardinal State. The average Cardinal man. Is very related to what do they call this thing? Two things. Uh, what is this thing I used to make their head on? Burukutu and kain kain. They spend all their income. Is a is a is a tribal thing, right? Right? Are you understand? So these are little things you study. Is that okay? And be sure the gene will not rise up. Are we following? For instance, you see people from Castina. Castinas are chain smokers. In Castina, the women compete with the men. Yes. How many of you know that? 
That's not fit. The women compete with the men to smoke. She got two pockets. They will be doing competition. Who will smoke highest? As I see, most of them are very. If you say anything other than what I said, I will deny you. <laughs> All right. Okay. I say, Yoruba girl, my mom warned me sternly not to marry a man outside Yoruba. What happens if I obey or disobey my mom? Now, most of the time, parents speak this way because of what? Experience. Are we following? I had one of my daughters. She was stopped from marrying Yoruba. She's Ibira by tribe. And the reason being that, not that Yoruba people are bad, but all the Yoruba in-laws they've ever had gave them issues. Oh, sorry. When I pick a tribe, they just face me as if I did something. It's not personal, okay? Are we together? All the Yoruba in-laws they've had, they had issues. So they vowed that it's like in their own bloodline, Yoruba doesn't favor them. <laughs> so it's better you don't marry Yoruba. Are we together? So some of them speak from what? Experience. But if everything being equal and everything being intact, pray about it. Seek the counsel of a spiritual father or a pastor. Let them pray for you. The Bible says the heart of the king is in God's hand. Don't enter into any home without your parents' consent. There is no wrong, right, wrong way of doing the right thing. If you find yourself in a hole, don't keep digging. When things go wrong, don't go with them. Pray fast till God is able to convince them and get you get their word consent. I've seen how many of these ends don't. Is that okay? Pray and fast. Convince them. Keep talking to them the little you can. Are we together, please? It will help. The situation. You see that I said something on this in that message. When you change a man from his ways, being the Holy Spirit, right? From his bad ways before marriage, is there any probability he will return to his old ways after marriage 200%? What did I say again? 200%. Simple. Because in the first place, what you are changing is the it's only the, a child that the Bible says when you train, when he gets old, you will not <laughs> when you train adults. They are already old. So when they get older, they can tend to depart. It's okay? That's why you must not neglect your spiritual world foundation. The summary of everything is that it must sit upon the foundation of God. That's it. The best of a man is still a man. We've seen people good, but the way they became what? Bad. That's it. Are we to, so there's no one validation. 100% he will never change. But certain criteria will guide you to keep you. Please go back and get that message. One of them is that he must have a spiritual covering over his life. Somebody that can tell him, sit down. If he doesn't have, you are finished. Are we following? So go back to that message. Is that okay? Once those criteria are in place, then you can relax over the future. Are we together? We can relax. Because those things will naturally what? Checkmate him. He must have the fear of God. A great lover of God. Naturally, it keeps you not to do certain things. Naturally. For instance, God forbid that I lift up my hands and put on a lady. I say, why? So you see, it cops me naturally. Are we following? It cops you. So there are some things once they are in place, you should unless and have some ten percent guarantee that the young man is going to be the way you you have changed him, like you said. Are we together? Number two, F sir, as a sister. Who is in a relationship with a brother from another Bible believing church? Okay? That means your own too is a believing one. 
Is it wrong to visit the brother in church even when the church is not having or holding a special program? No, we church you go. Please, if you ask this question and you feel I'm not getting it, you can just lift up your hands and clarify me. Hmm? There's nothing wrong with that, okay? You said visit now. You just visit the... Okay, wait. It's not as if you tried to go and attend his church service. It was him you went to visit. It's not that the church was the venue. It's now I was understand. It's, it's not true. It's, is it wrong to visit the brother in church? Even when the church is not having or holding a special... Okay. That's a serious matter. Why? Church is not a meeting place for that function. Is that not so? Please. Because that means if you come to the church with this mindset, you know what I'm saying. Even when you are seeing me, you'll be seeing the brother. Is that not so? So please, it's not permitted. But saying you are in a relationship with someone, they have something doing in their church, or you just feel led to go and attend their service and enjoy God. There's nothing wrong. Alright? But not the brother you are visiting. You are visiting his church, not him. Is that okay? So you go there and get blessed. Finally for today, is it biblical for women to be inferior to men and don't have rights over anything in a marital relationship? Submission is a seed. Submission is end. Submission is in the place of leadership. Not in the place of superiority. Are we together? That's why. The Bible says. When you truly submit. What should be the man's own response? Love. What scatters relationship. Is that everybody is neglecting their own responsibility. And looking for that of another. Such as it is for young ladies. You have lists on letter paper of the criteria of the young man, how he should look like. And you don't know that that young man too has the kind of person he's also looking for. So you live your own life and you are moving around with lists. As if God is wicked to give his son to a foolish lady. Or his daughter to a foolish man. Are we together please? Are we following? If I submit... I should naturally get what? Love. If I genuinely love, I should naturally get what? Submission. It's not something when I say, sit down. Let's eye on it now. You hear what the Bible just said? You must submit. (laughs) If you naturally play your role, that one will come back to you naturally. If she naturally plays her role, it will come back to her naturally. All right? Please. Are we together, please? Is that clear enough? Is that clear enough? Okay. So, please, the woman has right. Is that okay? And I told you, even a woman, I'm not even, we are, I mean, single summit. When I thought about ladies, okay, so that's, that's a problem. Please get the message, okay? A woman is an improved version of a man. That's why the devil never made a mistake of deceiving the man. Because if he didn't get the woman first, he's finished. But getting the improved version, you have taken care of the other one. If you claim, like many people will say, that the Bible says a woman is a weaker vessel, then the man is more weaker. Why? She was taken out of him. So it is not in weakness as in whatever the way you are seeing it. But it's just in chain of authority in the home. Simple. Are we following? So it's not like making it look like the lady don't have brain again. She can't say anything. No. Since you are the head, you are the most intelligent. It's not true. Alright? Are we following? So let's know the area of what? Submission. 
Submission comes into play in the sense that one person gives the final conclusion. That's why we can all come to church. Even me come to church, but there must be a set man. Are we together? One person might not say, okay, fine. This is it. Is that okay? Is that okay, please? So please, a lady has a right. If you want to reap the dividend of a relationship, put it in the hands of the lady. And play your role as a man and just be praying. Why? The Bible is speaking in Proverbs. A wide, wise woman builds her home. The building ability of any home, God has embedded in a lady. If a lady says a home will stand, it will stand. If she says it will scatter, it will scatter. Are we together? Put it in the hands of a lady. Why? Three very qualities ladies have. Commitment. Once their heart is into something, they give it their life. That's why you rarely see a man saying they break his heart. Only ladies' hearts are broken. <laughs> is that not so? They put their life into it. Even when you are seeing them as mumu, they have gone. A lady has full blown commitment. You are doing anything. Have ladies more than men. Then go to another one. Put more men than ladies. At the end of the day, evaluate which one prospered more. You'll be shocked. Ladies are very committed. Men are more project oriented. They are always looking for the next project to do. They are most of the time never succeed. Are we together? So I've seen homes where yeah, most of the times the man will not listen to the lady because he is the head. And the home scatters. And then he comes back. I was dealing with an issue some months back. And he says the wife is a witch. And suffered the young woman. Thank God I, I heard very quick that she should go and do this seven days drive fast. Mount of fire. I said, we should go and find food and give that old oh, oh, woman. She go and eat and rest. I have peace of mind. That's the same woman that was, was telling you, do this, do this. You never listened. Now it has backfired. She's now become what? A witch. And you know, it, 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 it pains me when I see ministers that are not smart enough to know. When such kind of situation begin to come into a home, maybe some of you are experiencing that in your home. Alright? When such kind of situation begin to come into the home, naturally, the devil will begin to take an advantage of it. He will start by giving different people stupid kind of dreams. That's when you see a black um, snake, later you now see the woman's face. She's just humbly going to the kitchen with the tumblers. Naturally, a tumbler will break. You say, honey, ah, let me help you. Now you say, ah, ah, this is witchcraft. Wastage. Wastage. Everything she will begin to do will look like witchcraft to you. What I'm saying right now, many home, especially in this setup of Africa, have dealt with families like that. Are we together? The Bible says, it is not good for the man to be alone. He needs what? A help fit for him. You should be a crazy person. Not to always be drawing from your help. Because the one sent to help one should be helper than the one is going to help. That means you should have more of the ideas than even me. The one going to render help should be stronger than the one what? To be helped. So if she's a helper, then you better exploit that help well. And stop for me, man, that you are not. Are we together? Stop it. Exploit. Go and check most homes that are scattered. The woman is not giving her place. Some of you come from that kind of tribe. That's why I say check tribe too. There are tribes like that. Women don't talk. You don't. Why? They also feel they don't have brain. There's nothing to say. Are we together? So please let's correct that. Is that okay? I'll just give room for two questions and I'll round up this meeting. I didn't know we've had this long time. 
Two questions. Let me see your hand very quickly. Okay, one, stand up. Who is the second person? Okay, stand up. It must not be a relationship. Is that okay? You're holding a book. That's serious. Do you want us to close today? Okay. Very quickly, go ahead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, according to John 13, chapter 1 to 17, talking about Jesus washing his disciples' feet. Yes. There he mentioned saying, Give us some he washed speech. their feet to be part of him. Then secondly, because he want them to be a servant in the body of Christ. Put the scripture very fast. And due John to what? John 13. Okay. 1 to 17. 1 to 17. Okay. And due to my own research, I discovered two other things. Though I'm still asking a question though. The first, they said, um, it's to forgive your sin after you've been baptized. And the second is to be um, a worker in the body of Christ. So my question is... That's why I washed their feet? Yeah. That's the research I did. That was what I discovered. Okay, your research. Yes. I'm happy. When you are saying something else, than saying my research. As they will think it's the Bible. No, it's no, the no, no. So my question is, can you please explain better? Because I'm confused. Okay. The feet washing is one of the custom or the scriptural doctrine that is not really practiced or understood by the church. Are we following? Are we together, please? He got one part of it, which the Bible says Jesus wanted to show them what humility and servanthood. He said, as you see me do, go do what? Likewise. All right? Now, secondly, Jesus wanted to make them part of him. Hear the response of Peter when Jesus said he wants to wash his feet. He said, fight be from me. Any man whose words you don't listen to, you are not part of. The Bible says, he who you yield yourself servant to obey of slaves, slaves of him, you have what? Become. And when he made that statement, what was Jesus' response? Then you are not going to be part of me. Are we together, please? Do you get it now? Good. Ask your question. The book you are holding is scary. Okay. Baby. You said, um, what you speak against can never come. What you honor will co come to you. Yes. Yeah, you said that. So now, um, I speak against money, against friendship. Like, from my experiences, from what I've seen in life, people value, like, material things more than human beings. People, like, because of, like, what is not making sense, like, 20 naira or 15 naira, you see two good friends fighting. And then, because of that, I speak against money very well, like, money is evil. Money is not good. That's what I say. Now, uh, are you the one saying it? Allow him now. He's the one that said it. He didn't say you said it. Some of you are making it look like he's lying against you. Go ahead, my dear. Okay. I, then, I keep on saying that money is just paper. That people should stop valuing money over love. People should stop valuing money over things that matters. People should stop valuing money over the kingdom. So, if you now say that what you speak against, Abby, can never come, and then what you honor will come to you, I will not honor money. Okay, you, you got everything wrong. Alright? Are we together? And then it depends from what point you are looking at it. If you say money is evil, young man, you will never be rich. The Bible says money answers it what? All things. Then when he tried to put the balance, he said, love not money. It is the root. So his quest, God's um, point was what? Not to what? Love it. He also corrected us like you are doing. He didn't say money is evil. Though. He said it's what? The root of it. 
when it is when you when you place what love on it. But yeah, the Bible says, give me that scripture. Is it Ecclesiastes 10 19? Try. Uh, 10, 10 19. Oh, good. A feast is made for laughter, and wine maketh merry, but money answer it. Oh, thanks. Give me Zechariah 117. You know, you talk about money, you steer me up easily. You make me preach well now. I just told you that to sponsor phonography is $16 million yearly. The people of the other world have sufficient finance to sponsor any kind of wickedness. Now, let's read Zechariah 1.17. Cry, yes, saying. We don't even say it to laughing. We say crying, shouting. Through prosperity shall my city spread abroad. That same kingdom we talk about that you say we are trying to say don't exalt it over money. True. But we spling or we go far on the wings of what? Money. The Bible says we should disciple nations. Discipling nations require serious, serious money. Serious one. Are we together? So know the place. Where we have is two things. Balance and priority. Give me um. Holy Spirit. Give me Matthew 6. Give me give me 30. Next verse. Therefore, take no thought saying, what shall we eat? It talks about what? Food. What shall we drink? Talks about pleasure. What shall we what? Be clothed with. Talks about what? Faith. Fame, beauty, ecstatic. Where with us shall you be clothed? Next verse. For after these things do the Gentiles what? After these things do the Gentiles what? Your father knoweth that you need them. Hold your Bible, check the front cover. Be sure that's what you came to the service with. Because this chance maybe they slipped and changed Bible. Are you seeing it now? Your father knows that what? You need these things. Do you see how even now God preaches? Did you see it? He didn't despise it. You need them. Next verse. See the priority now. But seek first. That's just it. He said your father, those clothes, house, every, he said your father knows you need them. But seek what? First. Now, the problem, one problem we have in the body of Christ is in a bid to explain a truth, you don't throw away another one. It's just the word. It's just the word. Then I make prayer look useless. Then he did, they gave me um, the topic of prayer. If only a man can pray, there is a God that can answer. Prayer shakes and moves the heavens. <laughs> I forgot last week I told you that it was the word. You see the problem in the word of Christ? So that you are trying to correct a revelation, don't downplay that one. You went into error. Did you? Are you comfortable with this scripture? Is it clear enough for you? That's money for you. You need serious money. I told them last week, well, last week was well summit, right? Jesus had a personal bag where he put money inside. And he had so much of it. That Judas Iscariot, the Bible says, was taken out of it. He, it was not showing. He said he knew he was a thief taken out of it. He didn't give it down because it was too much. Are we together? Is it clear? If it's not clear, just tell me. That's why you came. Okay. This, this, the, like, scenario I gave, like, two good friends fighting mostly it's within Christians. That's what we are still saying. That our seeking, our attention should not be what? On the money. Even the Bible has told you itself. Do not love what? Money. Together. Are we following? 
Yet he's still the same God in Deuteronomy 18 verse 8 or 8, 18. That giveth you the power to make what? Wealth. So understand from the, you understand right? The Bible says he giveth you the power to make wealth. Understand from the vantage point the scripture is coming. Is that okay? So that's it. I don't have extra time for that. Actually, okay, okay, that's all. Um, our time is fast spent. That's the true problem. Okay, ask your question. This is the last question, please. You can submit your questions again. In the next one month interval, we have a session. Is that okay? Praise the Lord. Um, in Genesis chapter 24, verse 52, and it says, it came to pass that... Give me the scripture. Taking me to Genesis, Genesis chapter something I don't like to go to. Verse 52. Genesis 24, what? 52. Huh? Genesis chapter 24, verse 52. 53? 52, too. 52, okay. And it came to pass that Abraham's servant heard their words. He worshipped the Lord, bowing himself to the earth. I don't understand. Is it in relation with Muslim way of praying or what? <sighs> bowing himself to the earth. So when you worship, this is just simply English construction. Alright? When you worship, you bow down. It's just that in this place we used to lie. That's the problem in, in Nigeria. That's why you're not used to it. The culture of the Jews. I'm, I, how many of you are here when I taught on the rise of saviors from Zion? I tried to show us the trend of the Islamic world. How the prophet went to the Jews, to Medina, and tried to copy the culture. As I see, they have similarities of the Old Testament to their Quran. He tried to copy the Jewish culture and embed it into the Quran to make them buy his new religion, which still they refused. Are we following? Please, are we together? So the Jewish worship God and one way they show God's great honor is by bowing down to their knees. That's why I say we lie in Nigeria. Just look at this song now. Play the keyboard for me. Strike. So we bow down. And this is standing. And worship. So that you are lying, God. Rise up to your feet. Is it not true? <laughs> we used to lie, right? So we bow down. Oh yeah, let's sing a song. Now hear me. Wait, wait, wait. If this was a Jewish temple and a song like this is being lifted up, the next thing you see, everybody is on the ground bowing to him. The Bible says even the angels, when they shout, holy, holy, revelation for the 24 elders bow down flat before God. Together. It's just that in this setting, I said what most of us still do in the setting of Nigeria is church. We de- truly don't really know this God. We truly don't really understand his ways. I beg you, don't do church. Make up your mind. I want to have a genuine walk with God. I don't want to assume. Are we together? I don't want to assume things. That's the normal Jewish culture. Be on the ground. Bowing down to him. Sing Yahweh. Yahweh. How many of you give me Psalm 141 verse um, Holy Spirit verse 2. If you are very conversant with Christian ministries and you are very used to me. You see I like telling everybody lift up your hands. The Jewish culture can keep their hands on the air. Three hours. Singing God. God. Just chanting the name of God. God. He said, Let my prayer be said before thee as incense and the lifting up of my hand as the evening sacrifice. It is called a wave offering. When Nigeria lift up your hands and celebrate it, just we do things we don't even have a knowledge about. That's why it's yielding no result. 
And if you must grow in your work with God, that's why when I worship, it's different. You know why? The understanding there. Have you read all through scripture? I'm bringing my, my book out on worship very soon. Have you read all through scripture? The only thing that the Bible always tells you to hallow is his name. What is special about him? He said, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Why? Embedded in his name are his personalities and realities. You are Yahweh, Alpha, and Omega. What I'm saying is I am invoking the Yahweh, the Alpha, and the Omega dimension of God to the atmosphere. When Abraham encountered him in Genesis, and he saw divine provision, he called him what Jehovah Jireh. He embedded that reality in the name. So that any time a man comes and shouts Jehovah Jireh, he comes in that reality upon that atmosphere. What is Yahweh? God beyond description. Is you that think I am singing like you? No, I know what I'm saying. From the pages of my heart, let, let my, my worship begin but never, never end. end. I know what I'm saying. You are the one just getting emotional. Yahweh, Yahweh. God beyond description. That's Yahweh. So you must have an understanding. That's why I say worship God with what? Understanding. If you do like this, oh God of heaven, your worship changes. Oh Jesus, it changes. What song did you guys sing? You are the balm. You are the balm of Gilead. Jeremiah. You are the balm of Gilead. Do you know what it means? You are sick. You are singing such kind of song. You are invoking the healing anointing to that presence. There is something called the law of seed and harvest in kingdom. Are we following? It means what you sow into an atmosphere, you reap out of the atmosphere. If I want people to be hungry for God in this service, I should sing more of consecration songs. What I sow, I reap. If I want people to get healed, I should sing more of healing song and song that heal him. The law of what? Seed and harvest. Just wave your hands to him. Worship him. Worship him. Time will fail me to teach you on that, but don't worry, the book will be out soon. The worship will change. From the pages of my heart, let my worship begin but never end. From the pages of my heart, yeah. let my worship begin but never end. To the God of all men, oh, He's my God, He's my God, and His name is Yahweh. His name is Yahweh. Yahweh, oh, He's my God. Prophesy this month as the team God has given to us miracles, goodness, miracles, goodness, the new record of miracles in the name of Jesus. May God do in your life, with your life, through your life, where you draw the attention of the world to Him in the name of Jesus. I prophesy. May God do with your life, in your life, through your life. Let me put the attention of the words to him. In the name of Jesus. People will look at your life and see a reason to want to serve God. 
People will look at your life and see the reasons you want to love God now. You will not end in shame. You will not end in obscurity. You will never become an object of sympathy. You will never become an object of pity. Go and exile. Go and prosper. Go and seek nations for God's kingdom. Everywhere you go, please God's government there. Bring God's kingdom there. In the name of Jesus, let the atmosphere of God's presence go with you. In the name of Jesus, whatever is a reproach in your fa- family, I invoke the hand of God to move right now. Right now, whatever is a reproach, whatever is a pain, whatever is a concern to you, I invoke the right hand of God to move right now. I decree within 72 hours, let there be a visible change. In the name of Jesus. Paul said, I know whom I believed. I'm fully persuaded. I decree for you supernatural immunity against the recession of these times, against the wickedness and the evils of these times, against the hardship and difficulty of these times. In the name of Jesus. Because you came tonight, I pray for you and I connect you to your family. Sickness is rebooked. Accident is cancelled. Death is rebooked. I decree and declare, there shall be no loss. There shall be no loss. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Just worship Him. All the glory belongs to you. Thank you for listening. We trust that you have been blessed. Come and worship with us every Friday at Atmosphere for Grace and every last Friday of the month at Night of Miracles and Supernatural Encounters. Opposite FUT Mina, Gideon Kwano Campus, Mina, Niger States. Come and be blessed. we for this satanic blood sugar. Shaya laga yaga ba yaga ba ra da da yaga ba la da da. Very quickly, Philippians 3. Let me teach you something tonight. Don't worry, we'll get into our message very quickly. The Bible says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable to his death. Next verse. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, there's no time I can't break the scriptures for you. Not that as not as though I had already attained. Now listen. Either we are already what perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Next verse. Brethren, I can't not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Next verse. 
I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Next verse. Now listen, this is my emphasis. Let us therefore, as many be perfect, to be thus minded. So what is the proof of perfection in the body of Christ? That you are keep pressing. Did you pick that? The proof of perfection or maturity in the body of Christ is when you see a man still hungry for more. Still pressing. He said, let those that are perfect be what? Those minded. <laughs> are we together? So you must be intentional about every aspect of your life. No aspect should be given less attention. No aspect should be given less attention. There is everything spiritual about relationship and singles. There is everything spiritual about relationship and singles. Just like I said, that the sum total of a man's achievement in life is tied to who he marries. Now, knowing God, discovering our life purposes and fulfilling them should be our utmost pursuit. Knowing God, Discovering our life purpose. I said last week, if you don't know the reason of your existence, you will abuse any relationship you get into. So it first starts with you deciding to discover why am I here? Why am I existing? What is my calling? What is my likes and dislikes? What are the things that gets me angry? What is God's word for my life? Where do I want to be to be in life? I said, naturally, it will filter the kind of people that comes around you. It starts from there. It starts from there. It starts from there. Sometimes I tell my friends, come. If you, there are some of it, I'll say, you know people like this can't survive around me. <laughs> you have to be extra excellent. You can't survive around me. It will irritate me with as much as you can. So there, it will filter the kind of people that comes around your life. Why? You know where you are going to. Because a man that doesn't know where he's going to, everywhere is a road. Everywhere becomes a, a road. So he feels once he needs for a lady, once he can see a man, our destiny is fulfilled. <laughs> so that's the fulfillment of our destiny. If at 90% of Nigerian ladies, the fulfillment of their destiny is when they see a man to marry. And so if you ask them their prayer points right now, none of them have a personal goal or pursuit in life. It's, oh God, send him. He must have car. He must have money. He must have, car. He must have money. That becomes your personal prayer point. Are we together? So nothing drives you. Nothing makes you serious. You don't even want to make a mark in life. You don't want to achieve anything in life. All your attention, marriage, marriage, marriage. You must understand the reason of your existence. Why did God send me here? For some of you, maybe you just want to be a philanthropist. You want to better the lives of people. Some of you, you want to own industries and be a massive employer of labor. Some of you, you want to come up in the political scene like Great Woman Dora Kuili and the rest of them. You want to change things and change situations. Some of you want to be a great woman of God and lead the women in the front lines of ministry. You must discover that first. That is why when you see a lady that does not know where she is going, when a man gets involved with her, I tell her you will sit down at home and take care of my children. Yet she went to school. So you sit down at home. I say, okay, honey. <laughs> The first thing a man should hear from a lady when he has asked out is these are my dreams in life. These are my pursuits. So if you don't even have it on the paper, don't say yes. Please, are you listening to me? I'm going to be harsh tonight because I am angry with the rubbish I'm seeing around. If you don't have your dreams, your pursuit, your passions in life, don't say yes to anybody. Go and sleep like Adam did of my son came to my office he said last week we should sleep I've still been sleeping <laughs> same also as a man he 
if you don't have your dream, your passion, you don't have what you want to be in life, how you want your life to look like, don't start thinking of anything relationship yet. You must know your dream. Know the kind of family you want to have first. Know who you want to be in life. Know the kind of life you want to live and lead. Because that is what we call personal leadership. If you can't lead yourself first, you can't lead another. Personal leadership is the ability to tell yourself, I wake up by 10, I wake up. Oh, tonight's meeting is a, is a church setting, so it won't permit me to expose some people here. Personal leadership is the ability to wake up and take your bath daily. daily. <laughs> I've seen we are a good young man. They won't beat. I'm saying people I know, I won't call their name. They will not spray perfume. And you see them pushing ladies. You ladies too have discernment of spirit. <laughs> so you can discern that this is what I say, brother, you have not beat today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, knowing God, discovering and fulfilling our life's purposes should be our utmost pursuit in life. However, it is almost certain that if one fails or gets it wrong in this aspect of relationship, he or she will fail or get it wrong in every aspect of life. For instance, give me First Peter 3, 7. Let me show you how what we are discussing. Some of you can say, Sai souls is so souls, souls. There's no problem. We'll relate it to souls very soon. Is that okay? Relax. Alright, just keep your doctrine first and your concepts. Now listen, let's look at these scriptures together. I want to show you how important the topic we are discussing is. That if a young man or a young woman messes up in this aspect of life, it is invariably possible that you mess up in every aspect of your life. Today we'll do scriptures. You know, last we didn't do much. I talked. Today we'll do scriptures. The Bible says, Likewise, you husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers not be hindered. Did you see that? That means your spirituality can be frustrated when your marriage aspect is frustrated. Your work with God at that hunger, you have hunger. I want to know you. I want to see your face. You will see together. <laughs> Once this aspect of your life is tampered with, he said your prayers can be hindered. Worst of it, be a man of God or a minister of the gospel and have that kind of dirty relationship. You are finished. You are finished. Are we seeing how paramount it is? Yet many of us don't pay attention to it. Say, no, 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 no. Let's just be going around life. The sum total of your achievement is tied to your marital life. That's where it ends. Hallelujah. Are we getting blessed? Are we getting blessed? So very quickly, issues of late marriage. What are the causes of late marriage? I will start with the main. As usual, I don't try to mix them. So we can get everything correctly. Is that okay? Please get the part one for those that were not here last week. Get the part one of this series. And if you want anointing messages, get the messages. <laughs> Is that okay? When you teach something, you say, no, 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 no. You now finish and be beating your wife. Have we not seen pastors beating their wives? Yes. Have we not seen wonderful homes? They started with honey, swina, no. and they were beating each other, BP blues, after honey. Hallelujah. So what I'm saying to you tonight is as important as anything. I trust God that He by Himself will bless you tonight. You'll be happy you came. Causes of late marriage for the male. For the male causes of late marriage. See, I beg you, whether you are a male or female, whatever aspect I call, write down. So if you are a male, you can show the girl. I went for one meeting. They say, <laughs> if you are a female, you can show him too. 
Is that okay? Please. And I think we are changing. Nobody comes to Grace Realm without a book and Bible. Hallelujah. Number one, the reason why men experience late marriage. Number one, demonic issues. Demonic issues. <laughs> Check out for patterns in your bloodline. Your elder brother married at 56. The one following him enter 62. You are worst. The earlier you begin to check those things, the better for you. Check patterns in the bloodline. Demons maintains patterns. Demons maintains patterns. So you can play around it and just shy, shy away from it. You'll be shocked. That same reality will fight you. So one of the reasons why men experiences late marriage you see somebody at 72 still paying a secondary school school fees he's bad with white beards he's paying school fees or somebody in secondary school so when the person goes out with his child to drop him in school he says your granddad <laughs> sometimes it's demonic it's not as if that person you are saying go and marry it's not as if he or she don't want to marry it's a demon fighting the bloodline i beg you beyond marital aspect check go and trace patterns in your bloodline some are sicknesses you see this one have diabetes this one diabetes this one diabetes trace patterns in your bloodline demons maintains patterns now whether you are born again or not listen it will still fight you I will explain why. I will explain why. I think this is one of the greatest controversies in the body of Christ. I will explain why. What was saved is your spirit, not your body. That's what we call regeneration or to what it means to be born again. Are we following? Now, God is not an author of what? Confusion. That's why I told my people. The Bible says, Jesus speaking, I came not to abolish the law of the prophet but to fulfill them. He said he didn't come to destroy those laws. He fulfilled them. And what was he trying to say? The law says the soul that sin dies. He said I died. I fulfilled all those laws. I didn't break it. I didn't boycott any process. Are we together? Most of those demonic issues were established by a covenant. God respects covenants. God respects covenants. So the best way to break that is to go back to time and trace that covenant. Are we following? So check for patterns in the bloodline. Begin to trace. The earlier, the better. Deal with these issues now. Now I counsel people a lot. I speak from an experience. I know what I'm talking about. I have seen issues like this over and over again. Don't shy away from it. Don't shy. Is that okay? Seek for help. Hallelujah. Number two. Give me Proverbs 18.21. The words of our mouth. What are the causes of late marriage? Negative words we have spoken into our future. I don't have time for any lady right now. Let me make some money. When I when like 40, 40, I can have time. And you said it like a plea. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes verse 5, chapter 5. It said, do not say to the angel, it was a mistake. And you said it like a plea. Now you're having white beards. All the ladies you talk to, they are rejecting you. You don't know why. Every negative word spoken in the spirit attracts a demon. Same way every positive word spoken in the spirit attracts an angel. Words are not empty. They stay and go into your future. Are we together? So you know, some of us who don't you, you don't have an understanding of all these things. So you say things carelessly. So, I don't have time. Please let me make mo nice money. I'm a financial person. Let me make money. When I get to 45, I can start thinking about marriage. 
and you said it like a joke and it will be fighting you tomorrow please are we following you said it like what a joke so you must be what careful of negative words and sometimes you say some of these things to impress people see nobody is worth that kind of impression no, on your life nobody's worth that kind of impression the truth there is that most of the times they are only impressed for that moment you said it when you leave their present they forgot you said something like that don't waste your time be careful of what you speak what you say be careful of it i won't experience delay in life god will settle me speedily are we together Number three, Holy Ghost. Wrong ideologies about marriage. Causes of late marriages for men. Number three, wrong ideologies about marriage. For some, they want to marry after they have their PhD. Some after making so much money. Some they just be believe marriage is rubbish. It's not something I should give my attention right now. Are we following wrong ideologies about marriage? Wrong ideologies about marriage. Number four. I will try as much as I can to stay well in this number four. Are we getting blessed? Give me first Samuel 16, verse 12. I want to read the scripture of I talk. It's very sweet. The brother shout hallelujah. Sister, shout amen on your behalf. Good. First Samuel 16 12. Please, brothers, just look. Sisters, you can close your hand and be praying the Holy Ghost right now. This scripture is only for brothers. <laughs> and he sent, this is David, and brought him in. Now he was ready. Listen. Listen. How many of us know about the story of the ordination of David by Samuel, Prophet Samuel? Where did they bring him from? Good. Good. I like that. Where did he say they brought him from again? bush i like bush the bush you use <laughs> he had what <laughs> this was somebody coming from the bush now i know mina can look like bush but at least they still call it mina city <laughs> please look nice some brothers you will keep your beard yes like this three weeks one month then you carry it and go ask the lady out she don't want to marry her grandfather you are not fine. Ah, ah. This is somebody coming from the bush. And the Bible says he had a beautiful eyes. And a held and a LD and handsome. See, wow, I like this scripture. That means an appearance can be healthy. <laughs> you can be sick appearance wise. One day a brother passed me. I was entering into the zoo, so I stopped at the gate to take a bike. <laughs> when I saw the color combination, I had to pause and say, ah, Abba. So sometimes your case might not be demonic. It might not be as if you have spoken a negative word. But these sisters don't like you. you there's nothing attractive about you. You are so all your trousers, trouser length, trouser length, trouser length. You are interested. Like one of my daughters said, we must understand that there is a change of dispensation. There was a dispensation where you will have been the star. Not now. <laughs> See, even our fathers of 60, have you seen your suit? Chanted, fitted. You all could. <laughs> Hallelujah. Immediately. See, I want to believe this was one of the reasons. He said, just anoint this guy. Anoint this guy. He's fine alone. He's qualified to carry anointing. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, the way the ladies are responding, they are trying to say that they rejected you is not as if it's personal. <laughs> Please adjust. <laughs> Look nice. Are we together? 
wipe your hair. Make sure your beards are kept properly. Is that okay? Look young. Put powder. Is that okay? Spray perfume. Alright? And then walk well. Walk well. Please, is that okay? Walk well. I told us last week, for those of you that grew from a church, you don't believe in perfume. Jesus sprayed perfume. When they were spraying the perfume, somebody said they should sow the perfume. And let's use it for church. He said, no. This one is for perfume. They, they so spray his clothes that when he died, the towel is not gowns, they towel. You know, towel. That's what they were dragging. They said the people shared it into four. They were casting lots. Who we carry? They had to cut it into pieces. They want to use part of it to sew clothes. That was his towel. Yet you just came to the hostel. Went to the laundry direction where people watched. Immediately you came. Everyone just started carrying their clothes out. As if a rem. You brought your rem with you. <laughs> Please be attractive. Be attractive. Dress well with class. Now sometimes it. See what you wear. God bears me witness. Now some of you might think I dress very well. Am I trying? <laughs> sincerely speaking I don't spend money on what I wear truly some of my shirts are no more than 2000 naira. there was one shirt remember they say it's to, 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 um, Jerwins that shirt was 13,000 naira. any day I wear it I get angry with the person that bought it though I bless the person who this is 10 shirts to buy why it's only me that know that I'm wearing TM Jerry's. Why? I naturally don't like wearing the shirt. <laughs> a man that knows how to dress will wear rags and still look like a king. It's about your packaging because packaging enhances value. Now, if I didn't tell you the cost of what I'm wearing right now, you think I am wearing something of 50,000. Packaging enhances value. You are a young man. You know most of our shirts because we are faster than the Lord doesn't match our size. Go and slim fit it now. Yet you just wake up. You are moving inside. We are seeing only your shirt moving. You, you are inside. <laughs> Arrange it. Nobody forces you that the way you bought it, you must wear it. Look attractive. By the time you pass, let somebody be able to turn and say, Wow. Take your time. Is that okay? Now, this is not just about relationship. It's a spirit of excellence. So many people have chased their destiny past because of this. The person came to help you, but you are smelling. I like the way one of my mentor puts it. He said, you are an electrician. You came to the house. You are repairing. The, for a wealthy man, no? I mean, that's the man God has destined that you will meet. You are an electrician. You just meet the man who will like you. And then maybe open up something big for you. You now came to his house to work as an electrician. He just came up from me. He said, what is smelling all over here? <laughs> and they are looking for it. And it came as a result of your coming. Why? You can chase your destiny helpers by what I'm saying right now. That was why every man God encountered in scriptures. And every man that was ever given the opportunity to appear before the king. The first thing they must do was to change their robe. You must look like where you are going to. So for De for Joseph, before he could appear before the king, the king said, "Let him go and change this robe." See, listen. There is a protocol in heaven. There is a protocol on the earth. That's why I like the messages of Mark Modoc. Understand the protocol of every environment. There is a way you will dress. You can't smell the gate of Hasurok. But there is a way you dress. You know, they know this is the kind of people that can enter here. Please look nice, the brothers. Bait as much as you can. I know brothers have that challenge of baiting. That's the truth, globally. <laughs> Please bait. You know, there's this kind of belief of younger. There's all called rub and shine. Just carry water inside, but just uh, wash your feet. Life goes on, it's all push. Please take your time. 
to take care of your body. I said last week, taking care of, of your body is a sign of responsibility to God. Why? The Bible says your body is this temple, not your spirit. And why does it matter to God? It is your body that carries your spirit. Because this body is the weak. You can't do much for God. I've broken down in health before. I know what it means. Was this body is weak. Your realm dies naturally. Your revelation ceases. Nothing is of interest to you at that point in time than just to get this body back. Don't joke with it. Is that okay? I beg you. The Bible says if everyone must, must uh, everyone runs. Second Timothy, I think three, four. Everyone runs, not yet, not all is crowned, except him that runs what lawfully. There's a protocol. Please, I beg you, look what attractive. Take time to arrange your shoes. I've gone for an interview before. Yeah, the first thing they check was our shoes. Did you polish your shoe? I'm serious. They check our shoes. That's in the bank. Say, stand up, let us let's see your shoe. Why? They feel not everybody can pay attention to that. So the few they can find that will even pay attention. See, let me tell you, it's not easy. My fiancé knows me very well. One challenge I have in this life is to cut my fingers. I'm sure many of us have that similar challenge here. I used to feel people that are lazy. Sometimes I was say, your finger has grown again. I say, leave it now. How will I just sit down and be looking at finger every day? But it matters a lot. Are we together? Please, tell somebody by yourself, look attractive. Dress well. Be loving. Be interesting to be with. We are still on, the, on that point. Be interesting to be with interesting have a sense of humor the bible says he that wants the friend must first show himself what friendly this is scriptures yet people come around you they are not happy they are sad they don't like to stay around you adjust your life i'll teach us when i'm talking about the 30 principles of life that in this life if you make it without a man maybe 0.5 percent i'll show you from scriptures even when God asked the woman or when the prophet asked the woman of Shunammite to bring all she had in the house he asked her to go and borrow a bucket will she go and borrow it if they don't like her she knew them that's why she was borrowing it I will teach you what the great will never tell you I will tell you how Dangote goes to the presidency goes to places to bow before men how big men bows before people give them gifts to get contracts and that's the foolish thing our generation we don't know and Joseph told the butler I am not planning to stay here. Please, when you come out, <laughs> remember somebody's still there. But you don't say, oh, bless you, bless you, bless you. Ah, at last, the Bible says, our gift is to profit with all. Hallelujah. Be interesting to be around. Have a sense of humor. See, that's how why some guys, they know naturally, ladies like to be around them. Those guys have a sense of humor. Sometimes you think it's just, it's not touch and follow. It's natural. Follow come. They are interesting to be around. You, everybody that comes around you. So sister, the Bible says, come on, the supper. Every time. Every time. She just near you. When last did you fast? Everything you say is a threat. It's a threat. It's a threat. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Brother. And the lady right now, she's already slim like my face. She's just imagining <laughs> what will be of her. <laughs> Hallelujah. Number what are we? Please, did you get that right? So from today, every brother in Grace Run, I know your faces. If I see you on the road, you are not dressing well, I will stop you. See, plan it. Is that okay? You can plan it. I'll be barbing my hair every one, one week. Is that okay? Bab your hair. Alright? Please, are we together? Now, for those of you that are gifted with this, 
It didn't grow with me. <laughs> That's one gift I know God never gave me, and I'm happy for it. You can have a clipper, a personal one. Is that okay? So I can so I don't spend much money. I know most of us try to save cost. Hallelujah. <laughs> Please. It's not like they like to keep it to his money. That 150. <laughs> At least can put a plate of food. <laughs> Please, Babit. Is that okay? Now you see for some of us now. <laughs> for some of us, we like to put we like to put um there's this type my friend says she likes good cyborgs, right? Things like but you see the issue there is this. If I need to maintain that, <laughs> I'll be shaving it back every three, three days. I don't have that money for now. So the best is to <laughs> remove it for now, please. Is that okay? But please look nice. What am I saying this? You can lose your life partner in life. Don't say whatever who is meant for me, God will bring the person. Hey. <laughs> Drop down your revelation. And better adjust yourself. <laughs> better adjust yourself because sometimes we deceive ourselves with that once the person is made for me he must agree i won't agree sincerely speaking i won't agree he said he will give me the desires of my heart i won't carry a lady to the house when i'm looking at her i'll be angry is that okay please let's move forward so i'll do all the time number what are we still on the brothers the fifth reason why many young men experience late marriage is the desire to make it in life before settling down the desire to make it in life before settling down now this calls for it is necessary it is necessary that's the truth so nobody's daughter suffers in your hands however this calls for early planning in life that's why you must take your life serious as early as you can. Are we together? Take your life serious as early as you can. Have a vision for your life as a young man. Build yourself mentally. Build yourself spiritually. Build yourself financially. Have something that brings you money. Give me Proverbs 21 verse 5. A great man said, He that wastes a second of his time has not known the value of life. Give me, pro, give me Proverbs 21, verse 5. The thoughts of the diligent only, tend only to, to what? Plenteous. But of everyone that is hasty, only to want. Please be diligent. Work hard. Don't deceive yourself. That's why I don't joke with young men. I don't. I don't joke with young men at all. When I see them, I shout, be serious with your life. Why? You will have a home. And you must live to that title of a man. You are the head. A man. You must be able to man your home. Are we together? So you must learn to work early in life. Plan your life as early as you can. See, listen to me. There is a joy in settling down early. How will you feel at 60 years of age? You are paying your child school fees in secondary school. That's when you should be resting. We have three periods of our life. The first 30 years, the second 30 years, that's 31 to 60, and the last 30 years, that's 30, 61 to 90. From the first 30 years, the, your first year to the 30 is called the planning year or the sowing years. Are we together? It's called what? The sowing years. From 31 to 60 is your reaping years. Are we together? Then from 61 to forever is when you begin to now transfer your experience to your generation. Transfer your knowledge, your life to others. There is a joy. Give me some 90. I love you now. I love you tomorrow. Verse 14. Psalm 1914. I pray I didn't mix it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Good. Oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy 
that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Satisfy us what? Early. 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 There is a benefit of setting down time. So you can take time to plan your life during your energetic years. So be serious with your life right now. That's one reason many young people don't want to settle down. Is that also? Say, this girl, I can't. Let me just make it. I need to make it well. And I beg you, please make it. Don't suffer anybody's daughter. Make it. Hallelujah. Causes of late marriage for females. Brothers, shout hallelujah. Shout it very louder. Same also demonic pattern. Number one for the female demonic patterns. Check for it in your family. All the sisters marry very late. Then that means there's the demonic issue there. Is that okay? You don't take these things trivial and shy away from it. Everybody in your home is having issues with late marriage. Or some of them don't even stay in the husband's house. I know of a family like that. And I counsel people a lot. So I speak from what? An experience. That's why I'm talking from a pain. That you don't repeat that kind of life. These are things people just shy away with and just joke with it. The Lord is in charge. The Lord is in control. Mm -mm. You have to be serious. He has paid the price, but you must enforce it reality. Now, do you know Jesus has died for the whole world? The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he came to die. Yet is the whole world safe. But he, he has died for the whole world. However, not all has what received salvation. That's how it works. So he has it is finished indeed on the cross. Hallelujah. It is finished. Didn't he die for your prosperity? At this level, will you say you are wealthy? You are not. I like the way God's servant, Matthew Hashimolo, puts it. He says, if you are not capable enough to survive three months without anything coming into your life, you are not worthy. That's for three months. You can survive without any inflow. You are not a wealthy man. Hallelujah. And God said he is making us a... He's going to bless us to make us a blessing. So wealth is beyond you. Is to impact what? Your generation. Are we together? So check out for demonic patterns for the ladies. Number two, also check the words of your mouth. Proverbs 18, 21. Check what you say carelessly. Now a lady made something, a statement one time in my presence. I had to shout at her. He said, wherever the guy is, God should just keep him there. I don't have his time now. As simple as now, those are the kind of people that comes to us later. Says, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. They come back. What you play to today, play with today, you might cry tomorrow to have it. What you play with today, you might cry tomorrow to have it. Please be careful the way you speak. The place we read in Proverbs 18, verse 1 says, By our words, we shall be justified, and by the same word. We shall be condemned. We shall eat the fruits of our lips. Also wrong ideologies about marriage. Just like we said for the brothers. Some ladies want to marry after they get their PhD. <laughs> I keep telling my, my parents every time your certificate. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some say I want to get my PhD. My PhD. Get it. It's okay. I wish you the very best of luck. Hallelujah. And someone wants to make so much money too before they settle down. Please, when the season come on, comes upon you, please settle down. Is that okay? Please say, you can get PhD. What's PhD? Picking husband degree. So, what is it? <laughs> Once you are married, you are in a family. It's PhD. Is that okay? But don't pursue career so much that you'll give little attention to other issues of your life now what i'm saying we know is common nowadays so many are paying the price right now right now i had a lady that called me sir please play i need to marry anything i should do <laughs> i said i'm an why will you be asking me anything you should do <laughs> you say, i should pray leave me now say sir please if there's anything i need to do tell me I wish I was seeing the person physically. I'll have done something my my grandpa in the faith did one time. A wedding man came to his church, that's Omega Fire Ministries, and said, 
Okay, he had some issue, explained it to him. I know he's a very funny person. He now said, there's no problem. I'll pray about it. My heart bless you. <laughs> the man now said, is that all? Ha. He said, no. Be rounding this church 24 times. <laughs> Just go around the whole building. <laughs> Say you want to do work. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, once it's not difficult, they feel it's not God. They are not a serious pastor. They want us to charge like Abalist. <laughs> Bring snake teeth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Number four for ladies. Pride. That's one of the causes of late marriages for ladies. Pride. Every young man that comes to your path, you feel is not up to your level, is not your class. And now you are the one begging him to come. Hallelujah. Pride. Number five. Give me Proverbs 21 verse 4. Give me Proverbs 21 for very quickly. Number five. Setting all realistic standards of the man you want to settle down with. Some ladies are very unrealistic standards. Standards. When you see the list of some ladies, you know that kind of man does not exist. <laughs> he must be anointed as the ability to raise peoples. Must be depth in the world, deep in the world. Must be financially okay. Then he must be slim, not too fat. Then he will not be too dark, he will not be too fair. He will be in the middle. <laughs> he will be tall. He will speak nice. <laughs> That man doesn't exist. <laughs> That's why some ladies remain the way they are. 39, no man. Your standards are too much. Are we together? Am I saying don't stand, set standards? Set. But please set realistic standard. Very rarely will you get everything you desire in one man. See, if God gives you a finished product, then it's not your property. It's for somebody. What God will always give you as a wife or as a man is a raw material for you to make it into whatever you want. If you ever see a foolish product, that means a man has finished it. It's not your own. Are we together? Stop setting unrealistic standards. All right. Kill this pride. Some just feel they are too beautiful and pretty. Such that they see. I have seen pretty ladies begging for who will marry them. Sometimes you think as if the guy is ganged up <laughs> and say this lady will suffer. Begging, pretty ladies. Are we together? Remain humble. Please be humble. When anybody comes to you, like I always tell my people, especially my daughters, if you ever insult a man. I disfather you in something. You don't have a right. Every man is qualified to talk to you. That's why he's a man. Is that okay? At best, your answer should be two. I am not interested. Politely. Alright? Or at best, I don't want to get into a relationship. now. I'm not ready. Simple. Must you insult the person? And in your mind, you are happy they spoke to you. Because if no brother talk to you now, hmm? now they will have carried you to native doctor. <laughs> Say, check my daughter. Is there anything wrong? As much as your parents are depriving you, it's just to put a constraint and a boundary. All right. If no guy has talked to you now, I'm telling you, they'll carry you for spiritual problem. Is that okay? So for the ladies, stop setting words unrealistic standards, please. Don't set something that you know that kind of thing doesn't exist. Is that okay? Anybody you see, as much as the person can meet major thing you want, and God tells you this, the person, you pick it in your spirit, you can make the person look like what you want. Is that okay? You can do the rest job. Are we together? You can do the rest job. That's what makes you a man. By the time we see your, 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 your fancy or your wife, we can tell how much a good gardener you are. It shows from your garden. It's well kept. All right. Is that okay? You will definitely, if you have a lady 
or you are any other guy and you have no work to still do on that person's life it's not your own i'm telling you it's for somebody not yours god will not always give you what a finished product but a raw material and so when he brought if to adam what did he tell adam cultivate hallelujah number six bad attitudes your attitude could be so bad that nobody wants to marry you the way you speak dispels people the way you dress dispels people even if i can manage dressing for the brothers to dress the way they like don't try it as a lady don't One time a human came to see one of my father in the faith. Says, sir, I don't know why my um, husband is rejecting me. As she's speaking, my papa is already rejecting her too. She was smelling. He said, okay. I, I've learned so much, some little things in ministry. It's not everything you pray. He says, all right. There's something God is revealing to me right now. But we need some materials to carry it out. Go and buy one packet of Tura. Tura soap. <laughs> buy three different types of perfume. <laughs> When she brought it, she let the spirit of evil come upon this. Rebating twice. No one did not. I'm telling you a true life story. That's the best way to help her. Please take care of yourself. Look good. Is that okay? Dress smart. Look like a godly sister. One that can depict the essence of Christianity. That when you walk, people could see the aroma and the aesthetic of heaven upon you. You become an emblem of God's presence. When you pass the new kai, this is that's good. Is that okay? Check your attitudes. Some of you, the way you speak to men, you shout. You have no regard for any man. You will see your husband. <laughs> you won't. You talk to anybody anyhow, maybe because of your little achievement or because you think you are fine. You know, it's a thought. Some ladies are like that. Nobody told them, but they told themselves. Or maybe one, one stupid brother deceived them. Say, you are the only queen in the queens. <laughs> Since then, she has gone. So she thinks everybody is as stupid as I was. <laughs> And then you, you talk to anybody anyhow. You won't see a man to marry. Have a good attitude. Be loving to be with. Be likable by people. Be likable. It's not a crime if many brothers die for you. Be likable. It's the cause of late marriage. Are we together? Talk well. Dress well manifest godly attitudes show care and concern all right show care as a lady you are fighting in public you are finished you are this is how we show you to a new hand you are finished or you went to post back you two are struggling to show ah we build area girls so area girls are... no 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 man wants to settle down with a stupid person. Are we together? No man wants to settle down with a stupid person. Have a sense of humor. Be loving, be caring. Be nice to people. Have regard and respect for people. That's why I said you are not qualified as a lazy to insult any man. Even the one younger than you. What did I say? You are not qualified as a lady to insult any man, even the one younger than you. Be respectful to everybody. Alright? Number what are we? Let me end this for the ladies. It's getting too hot on them. Give me Genesis 29, 17. Or just write that there. We can read. Please dress well. Is that okay? Dress well. Don't stop dressing like an old woman. I need to emphasize on this. Stop it. Dress well. Alright? Even if you are the type that ties a tie, tie it well now. 
just tie tie somebody is wondering who is coming this way is that okay just look smart you understand we are good good you know there are some kind of skirts <laughs> One day, my fancy wall one. I say, Come, you can't survive with me. <laughs> you better go and change this thing now. You know, those kind of skirts that they use those days that they used to do. Is it printed skirt? They used to weave it. <laughs> I iron for my sister now, so I know it very well. You know, it used to survive to iron. You have to bend it and iron bend that. And then now, <laughs> You, you please be attractive. Are we following? See, some of this problem beyond demonic, we do it with our own hands. We are the cause of it. Be attractive. Even if you don't have nice clothes, the one little you have, maximize it well. All right, please dress smart as a lady and speak nice, good English. Speak nice. Try. Go and buy dictionary. <laughs> speak nice. You know men likes it. Even if men that don't go to school now marrying people that speak good English. Then you, you don't you are finished. Train yourself well. Is that okay? Talk psychedelically. No, for a man now. Just imagine I pick your call now. And you are a lady. God help you. Even my daughter calling me and I'm pick your call. I'm not saying, hello, sir. <laughs> go and cry. <laughs> go and cry. I know you didn't understand what I said, but go and cry. You are talking like a man. The two there, you can distinguish a lady's voice from a man's voice. Hello. I said, okay, how are you doing? But don't talk like a man. Is that okay? Please, as simple as some of these things is, as we can joke about them, they matter a lot. Is that okay? They matter a lot. Hallelujah. Finally, next point number six always hanging around a particular person without having anything to do with the person this is one of the causes of late marriage for ladies only you and one brother everywhere only you and the brother and the brother is not going out with you and so every young man God has impressed something in his or her heart is scared to ask you out because they don't want to cause clash in the body of Christ Please don't do it. And if you're a lady, any bra is doing it to you, stop it. The bra is closing your market. And some brothers are so wicked. Especially when they now know that the lady is already developing feeling for them. They now do it well. And they know they don't have anything to do with her. We will touch it tonight. Is that okay? Please stop hanging around one particular person when you know you don't have anything to do with our person. It will be difficult for somebody else to ask you out. Is that not true? Is that not true? As simple as it is. Hallelujah. Very quickly, reasons for broken relationship. Why many relationships does not last? Very quickly, I'll rush this. I might not stay long on this so I can close on time. Number one, getting into a wrong relationship because of the desire to marry early. This is one of the challenges for ladies, especially. You see, my, my friend married at 23, you two want to be the target. I just went and put yourself into a relationship. Most of the times, those relationships would break. The Bible says in Philippians 1 and verse 6, the Bible says, He that began a good work in you shall do what? Shall bring it to completion. God will only complete the things he started. So if you didn't start that relationship, be ready to complete it yourself. Are we together? If you didn't start the relationship, be ready to complete it yourself. Permit me to extend this point. If he didn't tell you to read that course, be ready to give yourself a job. If he didn't tell you to go that direction, be ready to pay your teeth. The Bible says, God told no and Jonah, go to Nineveh. He said he's going to Tashish. The Bible recorded that and Jonah paid his face. <laughs> he will complete only what he what he started. So one of the reasons why relationship break 
is because of the desire to get into relationship in a hurry so as to marry early your friend married early you want to be the target too number two it could also be as a result of demonic patterns in your bloodline please trace this very well trace this very well demonic patterns every of your sibling your mother's side god now help you your father's side they are always having issues with their relationship it's my end with you too check it now and deal with it as fast as you can is that okay trace demonic patterns as fast as you can number three why relationship breaks number three when it takes god's place and purpose for your life when that relationship takes the place of god and the place of your purpose god will by himself scatter it the bible says he told the children of israel in exodus 20 he said thou shalt serve no other god except me for i am a jealous god anything that takes god's place in your life he will by himself frustrate it so you are now in a relationship you no longer go to fellowship again every time you, are, you need to chat you need to talk you're always talking are we together he will by himself scatter it never let your relationship take what the place of god or the place of your assignment what he has called you to do in life if it does he will by himself scatter it number what are we we see that in matthew 6 33 exodus 20 and verse 5. number four bad character and attitudes proverbs 15 23. bad character and attitudes most of us our character breaks real our relationship so that people cannot cope with us check your attitudes check your character the way you behave the way you act the way you talk is it making the person comfortable around, around you or is the person always complaining about you once those little things begin to come into a relationship it will sour to a point it will break number what are we number five i'm going to rush them i'll just give us the scriptures so we could go home and ponder on them number five when you concentrate on frivolities rather than uniting of your purpose your passion your ideologies your likes and the likes you concentrate on frivolities now one of the excess of courtship one of the excess of being in a relationship is to unite your purpose unite your passion why you all grew up from different backgrounds different upbringing different environments trained by different parents so the essence of that time before marriage is that you unite your purpose unite your passion so when all you do 24 hours is sweetheart sweetheart a sweetheart sweetheart love you love you we love you too oh rest i can't sleep i can't sleep very soon you start sleeping very soon you abuse the essence of that relationship unite your passion unite your purpose that means when i'm in a relationship it's my job to begin to see in the person's life life the things that i don't like and i begin to correct it I say, ah, mm -mm. this thing i'm not comfortable with it that's the essence of it that's what many of us neglect and go to do in marriage and i said last week the altar is for declaring vow not a deliverance service it is what you are as a single that you take into your married life it is not a deliverance service it is for declaration of your vows whatever you are before that altar that's what you carry inside your marriage life so that's why you see people making statements like i don't know this is what you are then all these sisters you say in your relationship what are you doing there baby baby i love you baby i'm missing you oh god oh god like the things i used to tell my friends i just fell in love with you again i do it not all the time <laughs> hallelujah unite your purpose unite your passion is a period for you to check whether two of you can agree the bible says in amos three three can two work together except they agree and so we see that it is biblical the bible says mary was espoused to joseph before marriage so some people say oh, no no they don't believe in costume you just see the girl today carry her to water is she an animal 
I just go to the market and buy a chicken. Say today soup. That's a human being for goodness sake. Sometimes the way people talk, you don't have you don't have respect for the dignity of the human person. Are we together? So what should you be doing? Unite your purpose. Unite your passion. Make sure you are getting together as one. We are reasoning in the same direction. We are thinking the same way. We are seeing things from the same point of view. There are characters you manifest. I tell you, oh, baby, this thing you are doing, I don't like it, okay? Do you know, I even tell people sometimes, do check. Check some things in relationship. Check it. Naturally, let the guy call you. Don't pick his call. He not charge. You are dead today. <laughs> ah, Run. You just found out a killer. But you won't do it too. Yeah, love you, love you, love you. Continue. It's true, Abi. No, continue. <laughs> I, I I've seen samples. I counsel people for 14 years now. I think I can talk better than any of you here. Continue. You know that that's not what settles a marriage. I told you, love is the basis of any relationship, not the primary thing. Why? No matter. Do I hate you? That's it. It's not. It's the basis. We marry maturely for purpose and passion. Love is just the basic because I might like the I must like the person I'm married. It's for purpose and passion. Are we following? So watch what you do. The extent of that relationship is that you begin to sharpen each other up, begin to build each other up. Those things you desire to see in the life of your man, begin to work it in him. Those things I desire to see in the life of the lady, I begin to work it in her. Not to be wasting our time. Let's go to Mr. Biggs. Continue. Is it not Biggs? You stay in time, Mr. Small. Continue. Can we do extra good tonight? I've not heard your voice for such a long time. I can't even sleep. And you are snoring all through the night. Every day we're shaking. You see, you can't sleep. You know, the way we comfortably tell lies these days. <laughs> We don't feel we don't feel remorse about it. see let's move on if not we won't finish up tonight are we getting blessed thank you we see that in hebrews 10, 23 number six the inability to withstand pressure and challenges proverbs 17 17. so when you as a lady you are under so much pressure you begin to act funny everything just begins to get you angry now listen i have counseled people a lot i'll say this especially for the ladies am i permitted to speak now i have heard certain ladies tells me when they are in their period nobody is interesting to them they can slap anybody you must correct it as you will scatter your relationship or your home together say it's mood swing swing it back this swing you swung it <laughs> all right you must and you just expect the person everybody should just understand with you you too you are a man they say you pay hand out the girl now also tell you <laughs> that they say there's something they will buy what do you say you want to do it's full time job if you are not ready don't apply <laughs> now there's so much pressure is on you any little thing you do bah, you are charging you will scatter that relationship very soon so you must be able to manage what pressure yes number seven not deciding what you want out of a, your, your relationship feeling things will work out somehow rather than making it work philippians 4 8 philippians 3 14. work out things if there is a trait i don't see i work on it i said come let's settle this matter Listen, no, no, don't worry, with time, with time, we'll get over it together. It will work out itself. No, that relationship will still scatter. Are we together? Number eight. When you want the other person to think and reason like you, without realizing you are from a different upbringing and you grew up in different environments, this will always lead to misunderstanding. What is misunderstanding? Two understanding missing each other. In our own world, she's correct. In your own world, you are correct. Are we together? 
two understand in doing what? Missing each other. So you want the person to reason like you by force without knowing. In fact, this is one of the major things that breaks relationships without realizing that come, they trained us differently. We grew under different parents. For instance, you can be in a relationship with a lady that when she just comes for work, she just pull her cloth and put it on top of the bed. God bless if you have one. And you might begin to chat. Are you okay? Slap her. Pa! Mm-mm. But eventually, that's how they do in your house. <laughs> you take time. Sweetheart, you see this thing? I don't like it. It's not done. Now, I give you permission to break that relationship. When you find out the person now use statement like, I can never change. Break it. What's the joy of entry to something that always makes you sad? And with the hope that it will work. Why? That's what courtship is all about. That's where you check it out. Say, please, I'm not comfortable with this. And the best is say, lie, lie. That's how all of us are in our family. <laughs> Go and marry your family members. Break it. Most of the people suffering in relationship now, they saw the signs. They carried biblical scriptures and enter. For everything worked together for my good. To them that love the Lord. They forgot that the Bible said to them that are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. What number are we? Number nine. Frequent quarrels and misunderstanding. This weakens the bond of love with time. Any relationship where there is always frequent quarrels and misunderstanding, it will break. As much as you can avoid it. And the truth is that, let me warn the sisters here, especially if you are a daughter to me, don't derive joy in quarrel. It's like ladies have that this thing. A guy just have a little issue with you. But you have your answer. One week, you go, and they, do it. they are feeling it too. They close their eyes and do it. <laughs> Why? Avoid it. There's no joy in it. Too. There's no joy. As much as you can. I know some of us learned it from old wife tales. Don't do it in these other days. <laughs> some men right now they don't have that time. Oh. They just go back to God. Who next? <laughs> So by the time you switch on your phone, it's called divert. <laughs> Hallelujah. Number 10, when there is distorted or poor communication. That's why I said, even when you call it, try to keep what? In touch. Please talk. It weakens the love in a relationship. If when you call it, try to talk. That's why I'm emphasizing the sisters are used to this stop it we see that in proverbs 18 and verse 24 number 11 when there is lack of trust proverbs 31 verse 11 listen when there is lack of trust i beg you always tell the truth no matter what always tell the truth no matter what say hello baby where are you and the guy is seeing you say i'm inside church we are worshiping <laughs> As little as it is, even when you explain to him that it is because of this and this, if you know what you have done, it's something difficult to undo. One little trait of mistrust can start a relationship forever. So that it will be very difficult when the person asks you, Where are you? You say, I am here. The, says, can. the tendency to do that one is always there. So it can break a relationship. Finally, on that, parental disapproval breaks relationship that's why I always beg us always seek parental counsel I emphasize this as much as I can last week always seek parental counsel always seek parental what counsel one of my son was telling me he had been in a relation with a lady for a lady for four years the parent just woke up and told the lady you are not marrying a rubber boy that's all scatter it's not four years of wasting your time. Seek parental counsel. Please get the part one of the message. I emphasize so much on this. Don't waste your time. Don't. Last section for tonight. Identifying toxic relationship. Or simply put, identifying relationship that will never work. 
I think if I use a simple English, you understand it very well. Identifying relationships that will never work. I'll be as fast as I can on this. So I can leave your latest nine. Number one. For a lady, when a guy is already beating and always insulting you in a relationship, hey, run. He's always beating you. You are still in a relationship. He's not married to you. He has no parents. He's already you are already receiving beating. And then any little thing is always insulting you. That's the relationship that will not work. It's the toxic relationship. If you end that relationship in a marriage, you will suffer in it. Are we together? Number two. When that person is always uncomfortable seeing others, especially your friend around you, insecurity is a relationship that will not work. The lady, when she just see a guy around you, pop, God will start. Which most of the time, you have to buy a recharge card. So many things to say to the quarrel again. Give me songs of Solomon. Let me tell you something about jealousy. Songs of Solomon 8.6 very quickly, Songs of Solomon 8.6 let me tell you what jealousy is that's why you see sometimes you see, hear some people they say they pour somebody acid jealousy is wicked listen set me as a seal upon thy heart as a seal upon thy hand for love is strong as what? death and jealousy is what? cruel the word cruel means is wicked is cruel as what? The grief. That's how jealousy is. It's cruel. So when the person is always uncomfortable, seeing people around you, especially your friends, that's a relationship that might not work. Number three, when the person is always checking your phone to see your messages and your chat, <laughs> ah, that's a sign of a toxic relationship. Always checking your phone. Let's pick your phone. Want to trace all the people that send you message and all the people you chatted with. That relationship is what toxic. Number four, when that person has no regard for members of your family, that's not a relationship. When the person have no regard for members of your family, say hello, hello. Um, dear, please, my dad's call is coming. You know, my mom's call is calling. Let me just speak it. Cut your call. He say, if you try it, if you try it, <laughs> you are finished. That's not a relationship to be in. Are we together? Number five. When the person has never complimented you once. The person doesn't complete. That's a toxic relationship. Give me Proverbs. Proverbs 16, 24. Very quickly. Please, I want to do well with time. So I can attend to questions. Proverbs 16, 24. Pleasant words. As honeycomb. Sweet to the soul. And health to the bones. So you want to look old on time? Do you want to look old on time? So make sure the person always compliments you number number six when such person has never done anything sacrificial for you or bought you anything at all up to 100 naira is just cut that's a toxic relationship the parasitic relationship and some guys are like that especially when the lady is working so far they don't collect salary push it forward <laughs> Is a toxic relationship. John 3 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he what gave. The proof of love is what given. Is that okay? Number seven. When that person is never willing to own up to a fault, the person can never agree that he or she is wrong. You are in for trouble. So it, now all these things we are saying, don't be looking at somebody else. Is that okay? You are first checking yourself if you are like that. So you begin to adjust. 
the person is never willing to own up to any fault the person is always right you're always correct that relationship is is in trouble number eight when such person finds it difficult to say thank you oh i'm sorry when such person finds it difficult to say thank you oh i'm sorry that's a toxic relationship number nine when that person is always asking for your money when that person is always asking for your money that's a toxic a dangerous relationship when that person is always asking for your money especially when the person will never call you to tell you i just got to find out how you are doing have you eaten today are you fine are you okay it's not always common in that relationship it's always i need money i need money i need money any call if I, when you just the call you know the statement that's a toxic relationship now listen if such kind of relationship can cause quarrel between you and your uncles you know there are some of your uncles when you just call them, you say, i don't have money now <laughs> because they know that's the only time you call them if you can see sample like that how much more a relationship you're in all right so even beyond marital relationship relationship with people don't show people you use them is that okay don't do that i don't that's why when i meet a great man for the first time i don't require help from any from from them i make sure i even do things for them before at a later point i might need their help but you just met somebody today i just you work with me we now mistakenly met the governor introduced you he now give his number that evening just called sir there's somebody's i'll need your help in something Abba. i'll teach us when we deal with the 30 important principle of life you must learn to take care of your contacts for your network is your network in life number 10 when that person is always hiding certain details about his or herself or family that's the relationship that is toxic the person is always hiding certain details about his or herself you ask the person this thing the person will touch it ask the person about a certain detail about his or her family the person will touch it that's the relationship you need to join your leg backwards a little bit number 11 when that person always makes you cry when that person always makes you cry or gets you emotionally disappointed all the time destabilized all the time you are a guy you are not reading your book again see your gp is dropping she's just sucking point one point one every semester point one. and you say you must do continue for a lady anytime the guy calls you he must make you cry you are already crying in relationship you know weep is the advanced form of crying <laughs> he managed you weep <laughs> it's not cry again hallelujah when that person speaks arrogantly and shout at you even in public please run from that kind of relationship especially for the ladies the person talks to you arrogantly and shout at you even in public and he never even pay anything for you please run number 13 when that person threatens to beat or kill you all the time you just do one small to the person carry knife i will, we will die together today that's a toxic relationship or a guy in relationship is telling you if you are my daughter at least i have a little authority on you but i say it general to everybody but more emphasis on my daughters a guy threatens to beat you on that god i permit you to break it even if i give an approval for that relationship if you ever lay your hands on a lady you don't have the respect for humanity you don't you don't have the regard you don't why i learned some tribe or culture they does that they even carry they buy cane for the wife which tribe is that huh there's a tribe they buy cane for the wife that you flock sense into her when she misbehaves. 
There's a tribe. I've forgotten the tribe. I read about it. You flogged your wife. The same way you are flogging a child. So you are flogging sense out of her. <laughs> you are driving sense into her. Cain, the bite. I read it in an article. I said, this is, this is absurd. <laughs> Try it with my sister. I promise you I will not pray. I promise you. I won't pray. You know, some of you feel women of God, there are things we can't do, Abby. We'll just say we'll leave it with God. We'll leave it. Try it. Try it. You now see the revelation of John Suleiman. If they slap you to this cheek, what should happen? Turn to the other. He didn't say turn the other cheek. So the other could be stick, stone. <laughs> Please let me use this medium to teach something in the body of Christ. I know it's lacking. There's something called the mystery of self defense. If they are fighting war now in Gidankwano and a small Alimajiri boy carries stick or knife and is pushing you, Baba, like you and you're running, they are coming, they are coming. You are stupid. You are very stupid. There's the law of self defense. When they wanted to take Jesus, Peter removed his knife. What was an apostle doing with knife? <laughs> now I'm saying this because the day they will come and touch me, run. Run and see. Some of you will stand by the door, windows, you protect me. <laughs> Hallelujah. But there is the law of what? Self-defense in scriptures. Is that okay? And the Bible says, Jesus told him, put back this word. He didn't say throw it away. But the first question is, what was Peter doing with what? And hear what Jesus said. He said, you can only kill me because I choose to give you the life. He said, if I don't want to die, we call legions, they will finish you here. But that the scriptures may be fulfilled. The Bible says in Matthew 24, if a strong man knows that the thief will come to the house, he will stand up and guard his house. Don't let anybody take your life unnecessary. These are the things they've used to cheat the body of Christ. We are always running. Small boy like you. Now you want to be a lady. <laughs> Number what are we? Huh? 13. Okay, 14. When that person always show lack of honor and respect for you for instance now maybe your fiance is talking to his or her friend and she now introduces you she now says this is my bros <laughs> if you understand shout hallelujah okay <laughs> the rest of you that don't understand god grants you understanding Say this, my bros. <laughs> so, when the person shows lack of honor or respect for you, please, that's a toxic relationship. There's no point being in it. It's a toxic. Maybe the guy is talking with his friend, and you came around. The guy just gone. Who asked you to come here? <laughs> now, what I'm saying right now, you can ask her. A lady came to my office in this Gidam Kwan off campus. There was one house then before they build much house. That's my 300 level. They will beat her. She'll be crying like this. So we must do together. It must be they will beat her. So you are shouting chai as if it's not a reality. It happens. You see many of it. Alright? Number 15. When that person always makes you feel guilty. Now, some ladies are into this a lot. And most of them is because they entered into that relationship to cure loneliness. I've been here all through today. You didn't even call me. And the guy had lecture from 8 in the morning to 6. He still, they gave him assignments. He should do in the night. He now finished by 6 and call you. You were angry that I didn't call you through the day. And the day has not finished. It's more common to ladies. Is that so, brothers? Mm -hmm. and then the person will just make you feel guilty and you know ladies ah, they are gifted say have i ever asked you for money have i ever asked you for anything all i want is your dark hair <laughs> and the guy will just feel so bad all right number 16 when that person never sees anything good in you and is always comparing you with others that's a toxic relationship the person never sees anything good in you and is always comparing you with others. It's a toxic relationship. 
especially for ladies, they hate it with passion. Don't compare them with somebody else. They hate it. Number 17. When that person does not agree with your purpose and passion, that's a toxic relationship. See, let me teach you something I do. There's this game I like to play on my phone. Alright? Do I play game? I do. Is that okay? Now, I love to play this long tennis game on the phone. Just five, five seconds. Now, this, I play seriously. Just five seconds. And anytime I concentrate in playing that game, I don't like distraction. Because I like playing tournaments. <laughs> and that's the time Ibira people used to push my fancy to come. She wants to talk. So I said, ah. Okay. And she don't like the game. She just start. The thing has carried your attention. Can you see? I mean, I said, there's no problem. I just called one of my son. I said, bring this game. I want to put it for her in her phone. I will teach her how to play it. <laughs> Is it not better? So the two of us, we like the game together. All right. So when that person does not agree with your passion and your purpose in life, that's a toxic word. Relationship. You say, I like to, I like to get involved into catering and um, do some little this thing. The guy just look at me and say, what rubbish is that? I don't like it at all. That's a toxic relationship. Is that okay? Number 18. When that person does not have a sense of destiny or direction, you look at this girl, she don't look like somebody that's going somewhere. You look like at the boy. He doesn't have a vision for his or her life. He's just living life. That's not a relationship to be proud of. Number 19. When a lady shows too much love for money and pleasure, every time, let's just go to Mr. Biggs. Mr. Old, every, just let's go. Too much time. Too much love for money and pleasure that relationship is toxic because the day the money will not be there there will be trouble number 20 when that person is not willing to change bad ideologies and whatever makes you unhappy when that person is unwilling to change bad ideologies and whatever makes you what unhappy you tell the person this thing i don't like it the person said that is how we are in our family I can't change it. Please, that's not a relationship to be. Because what's the point, like I said before, entering into something that you know you'll be sad forever. Why? How many of us know that the only thing that looks like eternity that is on this earth is marriage? When you enter, they just close the door and carry the key. <laughs> that's the only thing that looks like, especially for we Christians. Divorce is not an option. That's why you can't afford to make mistakes at all. A man of God I know in this nation, I read his story. He got so frustrated by his wife that he had to pray, Lord, take me out of this etokiha. For a man to pray to that point. Say, take me out of this etokiha. And the woman died after three days. Number 21. When that person is a humanizer or a drunkard, or the lady flirts, she can't just stay in one place. That's not a relationship to be in. The guys that you say, don't worry, you will change. You will change. When, when, when he gets married, he won't be drinking again. You'll be shocked. That you have to go and be picking him from the gutter. 22. When that person never spurs you or challenge you to do better. When that person never spurs you up or challenges you to do better. That's a toxic relationship. Number 23. When that when that person never encourages you when you are down, you never receive any form of encouragement at all from that person. That's not a relationship to be with. Especially for men. Check out ladies like this. Let me tell you the truth. Everything a man always desires for is to when he goes back home, receive succor. When he explains all he has been through through the day, during the day, the wife should give him hope. I say, baby, don't worry. It's going to get better. That's one of the greatest gifts any man can enjoy in a home. A woman that can always tell you, don't worry. I believe in your future. So when you have somebody that never spurs you up or encourages you to do better, 
That's the toxic relationship. See that in Proverbs 27 9, Proverbs 12 25. Proverbs 27 9, Proverbs 12 25. Number 24. When there is no sign of improvement in the character or personal life of that person, the person is not developing at all. No improvement in any way. Now listen. It takes growing to remain correct, current, and relevant. It takes continuous growing, continuous self-development to remain correct, current, and what? Relevant in life. So when you still somebody that is not improving in any way, not making, trying to get better, that's not a relationship. And finally, I know this one will cost me trouble. 25. It's more with respect to the ladies. I am discouraging going out. I'll give us a reference. Ephesians 5 verse 23. I told you everything I would do, I'll back it up with the scriptures. The Bible says the man is the head of what? The home. Please, I encourage ladies or I discourage them from staying in a relationship that you are better than the man in every aspect. Financially, wisdom, physically, self, even when they want to <laughs> you are the one defending if they want to fight now. You'll be the one to come and block for him. I, I discourage it. It's the head. <laughs> And as such, he must maintain that title of scriptures. Are we following? So if the, if the, if the lady is better than you in all aspects, guy. That's why I use the word all. There are some aspects she can, but when it's all, I discourage such kind of relationship. It will scatter that home. Hallelujah. Finally, managing your emotions in a relationship. I'll be speedy with this. Okay? We'll do well with time. We're done. Managing your emotions in a relationship. Give me songs of Solomon 8 verse 4. Please, I want to beg you. I am speaking from my heart on this matter right now. I beg you. Emotions is energy. Emotion. Once you tamper with it, it will put you into trouble. Don't start what you can't even finish. Once these emotions become awakened, you are finished. I tell you, under God, it can take you God's grace to survive it. Ask around. I charge you, daughters of Jerusalem, that you stir not up nor awaken my love until what he please. A version said, Do not awaken love before its time. Avoid it as much as you can. It starts from little romance. You hold the hands, you walk together. From the hands, it enters her neck. From there, you want to, you know, you are just hanging around the person. You like the person. You want to just be with the person. From there, say, let me give you a holy kiss. From there, talk, that's gone. Are we together? You must watch this. It's a temptation in every relationship. I beg you, manage your emotions. I'll give us four things to do. Number one, which I said, never awaken love before it's time. Avoid things that stir up your emotions. Don't talk too much things that stir up your emotions. Every time you are with a lady, all you discuss is the number of children. What hour of the day you have sex? What time? How many hours will it last? that stir up your emotions avoid it if you are waking it for the brothers you end up in masturbation even ladies some of them end up in it if you can't even have that desire to be satisfied I beg you see what I am saying some of you know what I am talking about you are already experiencing it now 
it will take God's grace for you to survive it, you get married. Once that emotion is awakened once, once, you can be finished for the rest of your life. It will take God's grace to manage it. Now, let me tell you, you see, our memory, that's why it is called imagination. It's called what? Imagination, meaning our image center. It stores information and it has the ability to replay them most of the time out of our own will. It will come. Don't even attempt it at all. Is that okay? Avoid it as much as you can. Number two, stick to your decision. Make up your mind, set your boundaries and stick to it. Stand your ground. Number three, watch it when it's going too far. This is my emphasis. Some of you know when you are entering voicemail. You kept dialing the number. <laughs> Watch it when it's going what too far. Cry for help. Give a distance and adjust your words. Now listen. There is a thermometer in every of our body to know when it is going too far. Every one of us, none of you will deny you didn't know. When it is starting to go. You know. So somebody you talk normal with just found out that of recent things are changing. Your blood pressure gets high anytime she's around you. It is wisdom that you do what? You cry for help. Two, you do what? You give what? A distance. That's the moment you still want to be spending all the time. You are stirring up emotion. Some of us could be so as wicked as that's the time you spoil that lady with love. Ayata. Your last word, you buy her You say, hey, my love has fallen now I'll talk about something. Some brothers are very wicked. We toy with Lee's emotions too much. We are very wicked. You know, not only you don't want to have anything to do with the lady, but because of little, because ladies misinterpret things a lot. And because of little closeness, you just love, you are showing the person. The person is beginning to get outside the line. And that's when you now worsen it. And you'll be driving it to, you know, something is happening in the lady already. You'll be doing it more. You're wicked. Are we together? So you give what? A distance. Cry out for help. Run to a mentor. Spiritual father. Retreat. Alright? Give a distance and adjust your words. Check what you are saying at that point in time. Baby, I love you. I will die for you. At that time, when you know something is happening already. Are we following? And then, number four, cry out for girls' help. You need his help. Number five, guard and protect your mind in such a period. Guard your mind. If I'm here, I will listen to more of messages. Listen to more of books. The Bible says in Proverbs 4.23, guard your heart with all what? Diligence. It's not guide. Is not lead your heart, is God misprotect it with all diligence. So even the Bible acknowledges the fact that it requires what diligence to protect, no matter the level of your anointing. Have I gotten to a point where terrible? See, listen, there are times when we are growing up in God, right in the place of prayer, you have a negative thought. I mean, in the knee on your knees, praying. I told you, I will tell you my life. And I will manifest my humanity before you as much as I can. So you know if I have gotten to us far, you can get there. Because we tell people lies so much in the body of Christ. Guard your heart, protect it as much as you can. The Bible says, for out of it flows what? The issues of life. at your heart. Discipline yourself. Number seven, what's that? Number number seven. Discipline yourself. Set safety valves for yourself. So, for instance, I don't visit a lady alone. It's a safety valve. I don't visit a lady alone. Set safety valve for yourself. The last time they took my skin, 
with the level of growth in God I have enjoyed. I was thinking what will come out of my body is only for you. But I saw blood. <laughs> then I now realized I'm still human. <laughs> Set safety valves for yourself. At this level, Papa Adeboye said he still don't, don't carry a lady in his car without his wife there. At this level. Then you, you are Superman. Continue. You will show no very soon. Continue. Are we together? So protect your mind. Guard your mind. Set safety valves. Set safety valves. Be disciplined. For some of us that have spiritual daughters, you are doctoring her. Stop it. All right. Stop it. Don't even visit them. Don't. All right. Don't. For brothers, be so disciplined. Avoid this cooler ministry. Stop it. It's working on your emotion. Is that okay? Stop it. I kept a record till date. Five years. I didn't eat a lady's food in this institution. Till date. Not once. <laughs> so quick. <laughs> so can you survive? Yes, you can. I have survived. Because <laughs> some brothers live on cool as if. The way I said it nice, like I just caught his lifeline. <laughs> Please be disciplined. Is that okay? I beg you. Don't visit a lady what? For the young ladies, don't visit a guy alone, especially at all hours. I like, you know, some of, especially the ladies, we brag too much. Yeah, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Well, my daughter that likes carrying speakers then. <laughs> she used to brag with her Moses. So she said, nothing will happen. Nothing. nothing. Nothing can happen. I will shout. See, I have seen many of your type. <laughs> and the last question I kept asking them, why didn't you shout? Let me be sincere with you. That shouting you are thinking you will shout is not as easy as you think. Most of the times you will reason it. If I shout and people come here and see me, oh, they see. That's how most people end up giving in. Avoid it as much as what as you can. Run from things that steers up your what your emotion. Talk about your purpose so much more that you talk about romantic words. Talk about your passion. What's your plan for life? Talk about your purpose all the time. Finally, on that, that's number what I'm giving some points right now. He's just dropping it on me. Number what? Where did I stop? Number eight is five points. How did I reach eight? Huh? Okay, let me join one. I'm just talking by an inspiration. Is that okay? So I've even forgotten it now. I love you now. It's because we have not sang since. The environment was tight for me. I love you tomorrow. I love you forever. I love you now. I love you, Lord. I love you tomorrow. I love you forever. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Holy Ghost, I love you tomorrow. I love you forever. I love you, Lord. Okay. If I can recall, I'll say it. Now, I want to attempt some questions. I'll answer three questions. Here yeah, we are done for today. If I can remember the last point, it's very important. It was strong on me. When I said something, I, di I got diverted. Managing your emotions in a relationship is okay. Now, hanging around a lady, playing on her emotions without saying anything. Question one: Hanging around a lady, playing on emotions without saying anything. Now, so many people do this and derive joy from it. Speak to a sister if you are interested 
in her. All right. Don't give in somebody. Stop giving a sister hope that is not there. I told you the story one time my grandpa shared in his church of a, of a young guy that is always disturbing his sister, disturbing his sister, disturbing her. They are always together everywhere. He will call her. Why were you not in church today? She when they return back from church, he will call her. Are you now home? Have you eaten before she sleeps? Are you on the bed now? Okay, close your eyes and sleep. Always calling her. One day he now called her. He said, she now asked her, Who is your fiancé? She now said, That brother. He said, Okay. Meanwhile, he knew the brother was going out with somebody else again. He now said, Okay, tell the brother you say is your fiancé. They are in units. I know the church is the last church. Tell him I want to see him. That's how the brother started touching service. If Papa is coming like this, he will turn the other way. So you know, Papa is a rough person now. One day, just will lay him. He now brought the two of them to his office. He said, Sit down. He said, tell me who you said your fiancé is. Then says, brother, so, so, so. He's, I love him so much. He has been showing care. That's how the guy provoked to. Are you okay? All these small, small children are trying to father. Are you telling me? <laughs> See, look at this small child. I'm trying to father and help. <laughs> what I'm doing tonight might look so cap casual but i am solving a problem in the body of christ this is one of the major problems right now in the body of christ their relationships affecting even people's work with god many people are in guilt right now preach heaven and earth hunger whatever thirsty they are not hearing you because a guilt is fighting them so you might ah, it's not a serious topic tonight it's anointing don't worry it's anointing you're looking for next series <laughs> you see anointing or you can follow me. I have a meeting in Suleja on Sunday morning. You can come around. You'll see anointing. Alright? Okay? So please speak to her, okay? Don't just hang around her and keep toying with her words. Emotions. Not for the ladies. Never insult any man that asks you what out. Every man has the right to do so. Confidently give your answer politely. Either a yes or a no. Or at best, tell them you are not ready to be in a relationship for now. Is that okay? Number two. Can you be in a relationship with a lady older than you or with a man close your father's age? You know, casually anyway, I've not answered. I want to say something casually. To me, that's not a relationship. That's just sugar mommy and sugar daddy. <laughs> So can you be in a relationship to a lady older than you or to a man close to your father's age? It's love. It's not love they say it is. <laughs> as long as I'm not the one entering it for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me give my say on that. Now, if I want to judge by the vantage point of scriptures, I will have naturally said no don't marry a lady older than you why because adam was created before if i say if i want to say naturally and i want to have a scripture to back what i'll say but by the spirit of god i haven't seen some that have done so and then they are surviving my take will be this even if you marry a lady older than you don't marry your mother is that okay so we must, we, it first starts from we knowing the degree of the oldness. Is that okay? Don't marry your mother or even your grandmother. That would be sugar mommy. Is that okay? And then before you do that for a man, be very sure that that lady has extreme level of submission to you. I beg you. Please are we together? That our age does not count in that relationship, but our submission is to you. She gives you complete and absolute submission and respect. Please, are we following? That's my take on that. Now, for a lady marrying a man close to your father's age. Anyway, we don't know how old 
was Adam to Eve. <laughs> I always use the scripture. Is that okay? Then I will now speak by the Spirit of God and give a counsel as a minister of the gospel. I will still advise. Let the difference in age not be too much. There. Why? There will be clash of reasoning. All right, I'm talking like Paul. He said, "Not the Lord, but I." But I have the Spirit of God, and as a priest, I'm permitted to give what a counsel by God's leading and inspiration. Please, are we together? There will be clash of what reasoning. The disparity of reasoning should not be too far. Is that okay? So let the person not have that so much gap of age. But if you pray and pray, the man is ninety, you are twenty-five. You say God is leading you. My heart bless you. <laughs> That's my take. Please, are we okay? If you are not, you ask me the question back. Number two, or number what? Three. Going out with an unbeliever, with a hope of changing the person. Number one, you don't look like any of the angels. Number two, you are not Jesus Christ. Number three, you are not the Holy Ghost. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is only the Holy Spirit that changes people. Is that okay? Please, I beg us, especially for our sister. You are extremely foolish and stupid if you go out with a Muslim guy. I see that as a rubbish in the body of Christ, and I fight it now. Don't do that for anything. If the person, if you must settle down with the person, let the person change first for you. If the person cannot change for you, the person will not change with you. I have had many. I have two cases like that in my in my um, base. The two of them, they are counting church with me now. This thing, this two counting. One of them, the guy entered church. That's when, you, if a man wants something, I'm sure many of us have seen example like that. The guy entered church, did wedding. After they finish, case has closed. Especially once one child comes out. That's all. So I discourage it as much as I can. Is that okay? Let the person change for you. And be convinced that the person has changed. Genuinely. Because some brothers can deceive you for that. What? Two months, three months, they will start going to church. So I are attending. The person just called a wonderful church. And he will follow you. I've had cases. I can't give so much example because of time. I've had cases like that. That's why I say tonight I am speaking from a pain. So you don't repeat some errors and mistakes. Is that okay? So you can allow the person to change first. Is that okay? And then be sure that that conversion is worth genuine before you are permitted to get into a relationship with that person. The final question for tonight before I give opportunity to three people. What should you do when your parents disagree with your relationship? For some of you that are very gifted with Nollywood, you have watched Emeka Ike and Genevieve. You follow Bush and run. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> if you try to somebody's daughter, <laughs> you enter trouble. Please, I beg you, when your parent disagrees with that relationship, number one, as much as you can, try to convince them. Make them see what you are saying. Is that okay? Definitely, any parent that stops you must have a point. If the person tells you, don't marry a Yoruba person, the person has a point. There is something that has happened sometime that has given that person that basis to say that. Alright? I know the truth is that some of our parents, they understand. Some of them even have an understanding of tribes. Alright? Or they know backgrounds. They know a family lineage. They know something's happening in that lineage. I just, you force yourself as much as you can what convince them and then try to find out from them what is the main reason why they don't want Jesus to work tell them mommy and daddy please make it plain with me if I know what it is now by myself I will tell you I am not doing it again is that okay but don't turn it to quarry some ladies get to a point they don't even talk to their parents with respect again because of a man if you do that as a lady you are a fool never disrespect your parents because of what a man never disrespect your parents because of a man 
when they were there, that man was not there. And even the day that man will leave, what you still have is that family. Never disrespect your parents for anything. Alright? So convince them. Pray about it. Talk to God about it. The Bible says the heart of a king is in his hands. Talk to God, Lord, please convince my parents over this matter. And then finally, seek counsel from your spiritual guide. Is that okay? Run to a spiritual father or mother. Explain to that person, this is what I'm passing through. Let the person give you counsel by God's spirit and leading. Is that okay? Are we blessed tonight? Were we blessed tonight? Were we blessed tonight? It's the end of relationship series, part two. Please get the part one. We shared so much there. How do you know when you're supposed to be in a relationship? When it's time? It's a practical section. You see the way we took today's section? It's not just charging you, charging you. Mm -mm. Practical. Practical. That's why I'm not shouting. Take it one by one. How do you know? Even when you know what are you supposed to do? And then when you are in one, what are you supposed to do? So we are just following the continuation. Is that okay? So I'll give room for three questions, please, very speedily. So I can release the people to go. If you want to ask a question, just signify so they get the mic to you. Hallelujah. Amen. So one of those things that also cause problems in the body of Christ uh, issue of health. Like some church will tell you you have to go and do tests and before they will approve if the issue of health uh, generally. So I think the, that one was not touched. I don't care about that one. You can go for them, go for them. It's less by faith. And Hallelujah. <laughs> the way this lady laughed. <laughs> In her mind, say, God forbid. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you are here, you've seen testimonies over and over again. If I can have that anointing to do that, then I will encourage you to one hand time to one. Is that okay? I said something to someone. For instance, if you have a health challenge, and you enter into a relationship. Maybe I, let me give you an example. Maybe what you have is one liver. Is liver two? Is even one? Okay, maybe you have half liver. <laughs> and you not enter like that because you are scared to tell the person you are wicked. I'm serious. The day the man will find out or something t terrible will happen, and that person will find out, whatever action that person takes, I will agree with it. It is better you accept me the way I am. Because most of the times, when the person don't even know your situation, the things they are not supposed to do because of that situation, they won't do it. Maybe if you have high people down, the person is not supposed to shout, you know, make, do things down. And the person doesn't know. Till the day you now collapse, they now carry to hospital and say you have that baby. Be sincere with the person. Let the person accept you the way what you are. But I keep wondering. Alright? It's just like what I said in, about fasting last week. I don't know how somebody will fast to death. You know when you are about to die. You are still fasting. No now. Go and chop. Eat good food. Is that okay? Same way. I see no reason why people will still be dying with certain kinds of health challenge when we have ministers of the gospel. God has blessed with the healing anointing. Why? Why? And some of us, it's because of church doctrines. Why? So if there is health issues, please, I beg you, sort it out. We've seen cases of SS here and there. Let's not multiply issues for our world. Did I say you should not marry the person? No. But solve the situation before you come together. That's my point. Did you understand? Once there's the health challenge, let it be solved first before the altar. Let's not multiply problem for our generation. Is that okay? Listen again. I didn't say break the relationship. You like her, B, or you like him, die. There's no problem. But solve that health challenge. Alright? Before you what? In time to that relationship. Is your question well answered? Please, did I answer that question? Next question, please. Here's the mic, please. If you can write on paper and give me an answer very, very fast. Uh -huh. When you 
are talking about um, please i'm taking permission for our time we, that's why we push the series to the break period so we don't have a reason to rush it Papa, when you're talking about are you reading um, from a bible Papa. okay it's a book go ahead you're talking about reasons for broken relationship yes what you mentioned was um, the inability to withstand pressure and challenges yes what if what if the the guy now maybe say something out of anger maybe the girl angered him now like said uh, i'll kill you also and again i'll get angry you know i don't know the distance there yeah, you, now you kill but, the person uh, le- then the girl you know a popular man said your true say are always the things you say you are because you didn't plan it sincerely speaking even if you say it by mistake that it comes out of your mouth is a possibility in your life is the tendency already in you is that okay so don't even say such to a lady okay but maybe it's, it's on the phone and you didn't see the person's face maybe you just heard his voice then the girl got angry then after the you girl, didn't what the girl got angry too and stopped talking to the guy so because guy, of what because of that statement okay then the guy now approached the lady and because of, due to the other uh reason you gave us then the guy will not be like i'm just trying to test whether you have ability to withstand <laughs> the relationship and maybe the thing happens over time again then the girl will now say, ah, this is the second time. Then the guy will now go back here and say, okay, even Jesus Christ was tested three times. <laughs> he didn't even wait for a third time. We are running. And maybe the thing continued. It continued like that. The fifth time. And the guy will say, like even the time of Elijah, he sent, when he sent the, his servants to go and check for rain, check like seven times. So you didn't wait the seven time. Hallelujah. The person will just have an excuse to give. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you test a lady, or when I talked about testing, I didn't say you should threaten the person. I hindered I talked about threatening, right? Don't threaten the person. Is that okay? Don't threaten the person. Please. When a guy says that to you, I will kill you, I will do this, he does it one. Is it that you failed the first test? That is repeating tests for you. Don't you used to pass exam? You know this one is not test again. It's a serious matter. Is that okay? I don't suggest that. That's a toxic relationship. Please, the last person. Okay, let me see if I can read here. I knew a brother. I need to see light. When I see light like this for this kind of question. Okay, I'll reframe the question. Is that okay? Is that okay? You know I can be raw. But just permit me tonight, okay? Let me reframe the question. This is the question the person is asking. It's a very sensitive question. He said he or she know of a brother and a sister. Let me tell you what one of my papa in the faith said. When somebody asks that kind of question, it seems to be like it's the person you know? <laughs> Well, let me ask you. He or she knows a brother and a sister. <laughs> and that the brother has an issue with what? Self-control. Whenever he is close to the lady, his body is not himself. Is that okay? So what should he do? Number one. You should have dealt with the issue of self-control before getting towards a relationship. All right? When you know something is a challenge or will be a challenge to you, why will you go and put yourself inside? You deal with the issue first. Is that okay? Because by that, by your question, it's like saying that was natural with you. Then, Entering into a relationship, you are having more issues towards your emotions. So you are only worsening your what? Your situation. Is that okay? So please, I beg us. 
you deal with that first before what get into what a relationship that's my suggestion now you are in one my best suggestion for you is to cry for god's help meet a spiritual person all right and explain ma- the matter to the person the person will give you better counsel on that i want to believe i answered that question the last question please so can rise to pray praise the lord hallelujah so i want to know is relationship does it have an actual age when someone goes part one. into relationship part one because i see a lot of people so, lack maturity in relationship part one get the part one it was dealt with that's what i just said i covered that in what part one how to know it is time for a relationship okay ask. i'm trying to remember that thing i wanted to say on managing emotions your take on relationship whoever if they experience is this temporary breakup and they come back together and they break up again and come back together and break up again and come back together it seems as if no it seems as if they will still divorce to and come back in marriage so what i'm asking is that maybe if i'm going and coming back now i i would have perfectly answered your question if i know the reason for the breakup that's the best way i can give what answer any answer i give under this condition will be very imperfect to define whether it is toxic or it's a natural occurrence i need to know the reason always for that word break up is it that maybe they are not reaching in agreement on the terms or they are fighting slapping a hair we must know why they break up under that condition we can perfectly what define whether it is toxic or not did we enjoy god tonight rise up to your feet what this question is very powerful we'll postpone it to relationship series part 3 some other time i think this is the last relationship series for this year 2016 please get the part 1 and the part 2 were you blessed were you really 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 blessed please get is a full loaded pack is it like a 10 pack series joined together so please get it all right and i said i will not teach beyond relationship part all right let me answer this question i am of age but i must discover my purpose before marriage that means you are a manchelo not a bachelor what do i do since late marriage <laughs> He's not good. <laughs> you are of age. And you have not discovered your purpose. That's the first issue self. Why have you not discovered purpose when you are of age? What are you doing with your years? However, I'm going to teach him um, a sermon is already worked out, worked out planned. And I want to teach it as practical as I can. The same way I'm teaching most of the the teachings here on discovering and fulfilling your life's purpose as practical as i can such that it is difficult that you have seen that in a book i can assure you i want to teach it in a way when you live here you can know this is you will have at least a glimpse even if not too clear i know this is what my direction for life is so i i i believe god i have discovered my own calling I didn't struggle at any point in time. I had days and months God sees my heart. Where I cried and prayed. I sent messages to men and women of God as much as I can know. So I want to know why I'm on this earth. Now mine was more confusing because of the fact that I was doing excellently ministry wise, doing excellently academic wise. Mine was terribly confusing. I was doing excellently political wise. I played politics to the core. You can't beat me in an election. I would trick you away. So it was challenging for me. And all the messages I keep sending, once I just send a text message to any father, say, how are you doing? You are still fine, right? So I can't blame them. I'm still happy today that I had to know it for myself personally. So if anything happens on the line, I won't say, are you sure that my head got on my behalf? 
I say, but I know the voice I had. I am happy they didn't even tell me. And so some of my children are very angry with me. They know me a lot. You come to my office, I want to know. You know you will not listen. No. My heart will always bless you. <laughs> That's my national anthem. My heart bless you. <laughs> but I'll teach you uh, um, something on that, okay? We'll pass the lesson. Maybe it might be next week because we are supposed to have a financial summit next week. But the challenge is I'm traveling for a minister conference which is running till Friday. And I dare not miss that Friday. So I am still doing like this. Whether I might come down back, minister that Friday, no, it can't even work. I can't, I can't return back to Abuja by this time of the night. But we work out something. Is that okay? Or I might give up the meeting and be around to minister. We wanted to start a financial summit. Alright? I told you the sweat period, we are using it more for life series. When we resume back section, we'll come back to the anointing. But I don't want to train the people like everybody's going to be a pastor like me. For instance, right now, I might deceive you financially because everybody gives me a renewal. At this level, I enjoy financial grace. People come and sow to my life. So I might make you look like that, that that's how your money will come in life. But it's not true. I must teach you the principles of God's kingdom that is universal to all of them. Such that why I am seeing that wealth is because I am also in my assignment. Two, I am also providing a solution to my generation. So Paul said, if I minister spiritual thing, I can reap your canal thing. I now understand why he told them not to go with their purse and bag. Once they give their giftings out, they profit from it. Is that okay? I'll teach you kingdom. So that's what I wanted us to start with. Then we'll, we'll enter the 30 vital principles, then continue part two the subsequent week. But I'm planning to teach the discovering life purpose. Let me see. We are to teach it this week. It depends on the permission God gives me. The message is set. All the messages are set. If God gives me permission next week, we'll teach the financial summit part one, then have a break for the FYB meetings. Else, we'll just take discovering and fulfilling your life what purpose so your question will be answered don't worry the meeting is planned for you our growth must be uniform there are people here that will find themselves in politics there are people here that will find themselves in the academic world some in fashion some in entertainment some in business that's why we are teaching the way we are teaching all right so that you'll be a full christian not be anointed and useless in other areas of your life You'll be full. Lord, lift up your hands and bless God if you are truly blessed tonight. Thank Him for what He has done. We give you praise. We give you worship, our Father. You are the reason why we are gathered. It was because of you we came tonight. We thank you, our Maker. We worship you, Rabboni, teacher of God's word. Open out the light of God's word. Reveal our secret. Unveil our mysteries. We give you praise, ancient of days. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you. You don't know how lucky you are to hear this teaching tonight. Some people like the lady that asked the question or the brother that asked the question last week. He says, sir, I wish I knew this before I entered into a relationship. You don't know the luck you have. It's the privilege God is bringing this truth to you. Such that you will not fail where great men has fallen in life. Lord, we give you praise. We thank you. How can I describe A God as indescribable how can I explain? How can I explain? Oh, I love that's unexplainable. I am lost for I am lost for
Oh, tell me what can I do? Oh, I can leave without we are ready for it tonight. We can wait for another prayer session. We are just expressing our prayers through songs. Beyond all we have heard, we still need his help. It's beyond the teaching. Without his help, we can't fulfill any of the requirements. every aspect of your life I want to follow after it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare you will be the envy of your generation I decree you will be the envy of your generation under the sound of my voice I decree and declare none of you will struggle in life none of you will struggle in life in the name of Jesus God settles you speedily. Let doors of favor open up for you speedily. In the name of Jesus. Strategically, I ask of God that He positions men to show you favor. He positions men in high places of life to do you good. Men to fight for you. Men to speak on your behalf. Men to stand for you. In the name of Jesus. You will never be stranded in life. You will never be stranded in life. You will always know what to do. You will always know where to go. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our great King, for tonight. Beyond all has spoken to your people. Holy Ghost, go ahead. 
minister more to them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. We pray for those following, following us online. That let your grace reach out to them. Touch them for their time. In the name of Jesus. And I ask tonight that your people came to your presence. Everybody under the sound of my voice, under this atmosphere is lifted. In the name of Jesus. Every heart cry, every heart desire. Mark my word within the next 72 hours. I call it done. In the name of Jesus. And I pray for the pursuing me students that you came to this meeting today. Your admission is yours. Amen. I join faith with you and I speak under God by grace. Your admission is yours. Amen. Upon your documents, I release the oil of God's favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus, every one of you, I decree and declare your admission is given to you now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Grant the desires of your people, O God. Let testimonies abound. Give them mind-blowing miracles. Let one testimony hit them after another this week. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Very quickly, let's not forget our project going on. Project Invite a Soul every week for the meeting. Please do that as a act of commitment and a platform for God to bless you. Let's not forget the building project going on. We are trusting God to pay for the land completely by December. We are trusting God for a four, four plots of land because of the size of the structure. And it's costing us two million. God is already doing great things. He will do it with or without me. But I'm only praying what he's doing, he doesn't do it without me. So please, let's try as much as we can. To support the project, inform others about it, encourage them to be a part and parcel of it. Hallelujah. This is the, if this is your first time of worshiping with us, can I just have a handshake with you and release God's blessing on you? Just come forward. Please celebrate them. Come forward. Celebrate them. Thank you for listening. We trust that you have been blessed. Come and worship with us every Friday at Atmosphere for Grace and every last Friday of the month at Night of Miracles and Supernatural Encounters. Opposite FUT Mina, Gideon Kwano Campus, Mina, Nine States. Come and be blessed. May have your seat. Let me see, I'm supposed to just um, conclude the session. I was speaking with the final year brethren and I had some issues. I was thinking I have done the best I can when it has to do with that aspect of um, singles and relationship. I've preached a two part message where I talked about the issues of late marriage, how to know it's time for a relationship. If you've not heard of that message, please get it. And um, what to do when you now know it's time what to do when you are ready in the relationship how to identify toxic relationship the reasons for broken relationship all this has been treated in the part one and part two series so they came with a burden to me and um, expressed a kind of pain and i deemed it fit as a um, servant to just bring some clarity and understanding that's my assignment that's my call to bring some clarity so i'll rush that message in the next 15 to 20 minutes so singles and relationship part three singles and relationship part three i'll be very quick and just bring some clarity to us and then go into something else i want us to to really know today now how to know very very plain if you listen to part one and part two you understand that i was so plain as much as i can not just preaching around people strictly to each issue how to manage your emotion how many of you are in those series how to manage your emotions in a relationship all right when two people get close to each other intimacy begins to develop emotions begin to rise and it is not abnormal because even when we get close to jesus intimacy begins to rise amongst us are we following so you must know how to manage it emotion simply means energy emotion so when it's not properly managed it can get into some other aspect you might not like are we together so please get those series stay with them again listen to them any area need clarity um we always have question and answer sessions 
but maybe that will be till next year are we together so very quickly i'll i'll touch three um aspects that they told me was an issue and they want me to address i'm going to talk tonight about how to know the right person as plain as i can i think you very rare will you hear something like this how to know the right person all right then how to ask a lady out i'll be as practical as i can tonight are we, are we together yes if you are an FIB, let me see your hand so I, will, I will not be sure i'm talking to another level student i'm going to ask a lady out are we together then i'm going to treat um, how to attract the one you love all right those are the three things i'm going to look quickly um, before i go into the main message for today so very quickly how to know the right person how to know the right person how to know the right person now we've had issues bothering about what stead of the question was the issue of gospel i've seen people discerning gospel for 30 years see i'm still waiting for god's will and it's a serious issue and a serious misconception in the body of christ so in my little search i decide to discover what is god's will are we following because the average believer in his mind or in our mind what god's will means is to hear a voice or to see a vision or receive a prophetic revelation i never heard any voice I never see any vision but i knew what was god's will for me why god's word is his will so when we walk in accordance to the dictates of his word we are in his will we must not hear a voice are we together are we following once we follow his laid down principles once we follow his laid down structures then we are in his will so sitting down and praying for 100 days to discern a will sometimes it's a serious waste of time are we together are we following so i'm waiting for god's will if something has not moved me i go nowhere you might stay here for a very long time are we together god's will is his word some are looking for a prophet to tell them this is god's will no are we together there are criterions in god's word we can look at and by our choice we which we have a right to decide that this is who i want for myself are we together are we following so be careful for instance the bible says one time paul and barnabas went to a city to preach let me clarify this issue of god's will not just relationship but generally sometimes i say lord I want to do this i don't hear a voice and i pray lord thank you help me i've acknowledged you in all your ways is that what the scripture say and i begin to take a step the good thing about christianity is this see we are not known entities neither are we robots god has given us brain i haven't prayed i take the step i decide to take and the bible says if that step was wrong i will hear a voice behind me saying this is the way that means the word is at my back i'm the one moving first are we together many are waiting for the word to come first then they move that's why many struggle to perform miracles the bible says this sign shall what follow so it, when something is following you it means you are before him ahead and that thing is at your back are we together are we following so it's like somebody discerning whether it is god's will to preach the gospel are we following it's affecting and caging people in the body of Christ so much. The Bible says one time Paul and Barnabas went that they wanted to go into a city to preach, and the Holy Ghost said, No, don't go there. And I was wondering, it should they never prayed before they went. They chose where they want to go and preach. Why? The instruction is going into where all the world. If he doesn't want me there, the word comes what? Behind me we together i came to liberate what has held you bound. misconception is demonic it can cage a man for a long period of time a wrong conception someone said i'm looking for a missing rib and i keep telling everybody my rib is complete i don't know where your rib is missing from 
the only case we had about missing rib was in Genesis. After that, every form of human being came through sexual intercourse. No rib, they were, they, they were not tearing anybody to remove something from them. Are we together? And I ask if the Bible gives us permission that after we maybe lose one of our spouse, we have a right to marry. Is that okay? Is that correct by scripture? So that person will rip, is it a spear rib? Are we together? It must be a spear rib. You must understand the place of your choice. Two things decide the entirety of the life of a man. Destiny and choice. Destiny is what God has ordained for that man. He has destined that you should pass through this path. What is choice? I can decide to align with destiny and pass that path. Or I can look at destiny and turn my back. If God removes choice from man, then he ceases to be God. It shows he has instructed them compulsorily to serve him. He must leave them with that free will to choose him. That's what makes him what? God. Are we together? So God's way is when we align with what? With his word. Whether that word be written or be what? Spoken. Are we together? Whether that word is what? Written. Or that word is what? Spoken. Forget all this prophecy. People are lying so much in the body of Christ. Someone come to my office and say, Sir, I just want you to help me and confirm if she's the one. Yesterday night in the vision, I said, Stop lying. Stop lying. You should know the kind of people you can lie to. You had no vision. Don't impress me because you think I'm a pastor. So when you tell me about vision, I'll feel anointed. And yes, you see something. I like her. Simple. My choice. The Bible says, He that findeth a wife. He didn't say, Who I find for. The only thing there, the steps of that good man, is ordered by the Lord. The Bible says in Philippians 2 13, He walketh in us, both to we and to do of His good pleasure. Christianity is not a foolish religion. But we act like we don't know what we are doing. Like we give our life to Christ and lose our brains away. Are we together? Are we following? So when we align with God's word, whether written or spoken, we are in what? In his way. God, hear me from today. God will never force any man on you or any lady on you. So if a prophet tells you this, the person by force, if you don't mind, you have the right to say I know like him. Including, I tell my spiritual children, if I say this is the person, you have the right to tell me I know like him. It's your choice. I will show you very quickly in scriptures. God has never forced any man on any person. The old in days when Abraham wanted to teach them um, choose wife, when the Holy Ghost was not even there. He said, go to my father Kindred. He for, for his son Isaac. He had a choice. The only prayer he prayed is, let the Lord lead you. He didn't wait there to be looking for a voice. He went himself and just said, okay, anything I'm doing right now. See, hear me. If I have prayed and consulted God's help, then it means every step I'm taking is directed by him. Christianity. I'm teaching you how to help yourself in every other aspect of life. If I pray over a matter, and I say, Lord, I'm taking decisions over this situation. The scripture is Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not on thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct thy path. If I acknowledge him, then every step I keep, keep from then is him directing me. The Bible says the just is configured to live by faith. So I don't wait for some kind of mysterious signs and say, Lord, show me a sign. If it is you, let water gush out from this ground because of you. God should perform a miracle because of you. God, if it is you, in Amatan season, let rain begin to fall now. Why are you bought in heaven? Follow his word. He said, if I acknowledge him, he does the direction. 
and the good thing I said about Christianity is if I'm in the wrong way, except my heart is not with God. He said, I will receive a word behind me. I will receive a word. See how long you will have started that business if you decided. But you are waiting for some mysterious kinds of signs. Mysterious kinds of signs. See those decisions you will have taken. You are waiting for something to move you. Like, like you are a robot. You know, that's what we think when we come to Christianity, we are robots. So God is the one that just pilots us the way he wants us to go. No. Two things make a man. Destiny and choice. My job is just to align my choice with his destiny. Are we following? Give me Genesis 2.22. Let me do scriptures. Holy oh, Spirit of your way. Of your way in this place. Holy Spirit of your way, of your way in this place. The Bible speaking, look, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, made he who? A woman, follow me. And he brought her unto the man, Nesphus. And Adam said, God did not force Eve on Adam. That means if Adam decided to say you are a monkey, she goes to God from that moment. He brought her to the man to decide, do you like her or not? He never forced Eve on Adam. I've seen all kinds of things happening in the body of Christ. My prophet said, is this person is not this person it's not a job of any prophet to match make people no we were never given such kind of assignment our job is to confirm what the holy ghost has spoken to someone are we together say i'm god let's go, go back to the previous verse go back 22 days he brought her unto the man. Then the man saw her. Okay, fine. I decide. This is now. Did you hear the scriptures? Now the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. Are we together? He had the right to reject me if he chose to. And call her anything he likes. That's why the Bible says, for this reason because man what accepted are we following because man accepted it shows he had the right to reject god he just he didn't just beat up adam adam stand up you must marry her now this is her it is god's will no one thing god will never infringe anytime somebody comes to you sub over your right that is witchcraft Witchcraft simply means control. Only demons take hold of people and control them. The Holy Ghost speaks to them, suggests to them. They have the right to choose to listen to Him or not. Even the angels in heaven had rights and choice. The Bible says some of them decided when they saw beautiful women, decided we don't want to stay there again, we want to marry them. If you will not stop the choices of angels, how much more you are we together? we follow it so don't let anybody enforce anybody on you you have a right to choose because sometimes people hear some kind of stupid how will you tell me somebody told you you must marry this person and you don't like the person i separate you by force it's on scripture statement showed that he had what love her all we say tonight is from this same verse and i'll show you how to know the right person for you that's why i say when we follow his word we are in his will are we together when we follow his word so number one are we clarified about not god's will that's his will you have a right to choose give me psalm 34 is it 34? I don't have it here. 37 verse 4. Let me show you something. Watch. See, I have the right to decide. I don't like a person. And I 
don't want that person. The Bible says, I sought no Psalm 37, verse 4. 37, 4. 37, 4. Delight thyself what? also in the Lord. You see, I told you this is your main job. Stay with him. And he will what? Give thee the desires of your heart. I have the right to say, Lord. See, one time I went for a meeting and they called us out for something. It was a meeting and they said, uh, they felt maybe I was a pastor. Then I was not even ordained in the ministry. So they felt because we are very strong and spiritual brothers and we will speak in the way they want to hear. So they called me out and called some few brothers and said, sit down. Uh, what is your choice for a human? I was very happy he got to hold it back. Because I knew what they want to hear. She must be prayerful. And fast. If two of us are praying all the time, who will cook? I said, my dear, my first point for a woman is that she must be very, 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 very pretty. It's your business. You can carry a monkey home. It's your choice. If you want to marry Buddha's daughter, it's your problem. She must be pretty. Even God has a way of admiring his work. But when he's done, he looks at it. Say, this is good. I want to see somebody in my house every morning and say, you look good. Not someone that will say, it was God that did this. <laughs> if not that God forced me. He knows I wouldn't myself. No. God doesn't work that way. He said, if you delight yourself in him, he will grant you what? The desires of your heart. That means you have the right to make your own what? Desires. I'm teaching the way of Christianity. Because people are becoming robots now in the body of Christ. They are throwing away their brain and behaving abnormal. Behaving abnormal. Are we together? Are we following? Number one. A few days ago, I just sat in my office. After I broke my fast, I said, hey, nah, I don't break I said, I just go on with my friend. I said, please come with your car. I picked up. How many of us? How many were we? We were to eight. Eight of us. I said, Yehuza, Musu, I want to chop chicken. With correct yogurt. Does it change the anointing? Not at all. The first thing God gave to man was food. He said, all the things in this garden is for you to eat. <laughs> when we fast, we fast. When we break, we eat. This is why people will die so early in the body of Christ. They think some things lose your anointing when you do them. And they are suffering. They are suffering. So I just want to enjoy myself. If not, I had exams today. I stand on my daughter and say, I feel like going out again, please. I fast a lot, so the little moments I have, let me use it well. In a few days to come, I'm already on something else again. So let me enjoy myself. You must take care of your body to carry Jesus for a very long time. Don't be at age 30 and you're looking like Buddha. Or at that age, as a lady, you're looking like your village goddess. I told you, Sarah at 75 was still admired by a king. You don't have an excuse. But who Mary Kay was there then? You were using correct olive oil. Correct one. You don't have an excuse. It's good food. Take care of your body. I know what it is to fall sick. It can be frustrating. You know the value of sound health. Like when you look at certain things you want to do, yet you can't move. You are looking at them. I need to do this. I need to do this. I need you. are just looking at them. It could be frustrating. Are we together? So Christianity, we must begin to reorient ourselves. One time Jesus was like me. Sometimes you see the Bible says towards the end of the night he goes and pray and, and stay in the mountain fasted 40 days and he was eating with people he enjoyed himself and they said you are a glutton he said what is your problem John the Baptist came he was not eating you could say he had a demon how will a woman be not eating food now I'm eating now you say I'm a glutton I am not living my life for anybody are we together the worst people you try to please are humans they can never get satisfied do the best you can 
the best way you can i will together if you tend to pay attention to everything people will feel or say you will not go find life the bible says, as a man think it in his heart so he is not as somebody think about me it all depends on me i won't let anybody words or opinion about my life leave an impression on me it's to your loss if i don't say anything about it. are we together are we following please are we together so take out time look good sometimes i see christian brothers in this in this campus some of them come to my office they have no birth date yes, so i've been on a retreat does that make me me you know bath why are we together it's not a sign of holiness or being sanctimonious so everybody will know you are on a retreat yes, everything is scattered your cloth is rumbled you just keep going see he has been waiting on god sometimes i'm on a deep stretch nobody knows i look good like everybody play with everybody as i can when it's time for real business with god i go indoors when i come out i look normal are we together i told a young man yesterday he came to my office and he was saying certain things and i said i just finished a 90 day stretch fast i mean no food 90 days he shouted jesus he see me walking around the campus too are we together it's your spirit that carry your body if you believe you go and sleep like this it will follow you i have changed my mindset that i can still be under that kind of stretch and still be like every normal living human being and it has carried my body how many of you know that if you say you will not sleep you will not sleep your spirit carries the body is that not so are we together are we together i'm releasing the impactation of wisdom i don't need to fall i would even want that but receive wisdom tonight number one so never let anybody force anybody on you is that okay please you have every right whatsoever to decide and say i don't like this person and choose for yourself are we following are we together i was showing some of my children in school of ministry certain things that frustrate people in ministry that I too I learned very late and I told them a man that has a call has the right to call people that are not called this lady don't need to have a call of God upon her life have the right to call her and say be a pastor from today why? I'm called and I showed them from scriptures every time there was a selection process in the Bible God asked the people to go and choose and bring the list he said Moses go and choose 70 elders he didn't give him any name so you are done bring the list and we carry whatever you are the one that is working with them not me are we together but oh, timothy say timothy i have taught you well anywhere you go look for men that can preach very well give them the same gospel let them go and preach he didn't give him list he just gave them certain criterions in scripture we can follow which is also god's will say he that desire to be this let him be this let him be this must you hear a voice together so you cage yourself what is saying you have worked with these people you know my word i've given the criteria he must be a husband of one wife he must be this he must be that he must be this and you are still praying and fasting 100 days you want to hear me say something are we following so number one let me stay with my time so i can get to the other message there will be alignment of purpose and passion that's the first thing you check why the bible says and he made the woman he said it is not good for the man to be alone he made the woman to be what a help meet not a help meet are we together a help meet someone that can adjust and cover up for the other aspect you don't have there will be alignment of purpose and passion they must three and verse three can two work together except they agree I can't like ministry and I ask a lady out and she said I don't like church. I separate you instantly. I know it's found the mountain for me. We'll be quarreling every day. Don't deceive yourself and say over time she'll begin to like church. There's a difference between being stupid, wasting your time and being patient. No things that can never work. Are we together? It's not a testimony to say I was in a relationship for 15 years and then after 50 years I know it's not the person. Don't know what you are doing. You know the value of time to are we together 
It's not a miracle or a testimony to celebrate. Go and weep. Are we following? There will be alignment of people to passion. She will have love for the same thing I have love for. Why did he make Eve? He had, she, Adam had an assignment to take care of a garden. He said, go and assist him in that same assignment. Imagine Eve coming and said, I don't like garden. I like moon. I like the way somebody put it. He said, that's why until you know your purpose, you will know to propose to First thing I taught in series one, the discovery of your purpose. And now I know I am called into the ministry work. A woman that is not liking church cannot survive around me. It doesn't matter who prophesies. Are we together? Are we following? It doesn't matter the work that came. There will be alignment of purpose and passion. Who have love for my for the same assignment and purpose? Like I used to always tell you guys. For instance, right now my pastor. And then I go and marry somebody that's a referee. When I'm supposed to have a crusade, she says she wants to blow match. It doesn't make sense. No certain things you don't need a voice for. Are we together? I check my purpose and check my assignment. And I begin to look by the leaders of the Holy Ghost for those that fit in my assignment, in my passion. Those that have the same passion with me. For instance, right now, stay with me. You need extreme grace. That's it. Just see my life alone, you can run. That's the truth. Those that have me know. You can run. I walk my journey. I walk like a workaholic. I walk. I like walk. Are we together? That's my personality. That's my beauty. Are we following? I love walk. I love the things of God. I love to pray. I love to fast. I love to listen to message. What what God is doing? And now Maria lady say no 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 no. Now you okay, please. Then leave this thing. Can we close my ministry on time. Sorry. Are we together? There will be alignment of what? Purpose and path. Once that is displaced, that is not God's will. Are we together? We are picking it from His word. Number two. There will be compatibility and adaptability. Compatibility and adaptability. Are we together? The ability to live together. Compatible and adaptable. Are we following? Imagine right now. I am somebody that I don't know how to talk. You can slap me, I'll keep looking at you. And now marry a lady like me. I'm finished. My family is gone. Daddy Adobo, he said something, so one of the youth did. He was talking, he said, you know my wife. Me, I'm like this. Red. He said, one of the people that had the land, the redemption camp, came to collect the land. He was just saying, you know, the Lord, the wife, Daddy, go inside. When she finished with them, <laughs> Are we following compactability? Hey, help me. Where was my lapses? She becomes my strength. Where's her lapses? I become her strength. Two of you, you have if you if you if two of you get angry, you can scatter a complete community. How will you cope? Check for compatibility. Do we rhyme? Are we following? Are we together? together you are hot you marry somebody that is hot you people will be slapping each other you are crazy pa you two are stupid pa that's what will continue happening it takes two people to quarrel if only one is quarreling that's madness is that not true? only a mad person quarrel with himself so you see the essence of that compatibility are we together Check for it. If it's not there, it's three with that person. Are we following? Don't say in his God's will, his God's will, his God's will. <laughs> Young people are so tiring. 
some will begin to tell you so many things. I prayed and fast and saw certain visions. See, the problem there is this when you are emotionally attached to somebody and you go to pray, what will you see? Were you supposed to see somebody else? So when they come and I'm telling them, see, leave this matter, they say, No, no, no. So I say, Okay, continue. Now me, they stay with the person. Continue. Now quarter you quarter come now. Monasticaristic. Are we together? So check for compatibility and adaptability. Number three. All right. Okay. Number two. Why you need to check for compatibility and adaptability is because every problem gravitates towards a solution. Let me tell you adaptability. I am a fashion person. My fiancé was not. But you see, her coming to my life will reveal whether I'm a fashion expert. Are we together? That's why I talked about what? Adaptability. Every problem gravitates towards what? Its solution. Number three. There will be peace of mind. This is one of the most foolish things young people do. So my heart is still troubled about the person. But I saw a vision. A friend also saw she slept and saw two of us. They were putting a ring in her hand. And so that you saw a vision has not changed anything. Moreover, why must it be in this matter now you are seeing visions? You've not seen anything. Vision anything over your life, personally, or your family. It's only on this matter now you are seeing vision and you believe the vision very well. Are we together? There will be what? Peace of mind. The litmus test for true judgment is peace of mind. Don't live in abject unrest of mind and be saying, eh, hey, but they saw a vision. Somebody told me, two of us, we ran. Or throughout, we've been working for almost one year now. And everywhere we go to, people used to tell us we fit each other. And so, and so, does that mean that's a prophetic word? Are we together? Once your peace is distorted, there is no point entering there. Are we together? Number four. There will be heart connectivity. Let me take this one. See, when I told God, when God said to me, "Go, son, time don't do you now." You don't preach very well. I are good for wife. Sincerely, I was in the fellowship singing. You have my everything. And I was watching. I give you everything. My eyes were very open. You know they choose wife, close eyes. You see something else. Are we together? Just like I taught those in school of ministry. You don't cast demons closing your eyes. No. By the time they give you dirty slap, <laughs> the eyes open. Are we following? And my heart was drawn to this person. Uh -uh. Don't know him. Are we together? Your heart is, you are seeing everybody. Yet, there is one person among them. Why? We don't necessarily marry because of love. Love is the basis. We marry for preference. I don't hate any of my daughter. But I choose my friends among everybody. It's preference. So if you say love, you are not standing it yet. Does it mean I hate all the other ladies? No. I love every one of them, but I have to choose among all the love. There's one your heart is drawn to. So once there is no heart connectivity, you hear some people say, I'm not feeling anything for the person. Don't go and put your head into that kind of relationship. Because when the journey begins to get distorted, your body might be very shaky. Are we following? There will be heart what? Connectivity. There's something that will connect your heart to that person. Number five. So if there's no heart connection, please run away. It takes heart connection. Listen. What builds commitment is heart connectivity. Why could some of my children trust to come and discuss certain sensitive issues with me? Why could they confide in me? Why could they believe God's grace upon my life? Because why? There's heart connection. 
once there's no heart connection there'll be no what commitment because you don't trust the person are we together so let there be heart connection Five. there will be mutuality of love you will love the person too see stop all this rubbish that people say the love will be growing over time don't worry i know you don't love it but just you two of you should just start like that over time you are behaving like if you are not a human being the bible says he, he saw her he shouted this is the bone of my bone heart connectivity the flesh flesh speaks of emotion the flesh of my flesh the bone speaks of the internal heart connectivity the flesh speaks of what the emotion mutuality of love he said this is good i like what i see you don't like the person don't do anything are we together you must love the person you must this is god's will scriptures so once you align to the will that's all what are you praying no imagine now nah. <laughs> imagine imagine one lady you don't like now nah. you that is desiring a will you now pray and fast is that big you are now seeing so you go ahead the lord keep you i know it because i've read from his word he doesn't force himself on people that's what makes him god even his word he didn't force on us you can choose to accept god's word or not you can choose to obey him or not is that not so so there will be mutuality of love. I must love the person. I must love. It must tickle my emotion, ignite it, and ignite that emotion too. Now that we are together, I'm just frowning my face. See, it's just because I put my name and your name in love, and it became ninety percent, and I felt you are the one. If but I, don't, I don't feel anything for you, what? And you are in a relationship with that person you don't know what you are doing you must feel something for the person when my children come to me and say papa either somebody asks them out or they want to ask somebody out i don't ask you to tell me if i want you to start like that you discourage me and say i prayed and fast i'll say stop it stop it they know me stop it. i don't like when people lie unnecessary be plain and sincere with your destiny you can come to me and say i just feel peace about it did you know i just know she's the person once you see a vision see live your life with utmost sincerity don't impress anybody with lies be sincere the person cannot accept you for your sincerity let the person go so i just know that she's the person i don't even know how i know i just know my job is just to come if i'm not something i don't even do that i just begin to say okay there's no problem this is what you do it's in the process of doing that the world can come and say this to an moment for each other it's not a job to match you. I won't live with that person. My own is to give confirmation to your conviction. That's why it pains me. One time, a, a young man came to my office and told me, he says, I like this lady, I want to ask out. He pissed the hell of my life so much, I was frustrated. I said, go ahead. Where he now got me angry. The next night, I saw the lady in my office crying. Papa, this guy just asked me out. I said, then what's the problem? Why are you not crying? Am I going to ask you out? Why are you crying? Are you came to He said, no, sir. The problem is this. I don't like him. But he said, Papa has agreed. It's not like I died the phone. I said to you, die. Remove this picture from your face. You will never marry this girl. If it was a will in heaven, I scatter it. I was angry. Why must you put a pressure on a lady? Men of God, why be manly enough to face your fear? Don't go and quote names. This person I've told him, he says the one I told this person to. If a guy tells you that, leave him, he doesn't know what he's doing. If in common relationship, I want to stay with you for eternity, you cannot confidently tell me you agree from your heart that I am the one you are quoting people from me. You don't know what you're doing. Even if you did that, it's your personal thing. The lady don't need to be told when you're acting out. 
Are we together? So there will be what? Mutuality of what? Love. Number six. With all this criteria, seek the counsel of your spiritual leader and your parents. However, never let anybody on you. Seek their counsel. I please say go and seek. Let them tell you whether it's the person or not. Their counsel. What's their counsel? Sir, I am drawn in my spirit these days towards one sister in the fellowship. I don't know. I, I just feel right to um, go on with her. It's now the job of that man to what? To confirm and say, okay, there's no problem. You have my blessing, you have this. Not for him to say, sir, these are the two names. Some of you even bring them. <laughs> Ask those that are very used to me. If you want to frustrate yourself, give me two names. Say, her name is Bisi Ambola. Sir, please, I want you to pray which of them. You are a mumu. Because with, if I train you that way, you won't last in life. When you give me two names, what if the name is not among the two? I must still choose one. You see how we don't know what you are doing. Give anybody two names now. Don't they pick one from it? What if the name is not among that one? Give me a freedom to do things that are not because marry her with your destiny. And I do push. Say, take. It's push. Are we together? Don't do that. If you want to even judge well. I'm not even saying you should do something like that. At least give the person one name. It will either be a yes or a no. But two names, one must be a yes. Are we together? So seek the counsel. Finally, there will be complementability. You guys will complement each other. What it means is this. There will be certain aspects of your life that is rotting that person can overlook. I said, don't worry, I can cope with this. Are we following? I said, don't worry, I can undo this. It will be there. Nobody is perfect, and I believe that. We are walking towards perfection. There must be something about me the person will not still like. I, said, I still love the person anyway, even with this thing. Are we together? So if the guy just say you are the best in the world, you have everything. He don't lie. You. Say because of you, I don't sleep at night. Go and check when that boy is snoring. Do you place is shaking? Are we together? So very quickly, I'll stop here tonight. How to ask the lady out? I'll say certain things, then I'll give a practical tip. Is that okay? Because. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. That's why I said the way we teach relationship series here, we don't just talk here and there. We do it straight so you know it. Are we following? And you are not confused. You are certain of what you are doing. So I encourage you to get series one and two. So how to ask a lady out because it's frustration of most brethren. I will tell you why. 90% of the brothers and sisters in church never asked each other out. They were just becoming close and assumed that they already in love. Tomorrow they want to marry. <laughs> Are we together? 90% never ask themselves out. They will just be getting close. The guy will buy a buy ticket parties. The things I'm buying is just for you to know it in your mind. The son. Say they be teaching you the gift of the spirit. Is that not what we do? Operate that gift now to the son. Now the things I'm doing, the way I'm getting close to you. You should understand. But you know the riskiness of those things? If the brother leaves you peacefully, you have nothing to say about it. He never told you anything in the first place. Is that not so? So you always say, are we cussing? For what? For why? Are we together? Why? Stop threatening people with your curse. Are we following? So how to ask a lady out? For the young men in the house. Shall praise the Lord, please. FYBs, let me see your hand. I need to be sure the people that asked for this are hearing me. If we are the FYBs, raise your hands. <sighs> they are not even much. Okay, let me ask you to encourage the rest there. For you, it's an encouragement. Is that okay? <laughs> Number one, build friendship first. 
somebody you know nothing about you don't know anything you just saw her and was just moved Pew! say please can we be friend and marry some people even the lady will be looking at you are you, are you, are you normal I don't know you too just say can we be friends and marry build friendship what first begin to get close see let me tell you the truth God has kept in every man what we call intuition every human being on the surface of the earth the ability for them to know naturally that lady will know in her speech that you are speaking a language are we following so build friendship first number two be sincere be sincere and romantic what I mean is this all right be sincere be truthful don't begin to say what bro what's your name huh Abel but bro Abel invite is does it the love of God that thing you have said alone will never give you a confidence to have that lady out because you feel you are betraying the first thing you said I just love you and I love I like your spirit so I do these things from the bottom of my heart freely with for you be sincere and be what romantic now why I said that is because I say you should build friendship first fellowship brothers that's a sister did you do your devotion today many chapters did you study then you bring the first book five love language what's your name it's that lovely and i would like you to read this book five love language after one week you bring the mystery of apology <laughs> say please our love that's how the brother is stylishly telling you i want to ask you out he's giving you books are we together be romantic how are you doing how's your day are you fine are you okay are we together number three study a love language everybody has what tickles everybody has what takes them off their feet what he might like might not what this one might like study a love language know what she loves so much are we together Brothers, praise the Lord. Now, deliverance is coming your way. You don't need to fall for a devil to leave you now. You are being delivered. Are we together? So, study our love language number four. But eventually, you don't know it's right time for you to act out. Ensure the atmosphere is right. Some brothers will keep a lady under hot stone of dinner and be asking the lady out. She's very sweaty. She's not even hearing what you're saying. No. He says, So, uh, see, when will I get my reply? Say, Really? Show the atmosphere is right. Let her be in the atmosphere. She can be relaxed. Is that okay? Yes. Are we together? Are we together? Now, why am I saying all of these things? The person can even be God's will, or you can scatter the will with your hand and by the foolish things you do. Are we together? By the things you do, you can scatter his way. Number six. Number five. Okay. Do something that will make her blush or cry. Be creative. Now, let me explain this. You want to ask her out. What's your name, okay? Let me use somebody. I, I like, like knowing people's name. What's your name, please? Agnes. That's his sister Agnes. Can we meet in RCF Auditorium? Then when she come, she saw you with his swell and your tie. With your big black Bible. You want to ask her out? In fact, by the time she entered the all over Parakatash come in a couple so to you in La Parakatash is she a demon? is she a demon? when is worship worship when is pray pray when is to ask the lady out ask her out there's time for everything are we following? just look good 
can give her a shock and a surprise. Let me take you out. Now that you have even known her love language, it will help you. You can do something to spoil. Be creative. Are we following? Do something that will make her blush. Sometimes you want to even cry. Oh, you did this for me. Then you can start from there. I can do anything for you. <laughs> Are we together? Are we following? Now, finally, practical tip. I'll stop here tonight. I wanted to talk about what week is love. Okay, I'll stop here tonight. Practical tip. Please, all the brothers, hear what I want to say and be simple. If you are asking a lady out, please don't quote any scriptures. It's not necessary. Is that okay? I beg you. Even if you must use a verse, go to Sons of Solomon. Are we following? Are we together? And when you want to use Sons of Solomon, try and get Bible in basic English. Don't use King James. Say, love it and tell it and call it thee tonight. You will still come like a pastor. Are we following? Please, in simple terms, hear me. Now, I'm being practical with this matter so that we will not have issues in the body of Christ. Growth must be uniform. If your head is big, your your stomach is big, your leg is small. What's that? Kwashok. That means you must be growing in all aspects. You can't be growing in your knowledge of God and be stupid relationship wise. And be stupid financial wise. Are we together? In every aspect of your life, you must be what? Growing uniformly. Are we together? Are we following, please? So you want to ask a lady out? Um, who wants me to ask her out? Now I have a fence already. So don't worry about that. Just want me to use as, as an example. You can donate yourself. They are blushing. Okay, I will ask all the ladies out tonight. All of them. Just hear me and assume I'm talking to all of you. Alright? Maybe you take her to a very nice place. You give her a call. You've made a day. And like, hey, make sure the atmosphere is right. She has exam tomorrow morning. You asked her out this night. You don't know what you are doing. Or they say her mother is in the house. And that's the period you're asking a lady out. You are an inexperienced person. Because you are not even showing concern for the matter at hand. Make sure the atmosphere is right. And you can simply tell her. Um, actually, I've been watching you for quite some time. You can write, brothers, please. It will help you. Right? Don't be shy. All ladies, close your eyes. They want to write. Please, it's part of the sermon, right? Let's see. Even the ladies, right? Are we together? Okay, I know some brothers. I would have loved to write this thing. No. But this guy is looking at my hand. Are we together? So I've, I've been watching you for quite some time, and I have enjoyed your passing. I've enjoyed your company. I've enjoyed your friendship. I just you for who you are and um i would like <laughs> we give you glory lord as we honor you let's ventilate let's sing we give you glory lord sit down so I've been I've been watching you for quite some times I really enjoy your company I really enjoy your personality your person I enjoy you are and everything about you and I want us to be friends and I wish to settle with you for the rest of my life um, I've actually prayed about it and I've gotten a conviction for myself that's why I'm taking the step I'm taking right now to ask you out. I'm not putting you on that pressure. I want you to also take out some time for yourself, please. And, and do find out and get conviction for yourself. I'll be waiting for your reply. Thank you so much for your time and for giving me a listening ear. Finish.
Is that not simple? Say the Bible says Genesis. What the Lord has done. Why? Are we together? Is that simple enough? That's it. Tell the person what you have been feeling towards that person. Tell the person why you are taking the step you are taking right now. Because you have what? Prayed. And you have gotten a conviction for yourself. And then give the person permission. I want you to also take our time to what? Pray and get a conviction for yourself. Please, I will do anticipate your reply. Anytime you want, give me one. Thank you much for your time. Is that okay? Please, you see what I said tonight. Don't compose it and send it to text message or WhatsApp. My angel will slap you. Say, thank God. Have you been looking for how to compose the message? What will you as a lady out on what message? Except when there is a big distance barrier. And even if there is one, can't you carry your phone and talk? If you are my daughter in this place, don't allow a man to do that to you. And ask you through a text message. That is irresponsible. Show value for the person you are talking to. That's a human being. Is that not so? Pick your call. Say something. Right up to your feet. Are we blessed tonight? Finally, attracting the one you love. Sit down. Attracting the one you love. Let me stop at that heading. Then I'll go into the main message. I want to preach for 15 minutes and we'll be done. Attracting the one you love. Now, the problem we have right now huh, is that we many people have a long list that looks very few. When you ask, especially the ladies, say, what's the, who are the, what's the kind of man you like? Which you have a right to. Is that okay? The Bible says you will grant the desires of what? Your heart. You must give God something to work with. Are we following? You must give God something to what? Work with. Are we together? That's one of the secrets of effective praying. Be specific. Are we following? Lord, bless me. How? Where? Are we together? Be specific when you pray. Talk to God. Tell Him what you want. Are we following? The Bible says the purpose is uh, the desires of a man is his heart. For God has the final say. But you must still make that desire. The only thing there is that he has what? The final say. Are we together? So give him what to work with. So we have so many long lists. The guy must be this. The guy must be this. He must be this. He must be this. I wonder if those people are still existing. When you look at the list of some people. You wonder where those people will come out from. Now. In life in life like charges attract unlike physics like charges what attract if you are a wayward person you will definitely see a wayward boy are we there? so the secret to attracting the one you love is just one put yourself in the person's shoe and imagine the kind of person that person will want you want to talk? He has money. Not too fat. Not too fair. Not too dark. <laughs> Are we following? You know what you do? Put yourself in that your list. And assume you are the one now. And then think or define of lady you can act out. And then be that person. Are we following? Taking much time to draft a list is not as important as taking much time to prepare yourself. For the kind of person you so want are we following pay attention to your life pay attention to yourself because god can bring that same person you desire to your way but your attitude will chase the person away because you are not prepared for what that person are we together so that's the secret to attracting the one you love i'll stop here for tonight so i can go into the message for tonight in 15 minutes i'll be done Rise up to your feet. Let's just ventilate in the spirit. Our place, allegiance to the Lamb. With all my strength, with all I am, I will leave to all His command. I'm 
We trust that you have been blessed. Come and worship with us every Friday at Atmosphere for Grace and every last Friday of the month at Night of Miracles and Supernatural Encounters. Opposite FUT Mina, Gideon Kwanu Campus, Mina, Nine States. Come and be blessed. <laughs>